makers. Just, just. Oh, our mics are playing up again. Mine or whose? Mine. I can't move. <laughs> Whilst you're, 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 you're literally like a, a beautiful mannequin. I was say I was about to say to you, you know the photograph that you uploaded to Facebook yesterday. Which one? I don't know the one. Was it jewelry? It was ju you you holding the jade and the pearls. Oh, that's when I went out. You're so beautiful. Oh, you are so beautiful. Yeah, but it was slightly blurred. <laughs> no, no, it's, our TV screen's not it's, blurred. And look at you. Yeah, but there's as gorgeous. much hair in front of my face as humanly possible. Look at that. Stop it. I look Stop better it. like this. No, you don't. <laughs> Thank no, you, you don't. though. You've That's kind. The, you've got the prettiest of faces. Um, <laughs> Debbie, everybody! I yeah, can't we, move. We, yeah, we will sort the mic out. <laughs> um, technology, eh? The joys of technology. Yeah, I'm, I'm like that now. Yeah, I know. Don't move. I can I was, move my face. It was me yesterday. It, that was me <laughs> yesterday. I literally had to... Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. What a Sunday show. Brand new tools. <gasps> Tools! There's tools! I love tools. I know. I'm a bit excited about this one. It's epic. I know, and we've got a big quantity of them as well. Oh, good. It's the Star Cutter. So if you were admiring lovely Debbie's jewellery on your Facebook page, then, yeah, you've got the tools. You've got the lady to show you how to use it. Um, it today is the day. Today is the day for you to get hold of that. But we, there's literally... It, it, it's, it's a show of a wonderful selection because we've got tools yeah we've got beautiful pearls yeah we've got gorgeous sterling silver yeah components your deal of the day and i love that bracelet yeah, well this is our early bird see i love that look at that isn't it lovely so pretty and you won't believe how affordable this is that's amazing i, I really like that so it comes as a little mini kit as a little oh. mini kit so you get all those lovely rainbow cords and then you get the connector itself it's brand new and by the way i've got 148 of them which oh. isn't going to be enough um should we give it should we give a hint at how low it's going ross under 10 pounds is it yeah i love the way that cord works up you know like the ombre effect at the side i just think that's so pretty look at that isn't it beautiful yeah that's lovely a little bit of macrame there absolutely stunning well can we pre-order this ross what? Why not, he says. Why the devil not? Why the devil not? <laughs> a little bit of his Irish came out it then, did, didn't, didn't it? It did, didn't it? We saw, every so often you get a hint of Ross's Irish roots. Just a hint. Just I've got Irish roots too. Have you? I do, my dad. Ah. Yeah, half the family. Good people, Irish people. Good people. Really good Friendly people. Friendly people, lovely people. I love Ireland as well. I love Ireland. Um, <laughs> and the Welsh, and the English, and the Scots, and, and the every, good people. And Yorkshire people too. And Yorkshire people, yeah, absolutely. Lovely. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Make a good brew. Yeah, Yorkshire tea, you can't beat it. I mean, tea I'm, bag know, of choice, that is. Considering that I'm from London, and that, uh, mind you, I've probably lived in Yorkshire for longer than I've lived mm -hmm. in London, but Yorkshire tea, you can't beat it. It's my, it's my tea bag of choice. Mm. There you go. Yeah, yeah. We, uh, Stephen's agreeing there. Yeah, keep your Earl Grey and your, your, oh, your, 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 your fluffy tea. No, Yorkshire tea. Yes. Every time. All day yeah, long. Yeah, yeah. All day long. Have I tried Barry's tea? No. no. Do I need to try Barry's tea? Does it? Does it? What's it called? Oh, Barry's. Barry's tea. Barry's. Never, I, have I never can't. Heard of I that. can't th say the say the name Barry without thinking of Willow because Willow <laughs> used to call her Dummy Barry. Oh, I know. Why? I don't know. <laughs> For ages it got us really confused. We were like, who's Barry? <laughs> Who is this Barry that she keeps talking about? It was a dummy. Oh. I know, I know. Oh. Um, right, what else have we got in today's show? For the first time ever, for me anyway, I think you've seen them once previously, but I've never seen this opportunity. We've got master carvings of black jadeite. I know. I know. That's what I was wearing yesterday in that photo you're talking about. Was the master carving on the? I went out and wore it. At first, oh, I was how many comments did you get? Oh, so many. I've got it on a long line. At first, I thought oh, I'm scared to wear it. Then I thought, don't be silly. Jewelry's made to be worn. 
I know. Oh my goodness, look at that. I know, isn't it unbelievable? There's honestly so much in today's show. Beautiful landscape. It is double carved as well. Um, and we've, yeah, we've got a selection of those in your early bird. We've also got beautiful heart jadeite uh, beads. We've got your gourds as well. So symbolic of good fortune and all of those wonderful things. There's, honestly, there's so much. Let me just quickly show you your deal of the day as well. Um, because this is so on trend. Loads of the big designers are actually working with this lovely long line link uh miss Oma, to name one yeah uh monica veneda to name another and they're about 300 pounds on there you've got the beautiful uh necklace and i've got matching bracelets as well to bring you at 10 o'clock this morning as your deal of the day so it is going to be absolutely jam-packed you know what we like a thoroughly interactive show so do uh send us a text message and to start us off with oodles of inspiration it's your good self in the wall of fame <laughs> Speaking of, <laughs> Barry's starting us off this morning. Ah, oh, Barry. There you go, Barry. Maybe Willow was talking about you. Uh, number 308, um, Barry says, Hi, guys. Here's my entry for this week's Wall of Fame. A simple bracelet made with blue faceted rounds of goldstone and delicate spaces from my kit you brought to wear recently and a toggle class from my stash. I hope you like it. Love and magic, says Barry to all. Oh, and to you, Barry. That's absolutely beautiful. There's magic in goldstone, isn't it? I just love that. Number 309 is from Joan. Good morning to you, Joan. Oh, that's beautiful. Love that design uh, and Joan says hi JM here, here's uh, this week's make an asymmetric pearl and keshi bead necklace it's so comfortable to wear it's all my colors turquoise cream and rose gold fingers crossed for a win and good luck to fellow waffers that's absolutely beautiful Joan and um, good colors good color scheme I think number 310 is from Gillian hello to you Gillian that's pretty Loads of lovely sterling silver. Um, and another fan of Goldstone. Gillian says, hi all at Jewelry Maker. Hope everybody is well. Here's my entry for this week's Wall of Fame. It's a sterling silver blue Goldstone spinner pendant. It may be tiny, but the halo ring makes it look a little like a, little like a planet. Good luck to everybody in the draw and wishing everyone a great weekend. And to you, Gillian, thank you for your entry. Number 311 is from Diana. Hello, Diana. Speaking of planets, I mean, that looks very planet-like. Uh, Diana says, good morning, JM. Please find attach my entry to the WAF. It's a new tiger's eye, um, blue and yellow, which I put with some red tiger's eye from my stash. I think they're beautiful and have a great inner glow, especially with the sunlight. Thank you, jewelry maker, and good luck to all in the WAF. And to you, Diana, good luck to you. Number 312 is from Susan. Hello to you, Susan. Oh, that's beautiful. What a lovely photograph. That's really well put together, isn't it? Yeah, because it's showing all the components yeah, as I well. Yeah, that. How it's, all, uh, how it's all been constructed. Um, oh, and Susan says, hello again, gem friends. This week's waffering, <laughs> love it, <laughs> waffering, waffering. Um, is a skinny macrame bracelet knotted with your finest thread. Tiny phosphosiderite faceted rounds and silver plated beads. All from Jewelry Maker. Good luck to all in the waffle. Um, uh, sorry, good luck to all who waffle regularly. I love your choice of words. Um, I love seeing everyone's makes. And that's from Susie in Scarborough. Susie, that's beautiful. I think we need to use waffering and waffle much more. Yeah, I agree. Uh, yeah, yeah I like thing. that. That's good, isn't it? And Scarborough's nice. Scarborough's lovely. I'd like to live in Scarborough. Mm, pretty. Yeah, really nice. Number 313 is from Abby. Morning to you, Abby. You've been busy. And she says, good morning, jewellery maker. Bored with her usual colour scheme, my sister has changed it to green and autumnal. Oh, I love it. Um, so I've made her some earrings to match her new outfits, all made with 0.8 millimeter silver plated base wire and various jewelry maker gemstones. So far, four pairs are finished. The rest are work in progress. I hope you like them. All components are from jewelry maker. Good luck, everybody. And Abby also says, thanks, JM, for your demos, the affordable stock and the many ideas you give us. Um, all in all, how, uh, sorry, you teach us how to improve our jewelry making. Thank you. Oh, what a lovely message That's lovely um good luck to you all i keep everything crossed guess what i get to draw it as well it's this wednesday Ew. so i'll try and be lucky i will try and be lucky it's like we've got some very talented viewers we certainly do certainly certainly do do you know how else is talented 
Just look at all that lovely jewellery to the left. Oh, my word. Should we get cracking? Shall we get cracking? Because honestly, I haven't shown you even a, 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 a portion of what's included in today's show. I'm going to start with... Oh, beautiful, beautiful Terra Jasper. Um, so if maybe um, Black Jade isn't within your budget, this is a fantastic alternative. We don't see Black Terra Jasper that often. No. Very rarely, actually. It tends to be more the colours. I love it. Me too. Me too. It's quite enigmatic. It really is. And, you know, you need black gemstones all the time. They're great for unisex jewellery, you know, if you're making for Christmas gifts. Even things like, you know, key rings and yeah. things like that for sort of the, the more of the gents jewellery. Or maybe someone who likes something a bit more understated. Mm -hmm. I think this has got a bit of interest to it as well. Yeah, because it? you've got those lovely matrix patterns yeah. inside yeah. as well, haven't you? Um, which you don't get with many other black gemstones. So loving this. Right. Start of an, a very, very, very exciting Sunday show. £2.99. This is a genuine gemstone. One that, as you've just said there, Debbie, really is integral to any jewellery maker's stash. You know, absolutely. Yeah, well, we saw in the Wall of Fame just a few moments ago, didn't we, that um, that beautiful sweet jewellery with the tiger's eye. Yeah, and I just think that you're always going to need sort of your neutral colours, aren't you? And yeah. this is just like a little bit more interesting. Yeah, totally agree. It's sold out. Well done, well done. Um, shall we do... Ooh, I'm just going to borrow this blackboard for a second. Yes. Oh, my goodness me. Look at this, look at this. Ethiopian opal named by Levion as the gemstone of the year for 2022. Ooh. So do expect a price. Oh, <gasps> that's what we're talking it's about. It's magic. Do expect a price increase on this gemstone. And, uh, you know, thankfully we did purchase. We purchased very wisely. Our buyers are uh, sort of, um, well, what's the saying? They're savvy. savvy. Yeah, they're ahead. They're ahead of the game, really, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, they are. Um, but look at that. All that magic, completely and utterly natural. Um, that wonderful display is not from coating. It's not from any form of enhancement. It's all down to the positioning of your silica spheres internally. We launched this amazing strand incredibly at $29.99. Seriously, rewind four years yeah. and it would have been $129. Yeah, exactly. You, oh, I remember it clear as day. Yeah, and I, I remember that I got a strand and it's still in my special drawer. Yeah. That special bespoke piece of jewellery. When when did it become normal to do Ethiopian Opal at £14.99? I, I know. <laughs> it's not normal, is it, Debbie? That's... We're not normal. <laughs> I'm definitely not normal. I don't, I don't want to be normal. Me neither. That would be so boring. So boring. Yeah. I don't like the word normal. No. What is normal? Yeah, everyone's different. I just, this used to be considered, didn't it? Like, you know, yes. gems of distinction. Totally. Days. It was always one of those that you'd have to, you'd have to think about yeah, buying, definitely. wouldn't you? Or maybe save up to buy. Yeah. It would always be a three-figure price tag. Ross, when did this become normal? It's, he says, it's not oh. normal, it's a brand new load. There, yeah, exactly. How many did we have of these then? Oh, nine of them left. You're literally jumping all over this, recognising that that is not normal. <laughs> Ethiopian <laughs> And it's not a short strand either. You know, you're talking 20 centimetres. It's not one of those Did taster ones. strands. No. It's, it, it, it's a full strand. Wendy's done it. Well done, Wendy. Good morning to you. Northumberland's their new customer and Anne in, York, uh, in Yorkshire as well. We're just talking about how lovely Yorkshire. You make a proper brew. Uh, make sure you do check out. Hello, Elizabeth in Suffolk as well. Make sure you check out your baskets. There was only a couple of those available. So, uh, well done, everybody. Uh, from here, where do I go? Red garnet. Oh, oh, they're lovely. I love garnet and gold. Me too. It's just ooh, isn't it? It's it's mm. lush. It's just a bit ooh. Yummy. You can see the expense, can't you, in red garnet and gold? Yeah. Um, these are beautiful. Gosh, I'm going back to my gems days now. Oh, uh, my word. Oh, are they hearts? They are hearts. <gasps> oh, my word. Oh, I love those. Imagine a pearl on the end. Is They're insane. Pearl? The garnets are so... Yeah, gorgeous. One pearl. Oh. The garnets are so good, you almost would imagine that... I'm going to say it. They're so good, they look like Swarovskis. <laughs> they are that perfect. They're very clear, aren't they? Yeah. Excuse my fingerprint. Let me just give that a little wipe. Here we go, just because I've just noticed my fingerprints on the front of them there. Um, what, little wrap loop, Deb? Little wrap loop or even like just a, a plain loop if you're not quite up to wrap loops. Pop on a pearl, pop on a garnet, pop on anything that you think goes beautifully with that. Maybe a space of bead, maybe not. I just think they're stunning. If you just want them for, for studs, then just snip off that. Yeah. Little loop. 
That would be lovely. That would be gorgeous. The garnets are insane. Oh, lovely. 10 pounds. I challenge anyone to find that level of quality in a garnet pair of earrings for anywhere near, anywhere near a tenner. How many do we have of these, Roscoe? Eight. Oh, you lucky people that get hold of them. I'd be, I'd be buying this as well. Um, but Ross says, you know what? You know what, Elle? I'm still not done. It's Sunday morning. We've got an epic show. We've got Debbie. What more could we possibly want? We launched them at £14.99, so we're all already surpassing the launch price. They're so beautiful. Gold-plated 925 what? sterling. That, I'm genuinely flabbergasted by that because they're sterling silver, right? Yeah. They're sterling silver, gold-plated sterling silver, genuine gemstones. You try and get a base metal pair of earrings with, like, glass in for that, even. Yeah, exactly. We, would, we don't even sell the mounts at that price. <laughs> no, we don't. So what's oh, the... So that's what lovely. Sold out. Well done. What a lovely Loving deal. Those. Love it. I'd buy those ahead for, like, Valentine's Day. Yeah, exactly. Like um, have I got what? Sorry. Yes, I do. Oh, this strand. <gasps> Firstly, you could, with a few, maybe a couple of extra spaces, you've got a full, natural, natural emerald. Uh, o stands for oiling, which is like, which is like you put a moisturiser on in the morning. Um, you could literally create a full tennis necklace. Oh, that's in stunning. emerald. Stunning. Look, when it comes to this gemstone, it's about the vivacity and the glow. I mean, wow. Look at that level of quality. You've got Le Jardin, you've got the patterning. We were just celebrating it with, with uh, the Terra Jasper. Why yeah. shouldn't we celebrate it with this gemstone as well? That's what makes emerald special, I yeah. think. Like, you know, when they're highly faceted and you've got that, they're not completely see-through. You've got that... It just makes it beautiful and I love this. So you've got the moss greens and yeah, the lighter beautiful. green. I love that. As long as that doesn't hinder the glow of the emeralds, yeah. then um, then it, yeah, it's not a negative. £24.99 pence for genuine emerald, 70 carats of... Pardon, what did you say? <laughs> emerald. Under £10. Is this a special hour? Uh, Ross is back. Oh. I tell you what, he's been, he's been back from Bali and he, uh, he's, frankly, I think he's still in holiday mode. <laughs> I don't think he's quite, you're in Bali mode still, aren't wow. you? Because seriously, when That's did really Emerald good. become a thing at night, uh, uh, under £10? You'd be getting used to it, innit? Oh, it's sold out. Well done. Well done, well done. Um, now, little heads up. I do know what this is. Have we got the pink jade? Pink water jade. Now, there, I should point out... It's a very, very delicate pink. A uh, very delicate pink. So pretty. So, so, so pretty. Long strand. Do you know what it looks like to me? The gemstone version of a lotus flower. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's so beautiful. I didn't even know it was a thing. I didn't know you could get it. Very, it, well, it's rare. It's one of the rare colours. Pink, lavender, red. Oh, it's stunning. It's, um, genuine jade. I'm loving this shape. So am I. Absolutely loving the shape. It's a what? We're going to do this in about two auctions times, just giving you a little bit of a heads up um, for this opportunity. But right now, let's do the Spiegel necklace. Uh, this is, I mean, it's a finished piece of jewellery, if you want it to be. If you want to, obviously, um, embellish it and obviously make it your own, you can do that. Um, Claire McDonald launched these, and as you can see, you know, we, we do the slider bracelet, so it's the necklace version. So, um, okay, this bust is a little bit small, but doesn't matter. I can pop it through the elastic and show you. Um, so there's a huge gram weight of precious metal, rose gold plated 925 sterling silver. You can wear this either way. So you can either have the, the, the heart slider at the, uh, at the front or at the reverse. It gives you that versatility, I suppose would be the word, um, to wear it right the way up to 20, 28 inches, all much shorter, like a lariat design. That is so elegant. Isn't it? I mean, it looks really expensive. Well, it probably would be in loads of, in loads of those. It's so elegant. And you can see it in a boutique. Yeah. Or you know those women that you sometimes come across and you think, wow, she's so elegant. You yeah. know, when you're out or something and you can't stop looking at them because you think, God, everything about you is just perfect. Your jewellery, your hair, your clothes. They would have this necklace. Yeah, they would. <laughs> and I bet they'd be from somewhere like Italy. Yes. They've just or got France. A, yeah, they've just got a style, haven't yeah. they? An effortless style. We launched this just shy of eight grams of sterling silver. Have I got that back to front? 
That's the hallmark. Hang on. We flip it round. It's good to see the hallmark. There you though, go. You I know. meant to do it, honest. You know it's genuine. There you go. We launched this at 39.99. There are literally nine of these oh, left. That's beautiful. You can also do things like this. You can wear it sort of asymmetrically like that. We're going to do a brand new low. Never been anywhere near the price point that you are about to see. There's lots of different ways of wearing this, whether it's down the front, whether it's literally down the back. You can wear it really short, like a choker style, or you can wear it at full extension. £20. £20. You said it a few moments ago, Debbie, you'd be hard pushed to get like a base metal, like from someone like Zara. Or even like Marks and Sparks. Marks and Sparks. Um, that's, I love the versatility of that as well, because you could turn it round, have that at the back. You could have it choker style, couldn't you? You could have it, you could add things to it. I just, I like the simplicity of it. I think it's really elegant. Isn't it just? Um, rose gold yesterday, we had a little mini rose gold uh, um, section of yesterday's show, yeah. and it was hugely popular. It's lovely, isn't it? It's it just, complements uh, every skin tone. It really does, and it's quite autumnal. Like, we're coming into that kind of autumn feel and I think you get a lovely autumn feel from the rose gold love it absolutely love it um, make sure you check them out and candy well done to you Jan Linda Barbara Josephine Suzanne you're there as well on those phone lines the pink jade is coming up in one auctions time lovely addition to the black jadeite that we've got coming yeah. up as well um, sorry uh, last of stock elastic did you say yeah Okay, um, I've got uh, a limited quantity available. I'm going to start with all of this. You get all of it. Oh, sorry, my talkback's playing up now. It was your actually my talkback now. <laughs> so I'm like Ross is going. Uh, uh, oh no! Uh, so I'm trying to decipher it. Anyway, but you get everything and the big needle. Originally, we had just over 200 of these. There are 16 of them left. Now, I should point out as well that you are getting the two different gauges in the two different colours. So you've got your 0.5 and your 0.8. So you can even do stretches with your things like pearls. pearls. Um, you're getting the clear and also that lovely black. And the big needle, which is a revolution for stretchy makers. What do you do with that? I've never seen it. Have you not? No. So basically, can you see at the very end, you've got a little hook, a hook, little yeah. tiny hook. Um, so you feed your gemstones on. Right. Elastic. And then go... Zoop. <gasps> feed it through genius it is genius it's genius i didn't know that so was no, a thing no more no more no more beads rolling Fiddling. across the floor and you know that's very losing good. on the other end of the elastic if you're anything like me and you run out of elastic especially the thinner ones really quickly don't you so, yeah and the both having both colors is really useful so yeah in total that's five meters on each of those reels so you've got 20 meters we had over 200 of these when we first launched so basically you what £10 a reel, needle for three, uh, free, Wow! but we're oh. nowhere near your closing price. There is a reason why these absolutely flew, but they are an integral part to any, uh, any, uh, any jewellery maker's sort yeah. of threading stash. You need elastic, don't you? Um, these might well sell out before we even bring the <laughs> price point to your screen. The phone lines have gone nuts. I can see you there. Anne, Durham, Wendy, Carol, Suzanne, Maker, Maker, Zoe, Alison, Amelia, Mirtha, Tidfil, Cathy, hello to you. You can't beat a stretchy. You, you can be one of the most talented of jewellery makers, which, which you are, and like Debbie, and I bet you still resort back to a stretchy from time to time. Well, design, 99. Designers do it. Yeah. So, you know, it used to be like all oh, stretchies, you know, and then all the designers did it, and everyone realised how easy it is to get stretchy bracelets on and off and layer them. Yeah. And we never looked back after that. Never, ever looked back. The final six of these, well done. Um, and... I, uh, Elastic, even though it is one of our necessities, mm. it comes in, it disappears, doesn't it? Oh. Sells out over and over and over again. So uh, make sure you do check those baskets out, everybody, to guarantee your success. Now, coming up um, in a few moments' time, it's not a star buy because of the quantity. Yes, it's a star buy because of the deal. But first and foremost, it's a star buy because of the gemstone. Ooh. Type a jadeite in a rare fancy colour is up next.
that I, can't, I just didn't even know that you could get this colour. It's Again, it's being washed out by the lights, isn't it? But it's got this subtle... It did really remind me of a lotus flower. It's so beautiful. And the shape as well. Yeah, it's... it's well, I, I, we haven't had that shape and cut in many of our jadeite strands because no. I suppose, again, you're cutting away carat weight of one of the most valuable gemstones. But let's talk about jade and its colours because most people will, I know our viewers are, you have got an extensive knowledge of gemstones, but most people, especially if you're new to the gem world, will think of jade. Like my brother, I was talking to my brother the other day because, uh, um, as I said, my niece is waiting for an exam. She's quite worried and tense, Aww. so I've bought her one of, uh, one of our carvings that she'd commented on my Instagram. Oh, that's lovely. Um, anyway, and um, my brother literally said, oh, I know jade green. That was his, that's... That's what he said. And most people do assume yeah. that it is just in green. But actually, you can get this gemstone in um, a few, what we describe much like diamonds, as fancy colours. But they are very, very rare, given the fact that the, 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 the pinks, the lavenders, the blacks, the reds, the yellows, the russet tones um, are on the exterior. They're what we call the skin of the boulder. Now, <clears throat> I should mention that don't expect like a candy floss pink. Don't expect a fuchsia pink. This is a very, very, very subtle pink. And it is certified, not by ourselves, it's certified over in, uh, in China by their laboratories right. um, as, as pink. Much like, you know, lavender. La most people think lavender like a deep purple, don't they? But actually it's a very subtle lavender. I love that subtle because I think this would appeal to people that aren't pink people. Yeah, you know, yeah, that, that's true. That's because true. it's got that subtle tea, like when you look at a lotus flower or a water lily, it's white, but it's got that hint, hint. and that's what a blush. Gets, a blush, and that's what remind it reminded me yeah, of. Yeah, totally. Um, now, this is a, one of the few opportunities that I've ever had the chance to speak about uh, about uh, that beautiful pink jadeite. It is natural. If you, you know, we can dye it, of course we can, but yeah. that would actually, you know, withdraw the value in yeah. this jadeite. Um, there are twelve of these in existence. When we launched it, there was over 200. Um, I have literally just that, that quantity remaining. It's the first time I've ever actually had the privilege of bringing this to air. I'm loving the elegance of those shapes, almost like a rice bead again. Uh, um, the reason why we don't see it in any of the colors of the jadeite very frequently is because you know that could have it would be more uh cost effective for the gem uh for the jade trader to keep them as round so right. like marquise they're very very wasteful but don't they bring the most beautiful beautiful elegance yeah. certified natural exceptionally rare and i'm going to be talking about the rarity of your uh, of your jadeites um along sort of some of the carvings that are coming up in today's show the black jadeite for example i'm going to be talking about that and one of the things that uh, uh, the jade specialist from sotheby's i'll briefly hint on it now uh, discusses look at jadeite separately to any other gemstone because they have an internal glow and it's that enigmatic beauty which makes them so desirable, so valuable, and so, so expensive. Now, 12 of these are in existence. This had to be a star buy, given the rarity of the gemstone. Given the rarity of the gemstone. If you are a collector and a connoisseur of some of the rarest treasures in the world, a pink jadeite absolutely should take pride or place within your legacy pieces. Immediately, collector has got it in Somerset. Well done. Well done to you. You're about to purchase certified natural Type A jade in the, in a rare shapes, uh, just a beautifully elegant shape, isn't it? The, yeah, I mean it, it's something very special. You're looking at so, when you look at it, you can just tell. I mean, even if you didn't know, you didn't have the words to say what it was, you weren't sure. 
you can just tell there's just something magical about it it is magical and i'm so glad you're saying that debbie because i found an article one that i've never there's ne to my knowledge has never been shared on jewelry maker okay. so i'm really excited to read this to you um a little bit later on in the show but it is like i said the jade expert from sotheby's talking about the internal magic he said it's it is look magic. at it like a work of art that's what yeah, he says absolutely jade eye is like a work of art not like a gemstone not using your four c's and things like that you should be it, it's the magic that this gemstone the uh, the enigma that this gemstone actually brings you. Imagine these alongside some black jadeite. And oh my goodness, we have black jadeite for you today as well. Um, at £499, that's an incredible deal for one of the rarest colours of, uh, uh, of jade. Yeah, imagine pink necklace with just a black master carving, black jade master carving at the bottom. Or even green. Oh, or it would just, oh yeah, green would look so pretty. Because you've got that green and the pink, you know, it's just like nature puts that combination together in the blossom trees and flowers. And I just think, wow, what a piece of jewellery that would be. It'd be beautiful. Yeah. And you said you were wearing your carving yesterday. How yeah. many comments did you get? I get so many comments of people going, oh wow. And then they look at it and go, is that a machine on that? How's that been done? Yeah. And I'm like, no, this is hand carved. And then I go into how, and it's just a story. It's, it tells a story. You know me, I'm all about the story. Yeah, same. And I also like having worked in the industry for a long time, having something unusual that no one else has got, or not a lot of people have got. Well, well, well yeah, I mean, with something like this, people are going to say, oh, I love, I love your necklace, your bracelet, whatever yeah. you decide to turn it into. And you can say, oh, this is pink jade. And I can almost imagine, predict what the next statement is going to be. Pink? Yeah, then oh, you have the conversation. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. When did this happen? Oh, wow. When did we go under £100 so for one of the rarest colours of jadeite? We're not even stopping there. This is, uh, if these don't go, I'm all over this. Yeah, this with some <laughs> lovely apple blossom greens oh. or a beautiful black. Um, it would look completely different with those kind of colour variations. It would. In 50 seconds, we are taking this lower. Hello, Sharon. I bought the rounds of pink water jade. It's so beautiful in real life. They are, aren't they? It's, it, it, it's one of those pinks that, like I said, if you want the candy floss, if you want the fuchsia pinks, this is definitely not that. No. Definitely, definitely not that. Ross is saying in my ear, Elle, I can't believe how low this has gone. He thought, you thought how much? More than where we are already. Absolutely. So remind me, Ross, where does this go to? That's madness. Yeah, that is absolute madness. Sorry, I know you didn't hear what I just heard, but it is incredibly incredible. Ross, Ooh. look, did you de determine this price point? It's on, been on before. We've actually got the last 12. They determined the price point. We're actually matching the launch. The final nine, Janet, London, Carol, Tracy, Suzanne. Well done. You can still use your four-way split pay, even though it's under £50. That's so good. And having it on the split pay just makes it so much easier, doesn't it, as well? Because you don't have to find it all at once and you're not paying any interest, which I think is amazing. Oh, look at those together. Imagine. Yep, that's my necklace. <laughs> yeah. Imagine <laughs> yes, it's sold out. Well done. Well done, everybody. This is black jadeite that's coming up a little oh. bit later on in the show. I know. It's oh, it's so exciting today. So so exciting. Well done, collectors that got hold of that. Sorry to those of you that missed out. You can always wish list it. Um, so speak to our call center. Um, if any do fall back into uh, into stock, they will give you uh, they will give you a call. Now let's bring you a little bit more amazing jadeite. I'm just looking for my tweezers. Where have they gone? Where have they? Oh, there they are. Sorry, Dan. Sorry, I'm being a nightmare for Dan this morning. <laughs> Sorry. You're used to it now, though, aren't you? My talk back's playing up. Where's my tweezers? Bless him. He has two days off and go, oh, phew, Noel. <laughs> um, oh, there's only 10 of these available. A great introduction into Jade, into oh, the wonderful I've got Jade Eye world. Isn't it pretty? Oh, I love this. I've got this. I wear it up high and then I have my Marla. I wear my Jade Marla with it and then just this on a tra chain at Beautiful. the top. Beautiful. And it's so pretty. Oh, I love this. Look at that. So in the centre, um, you've got a beautiful round, brilliant cut. It's framed in 925 sterling silver. You've still got that amazing water content of Jade Eye. 
And again, we do, well, I'll discuss this with you um, at a greater length a little bit later on in the show. To have that level of translucency allows the light to play, if you like, mm -hmm. internally. Um, if I just turn it sideways, you can see the investment of 925 sterling silver. The, this pendant has been incredibly popular, and I can absolutely see why. That's not a cubic zirconia in the center, by the way. That is a round, brilliant cut topaz. Um, I mean, it looks literally four figures, doesn't it? Twelve pounds ninety-nine. What? I know. Whoa, that's so good. It's and it looks beautiful. like a little diamond. In it there, does. Doesn't it? it does. Little diamond. It's not, but it looks. It looks like. One. These are going to sell out. I'm kicking myself now. Why haven't I bought some of these? They've absolutely flown. Lots of you have. They've got the final five within the vault. They're so beautiful, aren't they? And all I need to do is add that to a curb chain. Exactly. That's a that's a high end present. It's so pretty. Oh, so, so pretty. Well done. Mirtha Tidfil, Jan, Heather, hello to you. London, you've got yours. I've got loads of you with it in your basket. Nancy, Marjorie, Zoe, Cheshire, Amelia, Janet, Mandy, Amanda, Dusty, Carola, Jacqueline, Janice, you're there as well. Linda, Sandra, I've got two. Oh, no. Oh, they've sold out. Well done. Well done, well done, well done. Okay. Don't forget your early bird. We're going to be bringing you this beautiful rainbow bracelet and that connector. Um, so you can shop ahead on that one and pre-order. Should we do some more jadeite? Should we do jadeite in another cut that you don't see very often? There are only 10. These are big carrot weights. Perfect for those of you that do things like your uh, bezel strip or your gallery wire mm -hmm. or your prong setting as well as your knotting. So, And, you know, in a um, slider bracelet nice. would be beautiful, wouldn't it? Or like just, if you want to just layer and have one of these, maybe you want a macrame or just lovely and they sit beautifully the way that they're cut they sit beautifully against yeah. the skin for a bracelet don't they they do because you've kind of got almost an almost flat yeah back or front whichever way yeah. you're actually looking at it checkerboard faceted um oh i love that recording because look you see the rivers of your imperial green running through oh, it's beautiful. all completely natural there are seven of these left immediately we've got collectors getting involved incredible absolutely incredible I remember the very first jadeite that Gemporia saw. Mm. And, and, and by the way, it, I think they were type B or C, one of the other. Um, but they were like that one, just one in a, in, a, in a sterling silver piece. And you were talking three figures for those because yeah. it's jadeite. Yeah. That's what we should expect of this rare gemstone. I've got six available. That's an absolute giveaway deal. We don't see the cut very often. Um, four of them remain. Well done to you, Wendy. You're straight on it this morning. New customer, Julie. Um, I can see you there. London also. So, so versatile in your jewellery makes. Really versatile. And I think, you know, once upon a time, we saw lots of Tanzanite. Yeah. People were like, oh, there's loads of tanzanite. And then we didn't really see very much of it. Nope. And like now we're seeing jade, but I don't think you can get complacent because no. in a couple of years you'll be like, oh. Where's the jade? Where's the jade? Yeah. And that's what we like with the tanzanite. And like people were saying at the time, oh, it's tanzanite, tanzanite. But now, how many times do we see tanzanite strands? Oh, eh, pfft, really ever. And likewise on our sister channel, they and don't I get it And I feel like it's going to be like that with jade. So you need to get it while while you can make make hay while the sun shines exactly make hay while the sun shines absolutely um okay oh these are beautiful this color is unbelievable if you are a big fan of the apple blossom green then this is definitely a strand for you um beautiful uh trillion shapes beautiful triangular shapes so great if you want to create direction i suppose within your jewelry uh -huh. designs amazing tessellations this is pretty look at that color ah see yeah, the colour is absolutely incredible. And of course, the more amplified, I suppose, that green is, the more desirable it is. Definitely. And all you have to do is put a little spacer bead at the top there and it, you, it could look like a heart. Yeah. Couldn't it? Yeah. I thought they were hearts, actually. Yes. Well, that m many people would actually say, sell these as hearts. They look like hearts. Yeah. Don't they? What are they called? We put them, call them triangles. Oh, okay. Which is technically what they are, but many of your heart uh, sort of strands, even or, or finished pieces of jewellery, um, actually don't oh, have the cleft. No, they don't. Don't have the cleft. Can I also show this alongside some lovely pills? Oh. <laughs> I know, I know. Twenty nine pounds and ninety nine pence only to get hold of this amazing strand. That's a big carrot weight. It's that. It's that really beautiful uh, um, sort of blossom green, isn't it? It. Really, I, I love the subtlety of yeah. this colour. Well, and it's not even that subtle. It's just something elegant and completely unique about the green of 
Jade. Yeah, totally. It's, totally. Do you know what I mean? And it becomes a love affair. This is something that Susie and I were saying and Hannah and I were saying only yesterday as well. It, you, 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 you sort of... You, you become obsessed with jadeite. It's one of those gemstones. I'll be honest, completely honest, I was on the fence with it at, at first, but yeah. that was the, the jadeite that I saw way back when. Right. Way, way back when. Now, completely obsessed with this gemstone and definitely making most of these kind of prices. Well done, well done, everybody. Um, they're on the verge of selling out. I've got just two of the triangles. Let's do what, sorry? Oh, those pearls. Please tell me this quantity, please tell me this quantity, please tell me this quantity. Technically, yes, that's quantity. Oh, no. It's not enough quantity. Do you know, do you know, when you see fireball pearls, they don't often have this width. Do you know where, yeah. do you know where I'm coming mm -hmm. from? These are, this is going to sound the most weird description ever, but do bear with me. These are circular brocks. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it does. They're very, very... They're longer usually, aren't normally they? Normally much yeah. longer, yeah. yeah. Oh, they're pretty. There are two of these available. Natural. <gasps> that pure white. And then, of course, with the high luster. Um, with the high luster, you have that beautiful iridescence that runs across the surface. Oh, that's what they described as high luster pills. Perfect. Uh, and by the way, luster, many will say, is the most important of the five virtues. You know, you can have size, you can have shape, of course. Um, without luster, it's like cutting of a diamond. You can have the finest quality diamond. Mm. If it's not cut well, then it's going to lose all of its beauty. That's the equivalent. Luster is about how, how uh, that beautiful brightness. Um, the luster basically will bring you that incredible, uh, luminosity it will uh, they say top quality pearls will reflect their surroundings my goodness me this is doing that now we're already over allocated already natural forms each of these will have formed in one single mollusk. If you were with me yesterday, I spoke about the investment of time that goes into producing a strand like this. That's why our suppliers are saying, look, they're not impossible to put, to, 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 you know, to, um, to reorder. They are very expensive because years go into strands. Each pearl can have between three and five years of time invested in its growth. Oh, wow. I know, and you've got what? Two, four, six, eight, eleven on this one strand. Two hundred and ninety-nine pounds. Use your split pay. That's less than thirty pounds per pearl. Um, again, Susie on Friday was, of course, she sells pearls, doesn't she? Yes, that's, that's her speciality, and she was saying one of those she'd sell at that price. Oh yeah, easy. It's um, pearls on the high street and in boutique jewellers are very, very considered. Yep. And we see our prices, I see our prices as sort of like when you go to a trader, you know, you go to the wholesaler and the yeah. person, the mine, you go to that, that person and get, and get them. We get used to it, but it's not what pearls cost, no. is it? No, no, definitely, definitely not. And well, that's the whole ethos, isn't it, of Gemporia, ultimately, yeah, is that, you know, we cut out all the middlemen, but we do, you're right, we get blasé about that, don't we? T totally. Um, there are 18 of you with it in your oh. basket, and there is one left. Well done, Middlesex, you've got yours. These are stunning. Eileen Carola, another Eileen, so we've got Eileen in Bristol, Eileen in Hampshire, Northumberland, Charmaine, Candy, Merthyr Tidville, and I've got people on the phone lines for that last one, it's gone. Well done. Well done, Eileen. Absolutely beautiful now if you've missed out on these i do have some more mate oh i'm obsessed i'm absolutely obsessed do i have quantity eight. Oh, look at the color natural look at the shape look at the luster they're near on perfect aren't they yeah i mean yeah 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 how you'd think of a I, I'm, always, I, I'm always reluctant to use the term flawless with a pearl because it's an organic gemstone. We shouldn't expect them to be flawless, but these are as close, oh, <laughs> as close so as, aren't they? Oh, oh they're so beautiful. I couldn't part with this. Not I know so I. many of our lovely jewelry, uh, jewelry, uh, jewelry maker friends have got a business. I couldn't part with these. Look, full of metallic luster. For yesterday, I showed the uh, a few photos. Not uh, you know this one, um, in particular, it's it's a it's a glass cabinet that what literally had two uh, um, security guards either side, 
And it's in America, so when we say security guards, they were armed. <laughs> armed security guards. Wow. This is uh, in Tucson. Um, I wasn't invited to this. It was it was uh, Jake and Dave who went to the event. Um, and what you're looking at just there is some of the finest pieces of jewellery, historic pieces of jewellery. So you've got Sophia Loren's red coral necklace. You've got a beautiful carved maple. pearl. You've got the most insane, um, insane black opal. But look at number nine. And what does it say? Pearl necklace, cultured, Chinese freshwater pearls. Um, here we go, from the rainbow collection, uh, somewhere in the rainbow collection. Uh, I mean, look, look at that and look at what you can get. <gasps> It's, it's, it's literally like the same necklace, isn't it? Yeah. It's, it's almost exactly the same. Perfectly spherical, naturally colored, precisely what you are sourcing right now. I have how many? Seven. Eight. We're about to open the auction now. This is why, and I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry to sound like a broken record. We need to be selling 18 karat gold. Gabrielle, we've had this conversation if you're watching right now, haven't we? Leave it with me. I am on the case. But something like this, with an 18 karat gold clasp, you'd pay thousands yeah. of pounds for in a jewelers. Yeah. Out of my price range of buying however beautiful what I could justify or afford. Yeah. Would I wouldn't be. even look at it. No, and I love the idea. I mean, I don't, generally don't know what these are going to, but I love the idea of making jewellery for myself that I couldn't afford. Hello, Elizabeth. That, that, exactly. That's why I'm so proud to work for Jewellery Maker. Morning, everybody. I have this strand and I'm keeping them to pass on to my granddaughter. Exactly. That's what, exactly what I would do as well. Yeah. I, I mean, uh, just uh, incredible. I, I would be, this is the kind of, uh, uh, these are legacy. These are heirloom. They are. They're passed down pearls. Through generations. And of course, pearls can always be taken apart and reworked into different styles depending on the generation. Um, that's the beauty of them. Well, yeah, a hundred percent, a hundred percent, and they never, they never date. No, they don't. Pinks are the most popular colour of pearls as well, but normally we're talking about overtones, not a complete solid pinky purple colour. Just the, the lilacs and the, oh, they're just beautiful. Well, you pay a premium for these, and um, I've shown this before. Novus, uh, the Novus uh, pearl necklace, which is um, a, a jewellers down in London, s sell this piece. This very, and it could almost be exactly the same pearls as what you're sourcing right now. So freshwater pearls, like yours, with 18 karat rose gold, price on request. Do you want to know what that price is? Mm. There you go. Oh! It's a very, it's a very nice car. A very, very, very nice car. Do you want to see the matching earrings? Oh. Again, it's a car. Two purple freshwater pearls, natural in colour, like yours. Diamonds and sapphire, eight grand. Do you want to see some loose ones on their own? Fifteen hundred dollars. Two, not drilled, just two. One on its own, not even as beautiful as yours, by the way, I might, I might add. 1,100 sold. Wow. Let me just do a bit of simple maths. Two, four, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, 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 forty-two,
Because we don't sell them. We don't sell them. Um, so that's what I will be putting alongside a, a strand like this. There are eight in existence. We've at £499. That is a mad price point already, but we are going even lower. These are naturally coloured, beautifully spherical, full of luster. You've got an ever so slight graduation, which we actually haven't mentioned um, on the strand. You pay a premium for that. Natural, natural, natural. Use your split pay. Each pearl, instead of the 1,100, five pounds, that's ridiculous, that price. That's ridiculous. That's, that's one of the best prices I've actually seen on some of our luxury pearls. 199 pounds for 39 natural pink and purple pearls. Um, you've, uh, you're flooding in for this one. You're gonna have to be really quick. Unfortunately, I only had eight of them. West Midlands and Candy, you've done it. Charmaine, Patricia, Cumbria, Joanne, West Midlands, Kate and Heather, I can see you there as well. There were only eight. Now we're straight immediately down to the final three of them. So I can get this home for what, 49 pounds and 75 pence. That's one of the best prices I've ever seen on our luxury pearls. You can buy pearls. Listen, I can bring you pearls at 19 pounds. I can bring you pearls at a 10. I can, but they won't be like this. No. They'll still be beautiful, don't get me wrong, but they will not be like this. this that's like comparing a Ferrari with um, a, a sort of, a, um, a, an, you know, an old banger that you would pick. That's the, di no, that's just, uh, I don't quite mean it like that. But you know what I mean? There's, yeah. there's different echelons. A fast food restaurant with a, with a, with a Michelin starred restaurant. Yeah. There's different degrees. And this is one of the, uh, one of our, our premium quality strands. Mad price. Well done Heather, well done Charmaine, well done West Midlands, well done London, well done to Cumbria. Uh, I've got one left. Hertfordshire's there, Yorkshire's there, Trisha's there, uh, Anonymous Maker's there, Somerset's there, another Yorkshire, Surrey's there, and another, uh, uh, um, West Midlands. I, I've got. I can't see everybody's names on our course screens, but there are 29 of you in total for the final one. I'm not too sad if that doesn't go. You know, Ross. Because <laughs> uh... oh, someone just got it. Well done. Oh, Marie. Well done. They are beautiful. Unbelievable. Now it's a real mixed bag on today's show, so I really love it. You've got some. Uh, you know. Uh, more considered price points obviously and we've got the uber affordable and I think you're going to absolutely love this deal of the day not deal of the day what we're talking about early birds it's full of color it's full of positivity mm. it's fun jewelry it's, it's the lovely. first thing that you clocked when we it sat was. down yeah and it's up next <laughs> Ross is like, ah, are you all right, Ross? Okay. I've said this before. There's jewellery for every occasion, and I think there's jewellery for every personality agree. as well. Do you agree? Yeah, I agree. Because jewellery can be, I don't know, quite... Do I use this word? Yeah, I'm going to say it anyway. We're amongst friends. Jewellery can be pretentious. Yes. Yeah? Absolutely. Jewellery can be fun. Jewellery can be bold. Jewellery can be sexy. Mm -hmm. there, are diff there are different occasions, situations and ways to wear jewellery. Definitely. And what mood you're in. Yes. And where you're going, you know, like just because you like diamonds doesn't mean that you don't want to get your boho bangles and your macrame. Totally. You know, and it depends on what you're feeling for me 100%. On, on a day. And it can lift my mood, definitely. 100%. Yeah. I'm all about that. Yeah. All about that. I love this. So do I. And for me, this is that, I don't know. Uh, you don't dress up all the time, or I don't anyway. No, I know no. Susie says, you know, you're only on this planet once. Dress up at every given occasion. I don't. I don't do that. She's not wrong, and I admire her for the, her commitment. But outside of outside of work, you will find me in my in my comfy clothes. Me too. But say, for example, you know, I'm going maybe to um, to a pub, or I'm going to a, like I don't know a festival or something like a family barbecue. Mm. This is the kind of jewellery I would be wearing. Yeah, definitely. 
Um, this is a fun, fun kit. It's a mini make, basically. And the finished piece of jewelry made by our lovely Anne and Sue. Um, you get the connector. A beautiful base metal, gold base metal, with all the, that wonderful rainbow of colours. I mean, that's fun, isn't it? It's absolutely gorgeous. It's and you know, if you do look at, like, say you go on Pinterest or, or a website like that, and you look at like bracelet stacks or arm party, if you put that in, arm party, yeah, you will see people with. Um, Chanel and Gucci and all of those expensive bangles with things like this Definitely. as well. Definitely. Yeah. That's part of the arm party. You have lots of different styles together and that's what complements each other. And I just think that this little bit in the middle, this little kind of focal point, is just so much fun. It is. Isn't it? It's beautiful. And, and how difficult is it, is it to achieve that? No, it's very easy. I like the way they've attached it, actually. With the lazy strand, they've put through the connector first. Yep. And then Macron made over the top. Perhaps over the very top clever. of that. They're very clever, those ladies. Anne and Sue, <laughs> they really, really are. And you could obviously do your Solomon Spy, your sliding knot, or yeah. your Anne and Sue have yeah. done an S-cast at the, at the reverse. Now, we've got just under 150 of these. Love that cord. And it is literally like an ombre of colour. Um, you can see that sort of all coiled round. So it goes from the green to the pink to those whites, the beautiful beautiful blues you're getting that big uh that big connector um so yeah just shy of 150 i've already guaranteed it under under a tenner so wait a minute um myself um, uh, and my eldest popped to the shop recently and of course she goes to that accessory shop doesn't oh, she so expensive. oh my god what a rip off anyway she loves it so it's like okay it's your money your pocket money yeah. and whatnot um and she'll look at the plastic jewelry and things like that and you're talking best part of 20 quid really expensive yeah that doesn't last no doesn't last five minutes okay can I do begrudgingly let her buy it? <laughs> um, because she's her own person after, uh, and it's her money at the end of the day. I would absolutely, absolutely love to see um, Willow wearing something like this because I know it's going to last. Yeah. I bet she'd love it, actually. She would. It's fun. And I love the way, I've said it before, but I love the way that cord works up. It's so pretty. That's really what drew pretty. me to it when I walked in the studio. Because you've got, look, like coffee colours. You've got some sort of peachy tones. You've got the whites, the pinks, um, and also the green. Um, what length is this cord, Ross? Because I can't see the specifications at the moment. We'll have a little look. Because, but you've got more than enough to do a full, complete macrame bracelet, obviously. Um, but if you wanted to use it, maybe, I don't know, you could wear it that way, couldn't you? And then maybe have it as a tassel at the bottom. Yeah, oh, yeah. That would be really that. nice. You can mix it up. I'd be multi-buying on this opportunity anyway. Um, okay. Hang on. Let me have a little look. This is... It's been bought in as a bundle. You have got... me. I'm going to say probably about five metres. It looks, oh my goodness me. Yeah, that's plenty. You've got tons, haven't yeah, you? It's too plenty. much to handle, to be honest. Too much to handle. I'm gonna try. Okay, here we go. Yeah. So look, oh, I can't, that's about a meter, isn't it? Yeah. An arm's yeah, arm length. length. Yeah. One, One. Two. two, about three meters, probably more to be honest, because I'm terrible. I'm terrible at measure measuring. Look at these lovely colours that you're getting and the connector. For the connector alone, this is an amazing price point. Um, now, we have promised it under under £10 at the very beginning of the show, so let's just get there. Let's just get there. What a great introduction to macrame. If you've never done macrame, it is actually very therapeutic and quite relatively easy to... to, 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 to to develop. Oh, it's easy. It never goes out of fashion. Someone put a lovely comment on my Facebook the other day about my creating craft days, which is, was a different lifetime when I used to do macrame. And you know, that was about 15 years ago, and I'm still doing macrame. Yeah, today. totally. I love macrame. And, and I just think that um, macrame is something that goes across generations. I've taught um, ladies in their 60s and 70s how to do macrame, I've taught kids how to do macrame, and there's so many things that you can do with this basic macrame. And yeah. it's such. A lovely sort of mindful oh I love it you know technique to do yeah. and it's not difficult at all there's lots of tutorials I bet there'll be one on our website somewhere sure I'm, I'm absolutely certain if I can do macrame then I can guarantee you can seven pounds and 99 pence no way would you purchase a macrame bracelet from say that shop that I mentioned a few moments ago yeah no oh, way. No. Have a little look at, at Monica Veneda, which I reference quite a lot when yes. it comes to macrame, because she uses macrame bracelets oh, on yeah. there. And they're three figures. 7 99 I've just seen that. It's ever so good. That's amazing, actually. 
Seven pounds ninety-nine. Debbie, oh, so we're still not done. That's not your early bird. See again, I'm thinking my daughter's friends, Christmas friends. Lovely. She likes to get all of them <laughs> presents. Um, I would make sure you got eight. your phone handy then, lovely, because these are very, very, very popular. There's a lot of people on those phones. I, I want to join you on this too. Really nice gifts, colourful, cheerful, so on trend at the moment. That clock is ticking away. Sharon in Surrey's got three. Susan in Derbyshire has got three. Sharon in Yorkshire's multi bought Claire's got three. Uh, Trishiel, you've got two. Pauline's got two. Lancashire's got two. Well done. So many of you getting involved. The only thing, the only concern I have is that well, there was only ever 148 available. Mm. They're brand new. Um, you've got ample amounts, meters of those beautiful ombre colored cords. I don't think we've ever done anything. It's a little bit shibori actually, the, so the, the colors. It really is. That's what has attracted me to this. I love the, sen the central um, connector, but the cord. Yeah, It's pretty. having those colors that complement each other so beautifully, just like flowing into each other. I love that, it's so pretty. Isn't that gorgeous? And you can make it to six pounds and oh, 99 yay. pence only. Goodness me! That's so good. And a, a bracelet like this, once you actually know what you're doing with macrame, and it's pretty straightforward, isn't it? It is pretty straightforward. It will take you, let's think, an hour. It'll take me about half an hour, probably, if you've never done it before, maybe an hour. Yeah. The great thing about macrame is that if you go wrong or you don't like it, you, can, you just untie it. You know, it's not, oh, I've ruined it. It's no, not one no. of those. Yeah, just um, start again. And also, what great stocking fillers, or if you've got, like me, you've got a crafter for a family member, give her the kit and let, uh, let her or him make Yes, it. you don't even have to do it for them. You know, so you've got a lot of versatility with this. So I'd definitely buy more than one. I quite like the idea also of turning it into a tassel and that actually wearing it that way. Oh, that would be so... I'll get, well, if you Hannah get did a demo on a tassel yesterday. Look, something like that. Yeah, yeah, multi-buy. Well, so that you've got the necklace and bracelet would nice. be nice, wouldn't it? Or oh, earrings, you could do earrings as well. Um, well, we're not stopping there. We never were stopping oh, there. Oh, OK. I know, I literally, we're pulling your leg. Polyneg, so even if you were one of the first people to make your confirmations, um, or one of the last, we've got 67 left out of the 150. So, oh gosh, I'm going to say probably about 95% of you have actually chosen to multi-buy on this. They are great gifts, aren't they? Jane's got three, Trisha's got three, Edna's got two, Kathleen's got three, De uh, Lancashire's got five, Surrey's got two, Cheryl's got three, Elaine's got two, another Elaine's got six, well don't you, Robert's got two, Andrea's got two, uh, Susan's got three, Jane and Merseyside's just got three. Claire and Dumbarton's has just got five. You get the general gist. The majority <laughs> of you are choosing to multi-buy. And why wouldn't you? It's already a steal of a deal at five. For, uh, sorry, six pounds and ninety-nine pence. Someone's got six. Yeah. See, that's a really good idea because you could have a necklace, a bracelet, and earrings. So that's like four. But then also, if you're thinking if you've got a big family, lots of nieces. Yeah. You know, lots of people to buy for. I want to see what this is going to. Silly, frankly, it's 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 silly. <laughs> oh, the suspense! Oh wow, that's so good. That's so good. I'd pay that for the cord yeah. or the connector, but you are getting both. There's not going to be any. <laughs> no, unfortunately, we may well miss out on this one. But well done to those of you that do manage to get hold of it. Yeah, if you're a fan of the beautiful colours that you see within Shibori silk, then you're going to yes. love absolutely love um this cord and if any of our buying team are watching then please can we have some more yeah um, and can we also have those connected in silver in the rose i don't know if they're watching it's sunday morning they're probably not they're probably not but still um i'll say it anyway and if they don't if they didn't hear me then i'll ask them on the in okay. the week well done everybody do keep dialing through do keep checking out you can see that quantity it's going to be an on-screen sellout imminently um but don't go anywhere because calming up after the break <sighs> oh my goodness these kits are beautiful your jewelry is beautiful as per usual Debbie. oh thank you well you know uh, what I've done is I've combined the kits mm -hmm. this morning. So I've used the pearls because you get so many in this 9 a.m. kit. I've used them in my 12 a.m. kit as well. So okay. anything that you're seeing on the desk there, I've used these pearls from this kit. Um, well, that tool that we have coming up, which is obviously what's cut those stars, if you pop along to Cooks and Gold, they have a variety of that tool. 
£181.79 pence for that tool. Midday today, we'll, uh, we're going to promise you uh, that we're going to be paying significantly less today. Significantly less. Look at that. I mean, you, you literally have star charms indefinitely then, haven't you, once you've Absolutely. got Absolutely. If you have a look at just, if you've got time, that little bracelet, the little tiny one next to the, the pearl one. Oh, pretty. Just have a look at how you can make your own charms. Now, I've got a D and a heart in there that I've stamped in there, but how many people wear bracelets like this? Oh, yeah. Sterling silver chain, one pearl and the star. Now, usually you would be buying, oh, yes. With the deal of the day. I was just picked up the deal of the day. Usually you'd be buying the charms. That all you need to do, and even from your off cuts of silver and copper sheet you can use this to make charms Perfect. stars and hearts every day of the week yeah the deal of the day of these beautiful sterling silver um i've got the necklace i've got the bracelet beautiful on that yeah, and we've got it in the rose and the yellow gold colour as well. But yeah, perfect to go alongside your your uh, oh, masterclass. Yeah. Um don't go anywhere. The what? Celestial, one of my favourites. Never too. goes out of fashion, always comes back in in a different yeah. form. Um, beautiful. Love it. Make sure you're with us. Don't go anywhere because these beautiful kits are coming up with gorgeous Debbie after this. Did you know that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week? Happy shopping with Jewellery Maker. Stay interactive with Jewellery Maker by texting the studio during our live hours of 8 till 5. Start your message with JM Studio and send it to 78070. Jewellery Maker. Create. Wear. Share. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewellery Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewellery Maker. Jewellery Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewellery Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got split pay, where you can spread the cost over two, three or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with split pay. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email 
or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. Jewelry Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Welcome back, lovely jewellery makers, and a very, very, very happy Sunday morning to you oh. all. Oh, we were just having a little sing-song, weren't we? Can we you were. just give me that rendition again? Because I did not know they were the lyrics. What would you like to swing on a star? This bit's fine. Carry moonbeams home in a jar. You'd be better off as you are. Or would you rather be a pig? <laughs> Who thought of that last bit? A pig isn't... What? I mean, you get this lovely song. It's about uh, moonbeams. Carrying about... moonbeams in jars. No, I don't want to be a pig. No, and I love pigs. I think they're very cute. But we I do. wouldn't want to be one. And what's it got to do with Star? <laughs> if you know, please do text in. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just. What, what, was was that song written at a time when yeah. people were maybe up with the stars? Yeah, but what's it got to do with piggies? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Um, anyway, right. What was that? Sorry, Ross. Oh, you didn't. Sorry, say Ross. You still a bit sing of singing. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just quickly show you um, Big Star by Opportunity coming up at the end of the hour and then we'll obviously dive into Debbie's beautiful, beautiful kits. Now, two opportunities, two amazing parcels. These are called gourds. Gourds? Um, yeah, gourds. They're like, oh, little, yes. like little vases. You yeah. see them a lot in Chinese art um, and Chinese um, uh, 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 jewellery as well, of course. Um, beautiful carving and they are symbolic of prosper prosperity, Ooh. happiness and wealth. And then on the other side, if I just tilt one forward, I've also got a parcel of beautiful jadeite hearts oh, coming wow. up as well. Um, can we pre-order on these? You know what? He's feeling <laughs> giving. Why not, says, I can't say the little bit that he goes in the, he puts in the middle of that sentence, but yeah, <laughs> he says, why the bleep bleep not? He's feeling fruity this morning, is our <laughs> Ross. Feeling fruity. Still in the barley mood. <laughs> <laughs> Come Christmas, I'm like, you're still in barley mood. Oh, yeah. barley, how lovely is that? I know, I know, bless Did him. you see elephants? Did, you didn't, I see, didn't anything. see anything. So you went all the way to Bali. I was, you saw a pod <gasps> of dolphins, yeah. And I was wow. like, you didn't, I, do you know the one thing? How can you go to Bali and not see the orangutans? <laughs> it was too busy doing this. That was yeah. the reality. <laughs> Drinking, that is, yeah, yeah. He was too busy having the, the Bali cocktails, wasn't he? <laughs> I'd be straight to see the orangutans. So would I. Um, oh. She's done it again, our oh. lovely Debbie. I mean, this is luxury, luxury jewellery. Never lose sight. We see the beautiful makes on our wall of fame and everything. And, you know, you walk past the high-end jewellers and you might... I wish I could give you a little... Many of our customers an injection of confidence because... I agree. Some of the pieces that you make far exceed, far, they far, do. far exceed the jewellery houses out there by an absolute stratosphere because look there's nothing wrong with just a simple strand of pearls no at all but makes like this are in a different league debbie so beautiful do you know what my favorite one is that bracelet yeah i middle. love that bracelet i made a friend of mine got married and she asked me for a bracelet to wear um to her wedding mm -hmm. and i basically made this bracelet and when i got this without the hearts i didn't have the hearts but the hearts would have been a wonderful addition oh, because yeah. of the symbolism of the hearts but this when you put it on your wrist it just hangs down and when your arms down by your side you've got this movement in the pearls and she loved it and there's I, sh I should have got that photo of her on a wedding day I'll try and find it and put it on my on my Facebook um, later on but it just it's so beautiful and it just hangs and you can add as many pearls or as few as you want and because they're rosary linked you're actually using less yeah yeah uh, that, this is what I mean Debbie I mean that in comparison to well on my wedding day you know I, I love the jewelry that mm -hmm. I uh, that I wore on my wedding day and well it was literally jewelry maker pearls yeah. however it was just a simple pearl bracelet yeah whereas that 
that's almost as much of a talking point as the dress. I think it depends what you're wearing. Like she had quite a simple, it was her second marriage and she didn't have like a big dress, but it was white and it was sort of just below the knee, but it came out. I don't know, it went with the outfit. Yeah, so I think yeah. sometimes a plain pearl bracelet is fitting to what yeah. you're wearing, isn't it? Yeah. But it just looks nice and I've replicated this you know, I'd wear this. Yeah, definitely. You know, because I love pearls, as you know. Well, and you get so many. So many. Uh, and and also, so the additional components that you're getting are incredible. Well, how often, firstly... Yeah, you get the silk. Do you get that lovely white silk? So you can absolutely do your traditional knotting, absolutely. I love that. And I'm trying to get hold of white silk is, is almost impossible. You don't often get it. Do we you? don't have it here often. And, and even I have to, I've had to buy these silk cards off eBay. Oh, yeah. Because it just sells out. And you can't get the white at the moment. No, and that's what you want. A lot of bridal, a lot of prom, like mm -hmm. prom jewellery. Um, if you go to events at Christmas, you know, people are starting to be able to do all these things again. A lot of people's occasions and events have been put off to this year, haven't they? Yeah, they have. From yeah. a couple of years ago. So this is the sort of kit that will feed all of those things. Totally. I love. And if you've got this beautiful attention to detail, like sterling silver, in your clasp. Exactly. Just lovely. Look at that toggle clasp as well. Uh, quite Mary Quant, <laughs> quite quite modern. That's what um, I thought. Did you think yeah. that too? It's in the, in, in the shapes that you're actually getting on your toggle. So you've got this like trillion and a circle in the centre. 925 sterling silver. Here are the hearts that lovely Debbie just pointed out. These are gorgeous. They're really They're, they're so puffy. sweet. And what I love about them is that they're the same on both sides. So that if your little child oh. turns around, doesn't it doesn't matter because you've got I don't know if you can see up close you've kind of got this like bezeling all the way around haven't they're you? They're like I call them puffy hearts. Puffy hearts. They are like proper little three-dimensional hearts. It's so pretty. Oh Look. sweet. Aren't they lovely? Really beautiful and you're getting six of those. Let me move it that way. There you go so you can actually see the pattern and the design. Large generous drill holes running through those and then oodles of pearls. <laughs> yeah. Two metres of pearls. Yeah, it's loads. Eh. <laughs> two metres. I can't, I can't handle two metres, honestly. It's too much for me to hold. That's, that's, that's a pearl display. <laughs> Do you believe in me, Adam? Sorry, I, I had to look a bit closer because I thought they are fresh water, but they are, aren't they? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're not shell pearls. No, no, no. They're fresh water pearls. Genuine yeah, pearls, cultured pearls. That's an entire artisanal stand. Isn't well, it? Well, I made all of the jewellery um, that you can see here for both kit hours. Mm -hmm. And if I put, um, if you can, I don't know if you can go to the overhead, I've got all these left. Oh, so you've got more than, oh my word. So that's a good what? I don't know. Two, got, three pieces of jewellery? Oh, yeah. So I've got all of these left and I made all, all of the jewellery on the desk with just this. Wow. Now, this is a brand new strand, Debbie. Oh. Do you know what, how much the strand is on its own? If we were to bring it individually, it's only available in the kit at the moment. Oh my goodness. Which is good, I Two metres of pearls on its own would be 49.99 at Jewellery Maker. Like I said, you go, you walk past, you walk past Ernest Jones. There you go, Ernest Jones. And you would find a pearl necklace like this, mm -hmm. yeah? You would see uh, probably, I don't know, 150 pounds, yeah? Would yes, we agree? Yeah, agree, yeah. About £150 for yeah. a sort of classic freshwater pearl necklace like this from Ernest Jones. Well, look how many you can make. Now, you're not just getting the two metres. Four. At least five of those necklaces. And a bracelet. And a matching bracelet. So, and probably matching earrings, yeah, as well. Now, the heart spaces are brand new, never been seen before. The only way to get them is part of uh, Debbie's kits. I, I, I genuinely can't remember the last time I saw white silk. It, I think you need to have that. Like, even if you're not a knot or you're thinking, I'm not going to knot these pearls. I didn't knot them. That goes in my silk drawer because the amount of times people have asked me to restrand their pearls. Yeah. You know, and, and I have to buy this. If, and I, I keep all my silks in my pearl silk drawer. Obviously, I'm lucky because I get them in kits sometimes. And if I don't use them, they go into my little drawer because they're going to get used. No, of course they will. They're going to yeah. get used, yeah, especially that colour. So this, I mean, the, the, this new, new, hardly ever seen beautiful toggle. The strand, the, I, I don't want to call it a strand, actually. It's two metres of genuine cultured pearls. 
not not one metre, two, on its own, if we if we were bringing it to air, would be forty nine pounds and ninety nine pence. Right, which is amazing. Which is amazing. Yeah. Is that right? Is that what you're saying? On its own, it should be forty nine ninety nine. Okay. That's that's amazing. That's very good. But we're nowhere near your closing price. All oh, my love, two meters, fresh water, premier, <sighs> natural, beautiful pearls. We're taking it under £100, brand new heart sterling silver spaces, a beautiful toggle, the two metres of pre-threaded, so, uh, sorry, with the needle, I mean, um, with the needle, two metres of your natural silk. It's just a dreamy kit. That's not your price. We're literally just chipping our way. Um, we have, let me just double check. Oh, we've got a big quantity of these. We're going to do something extra special. I mean, one, look, one on a sterling silver bracelet like this, one single pearl. And remember, your deal of the day that's coming up at 10 o'clock would be absolutely perfect. It'd be perfect with Debbie's star cutter. Yeah, because... Perfect with the masterclass. It's not like a star is not a really sought-after shape. You know, you've passed your exams, you're a star. You've passed your driving test, you're a star. You've, you know, special birthdays, um, memorial jewelry you know stars and hearts were the ones that i always wishes, sold hopes the most. dreams hopes dreams wishes affirmation yes absolutely um, i just look at that that makes me happy looking at that no me Am too no no me too me too no this is coming up as your deal of the day it's the perfect bracelet to go alongside the kit are you ready are you ready for your kit price point often i mean you have it every single time Sterling silver toggle, the spacer beads of sterling silver, natural pearls. You can get the entire kit today. No way. For £34.99 on your split pay. Or £69.99, two metres of pearls. It's never been on our screens. They're that crisp, beautiful, innocent white. Um, we have it all the time. People will actually message saying, look, are, are you selling the pearls on their own? Are you selling that actually you're better off, more often than not, you're actually better off purchasing the kit than you are buying them individually because yeah. you get additions for free. You, uh, and also, you know when you make these luscious pearl designs, like I made one um, a while ago, a few years ago for a magazine, and you know when you have like the baseline of pearls and then you have a pearl graduation coming down to the middle. Mm. So you have a long pearl there and then it gets shorter and shorter. You need a lot of pearls for that kind of design. You need a lot of pearls from Marlowe design. Now this is a long line necklace that you're looking at now. Oh. And you saw how many pearls I had left. Now everything on this desk is made with this kit. This one kit. And this is, you know, it's a pearl heavy necklace. It goes, I mean, I've actually yeah, yeah. draped it on the back so it'll fit on the bust, but it comes down to sort of here. So it's a big, you know, pearl heavy, no spaces, all pearls. That's the amount of pearls that you're getting. And sometimes, you know, when you've got, say you've got a strand, um, and you think, okay, well, I have to be, I have, you have to plan it, don't you? You have to think, right, okay, have I got enough pearls to do this? Definitely. Have I got enough pearls to do that? Yeah. Whereas this, you haven't got to worry about it. You'll have enough. And you can do that. Also, it's a stash builder. So if you make a lot of pearl jewelry, a lot of bridal commissions, um, you can offer everything to match. Um, you can space them out. So like with this, I've used the star cutter. I've sold it on a few elements as well, which we'll be bringing later. But you can separate them out. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pearls on that necklace. Eight. Eight, eight. out of two metres. Yeah. Debbie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> remember what we said at the beginning of this amazing kit? Yeah. That this beautiful two metre length strand mm -hmm. of genuine culture pearls is brand new. Mm -hmm. And if we, if we were to bring it to air mm -hmm. on its own, mm -hmm. it would be 49 99 Oh, so this isn't our price? No. Oh, okay, wow. I'd have paid that. <laughs> yeah, me too. Probably I'd shouldn't have, have said that. I, I mean, me too. <laughs> I'd have paid it that. It was definitely. never our price. Oh, okay. We have quantity of this kit, oh, and okay. I want this kit to completely and utterly sell out. Okay. Because most, I'm not saying all, but most of our lovely jewellery maker customers will use pearls. Oh, yeah. Most, yeah. Uh, most of them. Uh, it, it, it still is to this day the gemstone that I buy the most from Jewelry Maker. Me too. And pearls and jade. Just oh, so. yeah. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Can you imagine one of those master carvings on this? On wait, this wait, wait. Strand? Hang on a second. <gasps> imagine this. I mean, come on. <laughs> come on, Elle. 
How beautiful is that? I know. That's, and you yeah. can purchase all these things oh. today, black jadeite carving and the black jadeite rounds coming up in today's show. There is a reason why I was hinting at the fact that this is £49.99 on its own. <gasps> you can get the entire kit with the sterling silver and the silk for £49.99. And you can still do split pay? Yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> Totally. Oh, that's amazing. Get all of those pills home today for £24.99. And the phone lines have gone crazy. <laughs> of course they have, because you recognise the deal when you see it. Oh, I can't wait to see what everyone makes. Have you How many pieces? Oh, crap. Uh, it's hard to Actually, don't bother answering that, because you've still got loads left. You could still make more, couldn't you? The point is, you oh. could do an entire stand, couldn't you? You could do a whole pearl stand. You know, like some people have shelves in jewellers or they, they rent yeah. out a shelf or something. Or they have like, you know, these um, glass cabinets. Yep. Like I used to have one. Yeah. Um, you could totally kit that out with two With this one of pearls. kit. Do you know what struck me as well as how uniform the pearls are? Yeah, they're beautiful. They they're are so really beautiful. Lovely. They're really high luster as well. Now, we, we've got, when we said big quantity, one of the biggest quantity kits that we've actually had in a long time. That's because this is brand new. That's because they're brand new. The, probably, the, 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 the challenge for us, actually, in terms of quantity was probably the silk. Yeah. And those little um, hearts are new, aren't they? Yeah. Those little puffy... And again, you've got all the sentiment and the story behind that. You just add a heart oh, and it gives you... a whole new dimension. Big quantity, though, Debbie, tends to mean something, doesn't it? Are you going cheaper? Honestly, I, I, <laughs> rewind a few years ago and, and a kit which had maybe one strand of pills in, you would have been talking about this kind of price tag, maybe with a few other additional gemstones wow, in there. Okay. We're not stopping there. I want this kit to be a sellout because it is such an epic deal. Like I said, at the beginning of this auction, um, there's a reason why I highlighted the fact that you can buy the pearls on their own and more often than not, you're better off not doing it that way. You're better off purchasing them with the kit because you get others, other things for free, like right now. Mm -hmm. And sterling silver things, let's yeah, say. Yeah, sterling silver things for three. We're going to give this to you at a price reduction. Oh, the glasses are going on. I, I don't know genuinely, I promise you, what this is going to, but... So we're not stopping at $49.99. Okay. So if you were to buy them on their own, $49.99. Which is still epic. Absolutely amazing. If you buy the kit with the sterling silver toggle, with the sterling silver hearts, with the silk, two metres of pearls, genuine pearls, not shell, you're going to get a reduction today. That's why you are better off actually purchasing Debbie's kit. Uh, I mean, yeah, for the strand alone, everything else is essentially for free. In fact, no, you're getting a saving on the strand and everything else for free as well. How mad is this opportunity? What's better than one strand of pearls? Two metres. Two metres, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Two metres of pearls. That'll do for me. That'll you. do nicely. Thank you very much. Loads of you getting involved. Loads of you multi-buying. Yes, you've still got your split pay as well. I know where Ross is going on this, yeah. and it's frankly ridiculous. Because what, you, a, a, a metre long strand is about two and a half of our usual gemstone strands. So that means you're getting five strands of pearls nice. for $39.99 <laughs> today. Oh, that's, oh, I, do you know, I got handed this kit when I was here last by our lovely um, a kit lady alice she's lovely and she said hi oh you look happy and i went yeah because you've just handed me tons and tons well, of pearls yeah, she's <laughs> who wouldn't be happy if you had oh. two meters before you well you know the, the the design brain starts going crazy because you've got two meters of pearls so you're like i could do this i could do this i yeah. could do a mile i could do two miles i could do three miles i can do earrings and you know the design brain starts going yeah, it's exciting. Totally. Do you know, even if you just put them all on like sterling silver shepherd hooks, yeah, yeah. which is a, 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 too many ear, pairs of earrings for me to even count. Yes. But I, I saw, like I say, my mum's main carer, who I've, I've, I've formed a great friendship with yeah. over, uh, over um, recent years as well. I noticed, I went down the other day and she was wearing some, um, some faux pearl earrings. I was like, 
must must give us some new ones, some real ones, oh, that's some lovely. real pearls. But we can do that because we're getting yes. genuine pearls here for a ludicrously low price. So if you want to buy the strand on its own, you can. It'll be probably if the, if this kit doesn't sell out anyway. It's going. Um, but it'll be forty nine ninety nine. <laughs> Or you can buy Debbie's kit for $39.99 and you're getting everything else for free. And I just think, I know we don't all make to sell. You know, I used to make to no. sell a lot and I don't really anymore unless I get commissions. Like sometimes I do. If I'm raising money for charity or something, I'll yeah. do it. Um, but forget all that. I love pearls. Me I too. wear pearls. Me too. So when I saw this, I thought I'm just going to make what I would wear. Totally. I, I'm the same. I don't, I don't, I want to sell more. I, I do want to. If people ask but, me, I will. Yeah, pearls, I make for myself, I'll be honest. So do I. <laughs> I do make for myself. <laughs> I like, oh, and or if I have pretty. an outfit that I They're love. They're so pretty. I make, you know, bespoke it for myself. I employ myself to make myself a jewellery to go with an outfit. And it's usually pearls. Pearls and jade at the minute. Yeah, me too. That's my combination. Look how many get. I know, honestly. That's like, it's amazing. Well done, everybody. There was 150 of this oh. kit. Um, they're absolutely flying out the door. Do make sure you check out your basket. You know, when you're getting a kit of 39.99, I mean, look, you can be massively indulgent, can't you? Oh, you haven't got to be frivolous. I mean, twist, twist it, twist it. Twisty, twisty, hang on. <laughs> Big twist or little twist? Big twist. Now, that in a boutique jeweller, they cost so much money, those necklaces, because yep. there's so many pearls in them. Imagine that with a beautiful, maybe, um, brooch, a vintage brooch that yeah. you clip on, and you can take off, but you can just clip it on and just completely change the look of it. Love it. So Audrey Hepburn, isn't it? Massively, although hers were fake. Were they? Yeah, they were fake. <gasps> the Holly Golightly pearl necklace. Yeah, she deserved real pearls, she that did. lady. She did. Holly Golightly, I can show you. Something like this, maybe Angelina Jolie, they're not fake. She's so beautiful. She really is, isn't she? Oh, that, that see that? She's got that ah. sort of, you can clip a vintage brooch on and then just take it off and put it on and take it off. Now, Sarah Jessica Parker's character, Carrie, wears pearls to bed. That's my kind of woman. Yeah, my kind of lady. Yeah. Um, does she channel her in a Marilyn Monroe and say um, um, Chanel number no. five as well? Wasn't it Marilyn Monroe? It says, was. What yeah. do you wear to bed? Yes. Chanel number no. five. Here we go. Have a look at these. Here we go. I mean, I know there's variations. $1,350 wow. for that lovely necklace. The kind of twist. And any beginners out there, like if you're joining us and you're, and you're, a, bit, you're a beginner, you've never made jewellery before, this is a great kit for yeah. you. Because you can just put one pearl. I started off making earrings at a local class when my kids were little. And if you want to start out, all your basic tutorials are on the website, all the tools, you can just make earrings and then you can move on and you've got all of this stuff to work yeah, with. Yeah, exactly, exactly. What, which, which of these lovely pieces are you going to show I've us? got so excited, I haven't got any tools out. Oh, sorry. No, That's here me. I am, I'm here. No, it's me, just being excited. <laughs> right, I thought what I'd show you is the pendant of the big long line necklace because if you want this to go even further, all you need to do is add some sort of slightly different components just to do something a bit different. Mm -hmm. um, and there are a lot of knotty demos, so I think we've all probably seen that before. Right, so what I used was... Um, a little uh, component. Now, you can either make one of these out of wire or you can, you know, when you do the beading around, the seed beading around, mm. I tend to have lots of these left, these little blanks. So that's what this is. Now, I would say that if you're going to use the sterling silver components and you're using these pearls and you're going to sell it, make everything sterling silver if you can because that will just add yeah, to the definitely. value. Um, so I've got this um, little shape here, and it could be a large jump ring, it can be anything you want. And I use that as the sort of base for my pendant, thinking about it on maybe a mala or a long, long line necklace. Now these pearls will very easily go through your featherweight headpins or your 0.4 wire. Um, they may go through 0.6, I didn't try it. So what I did is my anchor point, I wanted to add one of these pearls, and it does go a really long way. So what I'm gonna do, is just make a wrapped loop and you'd usually do that with your round nose pliers and as you go up your pliers you get a larger loop and as you come down you get a smaller loop and I'm just going to flip my tail over the top so that I've made my little loop here. Now I know a lot of people are like, why are you showing us how to do a wrap loop? Well, there's a lot of people who are beginning this jewelry making journey who don't know how to do one. So um, I'll just show you there. Now you want to be able to get your connector in there. So just make sure that you haven't done a tiddly tiny loop 
before you see how your connector is going to hang. You need that connector to sit quite comfortably in there and not be restricted so that when you finally come to hang your pearls off of it, um, you've got this kind of skew width thing going on. You want that drape to be really lovely. So what I'm doing is I'm just popping that in there. Come here. And then I'm going to hold my loop with my pliers. And the reason that I'm doing this wrap loop is because it's what we call... Um, metal work is a cold connection very secure cold connection which means that it's as secure as soldering something because there's nothing that can slip out here and then I am just going to wind my little tail around there and you get practice makes perfect so you get um, better at this as you go along and then you don't want anything to be sticking out because you don't want that to snag on your clothes or your skin so you will just get your cutters go down as flush as you can Keep your finger on it, you don't want that flying in your eye, and then just pop that off. So now you've got sort of your anchor point there for your pendant. And I'm just going to bob on one of these gorgeous pearls on the top here so that you're ready. It would lead your eye down to what's coming next. And then you need to bear in mind what you're going to attach this to. And I just, on my finished necklace, I'm just going to take it off the bust and put it next to it. I sort of made quite a bit of detail I used some bead caps and that beautiful little heart bead there but how I actually attached it was in between the two pearls there so that gives me an idea of sort of what size loop I need so I'll just move that out of the way so I'm going to do that you can add this afterwards and actually attach it to your necklace or you can do it first and then string it on as you're going along that's completely up to you so I'm just doing another wrap loop I'm going to do this one a little bit quicker Okay, so I've got that nice secure connection now. Whatever I string that onto is not going to slip through any cracks in any jump rings or fall off because we've got that really great cold connection. Now, the thing that I like to do is use my bead caps. And I had some kits um, a couple of weeks ago with these bead caps in. And these are things that we tend to have lying around. And I tend to use them as the anchor point for my tassels. So that's all that I've got here is actually a, a bead cap I've got a loop in there and then I've just put a tassel on these are seed beads but we do do pearls in this size and they're great for tassels so I'm just going to show you how I did that so you can use an eye pin and an eye pin is the one with the circle on the bottom and the way I remembered it when I was learning was it's round like an eye whereas the other one's like a nail so you can attach that, but you have got sort of a smaller loop to work with if you do that. And I quite like doing the loop myself, so that can make a nice large loop. The benefits of having the large loop are that you can put more tassels in there and they're more free flowing, so you get that lovely movement in your jewellery. So once again, I'm just going to wrap loop that into place nice and quickly. So I'm just doing exactly the same technique as I showed you just now. So now I've got a nice big loop as opposed to my little eye pin loop. So I can get lots of tassels hanging off there and they'll have lovely movement. And I'm going to attach it eventually to the bottom there of my little component. But what I want to do first is just add on my bead cap. So what that does is it sits as sort of like a little umbrella can you see there? Um, and it hides this loop, and then you just see all the lovely tassels coming off of there. Okay, so you don't want this to be flopping about. So what I did, let's see what I did. I just put, let's put another pearl on. So you don't have to be scrimping with these pearls or counting because you get so many in the kit. So I'm going to just hold on to that. And I'm going to wrap loop the top and I'm going to do quite a few wraps until I come down to meet that bead cap just because I don't really want it to be wobbling about I want it to be sitting like a little a little buttercup there or a little um little flower and that's quite pretty on its own isn't it so they could be earrings and you could put one pearl there you know you, when you've made something once and then you try and recreate it and you come up with loads of different ideas because you've already done it so here you've got your little component and you can add on you could add well like the way I did it on my finished design was I added on a pearl in the middle so that I'd kind of filled up that negative space and then I added the seed beads but let's do something different we've got so many pearls that we could definitely add some pearls underneath and have more of a sort of um, simple design so I'm going to take one of my pearls 
here. Actually, let's put three on. I like to work in odd numbers. So I'm going to put three of my pearls. And this is a featherweight head pin that I'm using here. And before you attach it, the great thing about jewelry making is you can have a look. You can put it down and see if you like it, see if it sits OK. So do I think that that would look pretty coming out of the bottom of there? If I don't like it, I can go back and change it. I'm not committed to anything yet because I haven't finished off my wrap loop. So I'm thinking that I'd possibly like maybe a smaller bead as my third bead. So what I'm going to pop on is just a spacer bead. And I just think that that's a little bit more pleasing to the eye because we've gone large and then we've gone small. So what I'm going to do now is just, again, wrap loop. And I'm going to attach it to the little loop inside my little flower that I've made. So it kind of hides the workings or the mechanics of the jewellery. And it just acts as a little umbrella over the top of your tassel. So I'm just going to do that with my fingers because when you're working with featherweight head pins, they're nice and, and soft and malleable for you to work with. And then I'm just going to take my cutters again and cut that off. So that when I attach that, say let's attach it. You could have wrap looped it on. If you want, sorry, if you want a bit more movement, then I always think if you add an extra component like mm. a jump ring, it gives you that extra movement. So let's just add a jump ring to the top of the component that we've just made. I'm just taking two pairs of pliers. And if you've not opened a jump ring before, you open it like a door. You take the sides away from each other. If you unroll the jump ring, you're going to sort of deform the metal and you'll find it very difficult to get that perfect circle shape back again. So I'm taking my pliers and then back together again, just so that you, you can give it a little wiggle if you find that you keep getting a gap there. And that will work hard on the metal as well. So that will be more secure. And so then what I've got, is a different feel to that because I've used lots and lots Lovely. of pearls. Whereas on the one that I made in my existing piece of jewelry, I've used smaller pearls and sort of gone for a more fan effect. But then all I did, and you could you'd knot these if you want, I put mine on some beading thread, is then attach that to the bottom of your pearls. And it gives you that sort of Marla style long line Beautiful. necklace. Now, of course, we've got some lovely materials. So we could do a material tassel there, completely up to you. And then just, I had a lot of comments on the bracelet. So if I just very quickly yeah. just talk you through what I did with the bracelet, because it's really not difficult at all. I'm going to take it off and, and pop it just down here. All I did was I rosary linked, so that's a wrap loop either side of the pearl, or all of the pearls together until I got to my length. And then you've got this gorgeous, doesn't it just lift it? Makes oh, that it a toggles, beautiful. High end. And then what I did was I just added some drops, adding in these little hearts, because I wanted it to have that sentiment attached to it. And then every other one, I attached a little bit of sterling silver chain and the pearl on the end. So that gives you your movement. And as you go, you can take away or add in so that it's fuller or less full, depending on the style that you're going for. So all beginner techniques to make something like this. It's not a difficult technique, but I think you end up with quite a stunning piece of jewellery. Oh my goodness, yes. So yeah, if you're on the fence about making jewellery, you can't go wrong with pearls, you can't go wrong with your loops, and all of these techniques that I've shown you just now are very, very basic techniques. Yeah, but as we always say, sometimes the most basic technique makes the most commercial and wearable jewellery. And we think everybody makes jewellery because we make jewellery. We've got friends that make jewellery, but they don't. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, now, there are less than 20 of these kits left so from the 150 that we originally had, so do make sure that you check out. And I'm not surprised. That's an absolute giveaway. Do you I know. Love pearls, isn't beautiful it? Beautiful kit. I love them. Um, thank you, Debbie. Well, as welcome. always, gorgeous. Now, you have got it. I don't know if you were actually sent this. Oh, was. It's there, there. <gasps> do you know what it is? Yeah. <laughs> Going straight in my ears after the show. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my goodness me. Beautiful. Yeah, when Stephen says at the end of the show, can I take a photograph, it's no. No. No, no, no. No photographs no. going home with me. No, those, the, they're nephrites. <laughs> me and the security guard. Do you know, do you know? <laughs> What, going home? Yeah, that's my husband because he drove me down. Yeah, yeah. Security guard. Can I just, I said it yesterday. This is more limited. There are only 50, but I said it yesterday. Which, what colour of jade, be that jadeite or nephrite, has the auction record for most expensive price tag? Is it imperial jade? 
No, it's white nephrite. Is it? Because you, it's so rare. So rare. Yeah. So, so, so rare. And that is pure white. It, yeah, it's, it really is. Oh, my goodness me. There are 50 of these kits. You're going to have to be really, really quick. Nine carats of natural nephrite in those two beautiful hearts. Oh, I'm quite jealous of those earrings. This, oh, my word. You get two of them as well, which are through drilled. There it is. That's the most expensive piece of jade. I mean, it's got the history, obviously, as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. Obviously. But look at the price tag. That's too many digits. I, I, if they get too many digits, I'll, this is why I'll never be rich. Because when there's too many numbers, my brain can't no, process not mine. it. And it gives me a headache. Yeah, what, 19 million? <laughs> is that what it is? My brain explodes. And by the way, these would work amazingly alongside your next star buy. Or one of your next star buys. Oh, yes. The green jadeite yeah. hearts that are coming up. Or pearls. Or pearls. Or maybe your gourds that are coming up as well. Or use the earrings separately. Use your hearts to go with the bracelets as yes. charms. Be oh, yes, with the deal of the day. Yeah. Amazing, How amazing. That look? look, I love those earring findings. Um, again, very, very Monica Veneda um, because she really works with that beautiful, almost like water, rippling water effect. Yeah, she does. As you can see, you've got that little drop. Um, perfect for you to suspend um, your half drill gemstones or, of course, your nephrite. You're also getting those wonderful little heart spacers um, that are launching literally today. All 925 sterling silver. The fact that this is totally natural pure white jadeite uh, sorry not jadeite nephrite so technically oh. the oldest form of jade i thought it was jadeite no nephrite's older than jadeite oh okay so when we say when we say revered for for, for thousands and thousands of years the oldest is actually nephrite oh. The Chinese don't distinguish between the two because they're both incredibly valuable and okay. expensive, as we've just pointed, pointed out. But here we go. Although Chinese nephrite prices received little attention for many decades since the rise of China's economy in, in the 1990s, the original jade, that's what they refer to mm. it as, has appreciated tremendously. As of 2014, the world auction record for jade is held not by Burmese jadeite, but by Chinese nephrite. Ooh. Ooh. Again, a story. Yes. You're opening a narrative when you sell, wear, give this story. Love these. Quick makes. Yeah. But ultra luxurious. We're not even stopping at 49.99, which we absolutely should be considering that it is pure type A nephrite jade. Nephrite has a slightly different luster to it. You know, we always say jade, top quality jade, whether that's nephrite or jadeite, should look wet. Nephrite, in my opinion, looks uh, looks wetter. Yeah, it does. Yeah. And can I just like speak up for the metal? Yeah. Um, there's a lot of silver in those. Loads. Yeah. Loads of sterling silver. You're actually getting what? Two of those beautiful pairs of earrings. Yeah. And the butterfly backs, obviously. Yeah. Six of those lovely, uh, uh, lovely hearts, which we're smitten by. Yeah. And I really like the earring finding. There's a good bit of. Uh, you'd have to cast that. Yeah. You know, if you yeah. wanted to get that effect, um, rather than hammer it, because it's not a hammered effect, it's yeah. an undulation, you'd have to cast it. We're not even stopping here, Debbie. I don't know if you know how low this is no, going, but it is, frankly, ridiculous. It, it would be an amazing addition to your kit, let's just put it that way. But it's nephrite. Mm. I've only got 50. Okay. I'm never going to have massive quantities of nephrite. It's not one, you know, or, or, it's, it, it's a rare gemstone, a very, very rare gemstone. Take those earrings... Next door to our sister channel, never in a million years would they be twenty nine ninety nine. Never in a million wow. years. Just put one of those nephrites on a sterling silver chain. Yeah, exactly. You've got pendants there. I mean, of course you can make earrings, but you could get a pendant and a bracelet. You can have two charms. I mean, it's up to you. Jewelry makers wouldn't know what they want to do with them, don't they? But I mean, you don't have to just because they're in an earring kit. Those earring findings on their own, I would buy the kit for because they're quite unusual. Yeah. And it's not worth my while ca casting if I can buy well, them at that price. Exactly. Even if you just focus on those earrings, that's £15 per pair of earrings. There's a yeah. lot of 925 sterling silver. Yeah. Plus you're getting the sterling silver hearts. Plus you're getting your Taipei ne uh, nephrite jade. Gloria, Janet, Shirley. Hello to you, Suri. Hello to you, Suzanne. Kent, Susan, Essex. Hello to you, Lynn, Bev, Pam, Zoe. Uh, Meath, you've got yours. Heath, you 
you've got yours. Zoe, you've got yours. Well done. Lincoln, uh, Lincolnshire, sorry. Lynette, Teresa, Julie, Hilma, West Midlands, Carola, Sarah, Marion, new customer, Swansea, Angus, Merthyr, Tidville, Northamptonshire. Uh, you actually disappear off the bottom of the call screen. There are only 50 opportunities available. Uh, you should absolutely be putting them straight in your ears today. I just, well, I just think as well that it gives you the opportunity to own something rare, something beautiful. You know, twenty nine ninety nine, I can do. Yeah, yeah. But you exactly. know, like when we look and things are hundreds, you know, you, you can't do that necessarily. So this is a great opportunity to be able to own them. Totally. This again, it's a, it's, it's what I'm really what I'm most proud of working for Jewelry yeah. Maker that we make the most luxurious and beautiful gemstones, rare gemstones, accessible. Exactly. Uh, and and likewise, I'm I'm in that category. I have to I have to watch my money. We all do, especially do. in today's climate. So twenty nine ninety nine. Well done to you all. Now Yay. you are moments away from your star buy. This incredible opportunity. Um, these little carvings, you know, we, we talk about jade and obviously um, the colour, the translucency, the texture, but we also should mention to that the artistry. Now, be that a master carving or be it a beautiful shape and a cut like this next star, uh, these next star by opportunities. They have such meaning and significance. Coming up next, we have your gourds and also the hearts. Unmissable opportunity, of course, type A. Um, bringing it to you, be quick though, because as per usual with Jadeite, it's highly sought after, going to a ridiculously low price point, and they are limited. Now, I've learned a great deal, a huge amount about uh, Jadeite over the past couple of years, more than I, 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 in my entire gemstone career that I've ever experienced. And that's pretty, uh, quite literally because I never saw jade. Mm. I never saw jade. Literally that one piece that I've discussed so many times at that jewellers that I worked at, that oh, was yeah. all I'd ever yeah. seen. All I'd ever seen. And then my mum bought some jade and, and because I didn't really understand it, I didn't really show any interest in it, mm. if you like. But once you start learning about this gemstone the stories behind yeah. the gemstone the history the history the shapes the yeah. meanings they yeah, all I love have that. it just becomes a love affair doesn't it yeah because it's magic and i'm all about stories and telling a story and what better than this now i'm going to start with the hearts they have never been on our screens before these are brand new and it's across six individual hand carved through drilled hearts For, listen i've seen our cutting house i've been to our cutting house and and they are amazing i've had a go at cutting gemstones not wow. jade I, I need to point out um and literally they were all laughing at me because i was so bad um but this is a skill that's been passed on from generation to generation these have been carved not in our cutting house but over in china because really they're the only or, or sort of one of the uh, um locations on our planet that specialize in this it's their yeah, heritage it's their history of course but to carve jadeite is so much more complex than many other gemstones out there diamonds it can all be done by machine it can be done by computer mm -hmm. they map it out they look at where the inclusions are in the stone it's not really that there's not as uh, as much of a level of artistry as there are, is with jadeite jadeite it is done in an abrasive manner by hand it's an incredible skill and then to cut with a gemstone that is literally as hard as steel mm -hmm. by hand that's amazing what an amazing skill to have to yes be able to do that yes that's part of the story of it of how it's cut people ask me that all the time especially with the carvings well i'm going to show uh, share with you like i said uh, um, an article that i was reading only last night on sotheby's and he talks about, don't look at jadeite as another gemstone. Don't look at it for its, just its clarity and the colour and the carrot weight and things like that. You look at jadeite as you would do a work of art in a gallery. Oh, yeah. And that's so true. And yeah. that really resonated with me. Here we go. So approach jadeite jewellery not as a commodity, but rather as a work of art created by nature and shaped by human hands. Oh, wow, that's beautiful. How poetic is that? And it's so true. 
It's the sort of thing you want to put up in your studio. Yeah. To remind you. These have been shaped by human hands. That's beautiful. In one of the most desired shapes of all jewellery, be that hearts, stars, flowers. Mm. Every single time, the most popular shape. Every year that we have been broadcasting, they are the most popular shapes. Because as yeah. you said, there's the story, there's the meaning, there's yeah. the message in your beautiful creations. Look at that wonderful glow. Um, a level of translucency, again, that you, uh, uh, um, we shouldn't expect, I guess, but we have come to um, regularly witness here at Jewelry Maker, unbelievable quality of jade eye. Every single one mm. of these beautiful, beautiful hand-carved hearts has that wonderful luminosity, that enigmatic, I'll hold it in front of the phone, that enigmatic glow um, that this gemstone can, but rarely offers. We are looking at 10 pounds per type A jadeite heart, 10 pounds, which is nothing for no. jadeite. How about five pounds each? <gasps> it's, that's nothing for jadeite. Just for carved, even if they were, these were something like jasper, mm -hmm. they're hand carved. I just think that, you know, when you give your heart motif, you're kind of giving love. If you could give love and kind of make it into something, it's a heart, isn't it? That's yeah. how, what we all identify with, which is why it's so popular. But if you're giving a jadeite heart, you're giving a really rare love you're giving something that and not that message of, of protection as well and you've got that protection meaning yeah because oh. jade is often worn as a, as a gemstone of protection which is lovely for your mindfulness just for your peace of mind i've got to remind me you know that i'm loved and i'm protected and oh. i like that <laughs> we're not stopping at 29.99 we're going to make another another price drop and even then we're not stopping there you do get a collection of um, six of them. Yeah, I mean, whether that's self-love, whether that's yeah. love for a family member, yeah. you've, got the, you've got the meaning of the heart symbol. We're already under 20 pounds. This is absolute madness. How many do we have of these, Russ? We've got 200, almost, almost 200. We're already at a bonkers price point. This is an absolute giveaway deal. Do you use hearts in your jewellery? Can you, did you ever imagine or entertain the fact that you're gonna use jadeite hearts in your jewellery? The symbol of love, affection, yep. obviously, mm -hmm. not just romance as we- No, uh, not romantic love, you know, self-love, love for your family. Um, you know, mindful, friendship. friendship, just to remind you that you're worthy of loving yourself. I know that sounds, odd. I don't mean that in a sappy way. No, 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 no. I no. mean, you know, you've got to love yourself. You're well, we're tough on ourselves, aren't all we? All the time. You're probably your, worst, your own worst critic. Definitely. We are our own worst critics. And it's that reminder, especially in the times that we're in right now, not to be so quite, uh, so tough on, your, uh, tough on yourself. Yeah, yeah, you know, give yourself a bit, cut yourself a little bit of slack. Um, so well, whatever the reason, be it, you know, give it, give it, put it on a stretchy bracelet for your children, your grandchildren, that meaning of, uh, of protection, whether it's because uh, the, the jadeite translates to heaven, doesn't it? So yeah. that connection to, to life beyond. Mm. Um, it's a gemstone that represents moral integrity. Loads of different messages attached to this opportunity, ones that we will always incorporate into jewellery. But most importantly, it's type A natural jade shaped by human hands, and you're not just getting the one, you get six drilled through the centre. So all I need is a featherweight head pin. This is the wait, kind wait. I just, yeah, a featherweight head pin and that's it. Or you could put um, maybe a little spacer in the little cleft of the heart at the top there if you wanted to. You could put them on lobster class so you've got detachable charms so that they can go on your bracelet or your necklace or your earring finding. And then, you know, but really you could make all those things because you're not just getting one, are you? Is it my, I'm terrible at maths, Debbie. Oh, don't ask me maths. Is it about two pounds? Two, just over two pounds each? Two pound fifty <laughs> each? <laughs> Oh no, he's just getting silly now, I'm sorry. Ross, Ross. Thank the quantity, he says, for this. We're not even stopping there. Really? Really? And um, Ross? Oh my goodness. <laughs> One single jadeite heart on, say, alongside your kit. Yeah. Little bracelet. Yeah. 
I mean, I, I, I don't know a price point that you could ask for that, but I think it's jadeite and pills. I just think that if you're, you know, in selling them in the right place, then you're going to get like £40 for a sterling silver bracelet with pearls on. And then you add the jadeite, you only need one. Yes. You only need one. There we are, one of those. Literally suspended How from your How beautiful day. is that? So pretty. So pretty. Are we ready, says I'm ready. <laughs> I don't know if I am ready, but I'll go with it. All the messages, all the meanings behind not only the gemstone, but also the cut. We had just shy of 200. Those of you, that's silly. That's two pound each. Two pound for genuine jade. It is one of the, I agree with you. Adam's just said that's one of the best deals I've ever seen. Absolutely. Again, again, I won't do this because I might come across a little bit smug and I don't want that. It's the gemstone of moral integrity. <laughs> <laughs> I was to go next door to lovely, gorgeous Amelia, who's, who's lovely, and go, guess what, Amelia? Two quid. She'd be like that. Get out. <laughs> Two pounds. I think if you were channel hopping and you didn't know about us, you wouldn't believe that they were no, genuine. No, no, it's very true. It, it is very true. But it's because of the amount that we can get, isn't it, that we can do this, like the amount that mm -hmm. we can get our hands on. I always think that the more that we have, the prices seem to go lower. Oh, it is, is totally. So that's, that's really reason. good, Our isn't margin it? goes lower. Yeah. If we've got a bigger quantity, we can genuinely squeeze those margins even further, especially if it's like almost a guarantee that they'll sell on the first yeah. airing yeah. because you're paying less out on broadcasting of fees course, so yeah. it's, it's absolutely the case that is ridiculous two pounds for not type b or c not dyed or polymer impregnated natural type a jade uh, it's not coming out of the mine at the moment it's not from from the, from the from the earth and yet here we are yeah just give me two quid and we'll we'll, we'll, we'll <laughs> leave it there shall we just go <laughs> <laughs> too quick. It's laughable when you say well, it like that. You'd think, oh, it's going to really up, you know, I'm really going to have to up the finished selling price of my item if I add this to it. But the benefit of these sorts of deals is that you don't have to. You can, yeah. but you don't have to. You know, you might not be selling in somewhere where you think that you can get much more from your jewellery than you're already charging, but you're going to up your profile as a maker adding something like this. Totally. Totally, totally. And, and, and you know all these things that, that like I put on air and Dave puts on air and Carol and everybody puts on air to share with you? S take them. Use them. I, I, like, if you want this slide that I just showed you about jadeite shaped by human hands, put that on a poster behind. Absolutely. What, I used to do this. I used to put quotes and meanings yep. um, and properties on my stall. And the amount of people that used to come and ask me questions and maybe they weren't intending on getting anything, and then they did because they liked the story behind it. They were interested. Um, absolutely. I mean, look at that is, like you said, so poetic. I love that. It makes me happy. I might put that on my studio wall, actually, because it's just something I would like to read on a regular basis. And it's the right way to approach it. Yeah. It is the right way to approach that gemstone. Now, um, it's very getting limited now, so well done. Keep on dialing through for that one. I can see you all there. Um, if everybody who, by the way, joined us for this auction, the hearts, if, you, if the same, quant same volume of you want to get hold of the gourds, so, I don't like that word. Nor do I. It's not a pretty word, although God. there's a big meaning behind them. God. Gorgeous gourds. So basically, they're much like urns. Again, it's not really a pretty word, but they will go all <laughs> roll with it. Vases. Yeah, they're like but, little vases, aren't but they? But to be honest, you know, many of the descriptions in Jade I aren't pretty. <laughs> Mutton fat. Yeah, that. <laughs> no. Pigeon blood in room. It's not nice, is it? It's not a nice description. Doesn't what matters is the actual shape. Now I've got 60 of these. You're getting 20 carats of again natural type A jadeite. A gourd, and I'm not the expert here, but I have learned from uh from uh Susie that a gourd is a symbol of um prosperity, good fortune. Um, uh, um, well, so yeah, very lucky, very, very oh, lucky. Oh, good. We all need a bit of luck. Totally. You so you would give you give gourds to your oh, okay. uh, to your family and your loved ones to bring them obviously lots of positivity in their lives. Um, now, again, we've got significantly less quantity than we had.
out of the heart. If the same volume of you actually join in this auction opportunity, it'll sell out in a nanosecond. They are through drills, which again, approach jadeite jewelry, not as a commodity, but rather as a work of art created by nature and shaped by human hands. May I just show you around a gourd? Because you've got this really beautiful, almost vase-like shape. If I tilt it down, you've got that huge drill hole running That's through good. the centre. Mm. This is a gem that is harder than steel. So imagine how skillful it is to carve this by hand. You've got to be. I drilled through some jade. Um, they asked me to do it because, or else I'd have been a bit... I drilled through it and I really had to be careful and slow and I did it underwater. So there's going to be a lot of things that you need to think about if you even attempted that and it's a scary thing to do. These are actually probably harder to cut, harder to drill and cut yeah. because you've got that shape. Yeah, inside. And then you've got a big whopping drill hole running through the centre. I like these in Marlers. Yeah, on the bottom of the tassels yeah, I like. Yeah. Little gourds, a little, a little gathering of gourds. <laughs> oh. If I have a gathering of gourds, does that mean I'm <laughs> going to have... <laughs> That's better. Gourd gathering. It's gourd, a gourd gathering. gathering. Please make a gourd gathering <laughs> necklace. Somebody make a gourd gathering tassel. Um, you can get the hearts and the gourds for less than £25 today. And also, I think now is a prime opportunity for me to show you the black jade that I have coming up in today's show. So visualise some of Debbie's lovely uh, lovely pearls. Mm -hmm. Visualise black jade rounds yes. and at the bottom of a tassel, a gathering of gourds. Yes, please. I, I, I like the sound of that. And your white silk. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I told you it was going to be a yummy, yummy Sunday. We're designing as we go along. As we go along. I've just said yummy and thought about a Sunday roast. Oh, don't. Oh, yeah. Oh. Now, as, um, should we go for a Sunday roast after the show? It's oh. <laughs> really good. Well done, everybody. 11.99. Stay where you are on those phone lines. Um, make sure you do check out, again, very, very limited. Your deal of the day is not up next. Um, for those of you that have been admiring the necklace that I was wearing at the beginning of the show, solid 925 sterling silver, plus we have the matching bracelets in the three different colours. So much beautiful goodies today. Lovely Debbie and I'll be back after this. <laughs> Did you know that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Stay interactive with Jewelry Maker by texting the studio during our live hours of 8 till 5. Start your message with JM Studio and send it to 78070. Jewelry Maker, create, wear, share. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got split pay, where you can spread the cost over two, three or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with split pay. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker.
Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. Jewelry Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Oh, welcome back, lovely jewellery makers. I'm obsessed with this deal of the day. It's so beautiful. And, you know, all I think I think most of us, not all, granted, but most of us adore genuine gemstones. Yeah. It's a love affair. It is a love affair. And it's something that I think you're either born with. Um, if you tune into Jewelry Maker, if you tune into Gemporia, then chances are you're obsessed with gemstones. I'm not saying everybody, because I know some of you also like sea beads and metalwork, of course. But it's not just Mother Nature's gems. Mother Nature also produces, and it kind of goes, uh, the precious metal is almost in the shadow of, their, uh, of her gemstones. Yeah, I, I'm a big cheerleader for the precious metal value. totally I love it because we almost forget that this comes from the earth as well yeah silver gold platinum comes from the ground and is astonishingly expensive at the moment yeah we've shared with you lots of times the bullion market trends we predict well not us but the guardian i can remember at the at the beginning of the pandemic actually said the price of precious metals will go up and that they did and it hasn't come down since then hasn't come down since thank you that's it liam um you i won't say who but somebody spoke to you a few moments ago about a commission mm -hmm. and your words your reply was Precious metal is very expensive at the moment. Yeah, I can't I can't give a quote because I don't know from day to day. So I have to know what the metal will cost before I can give a quote to somebody who wants a commission. And that is just the way it is. Mm. Now, team that, the, 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 you know, the, the record prices that precious metals are, alongside a trend that is not going away. Yeah. Chains are huge. And there are articles all over, all over the internet talking about it. The Financial Times, how chain jewellery is linking us together. Chains are being used as a symbol of connection, uniting masculine and feminine, romance and rebellion, old and new. Love that. Love that. Chain is no longer something that you hang something from. Chain is now the design of the jewellery itself. Mm -hmm. Ch chain is making the statement itself. Yeah. And if we just go back, Houdini, I love this. Houdini himself would struggle to escape the chains that have lured fashion lately. They've been appearing all over the catwalks, 
as jewels and body adornments, geek chic glass mm -hmm. chains, medieval inspired uh, chantelaines, a shoulder trailing earrings, uh, Brandon Maxwell, a chunky gold necklace uh, from the Bottega Veneta um, collection uh, from Louis Vuitton menswear. He put a new spin on the urban classic Cuban link chain with an exuberant multicolored neon link infusing Parisian chic with skater boy energy. Then mm. came normal people's Connell Waldron with his boyish alluring silver chain, uh, neck chain everyone got hot under the collar it is i love these articles but it's so perfect mm. to describe this trend this trend it's not going away big or small simple or gem smothered chains powerfully link the masculine and the feminine the past and the present the uh intimate and the industrial uh in fact with influences ranging from Renaissance splendor to 60s jet set glam to 70s industrial chic to punk, 90s street style and hip hop and chain, ironically, offers today's designers the ultimate freedom of expression. Whatever era, whatever decade, chains are always on trend. Yeah. Always. Chains can be worn in various ways, from everyday minimal to si uh, single flat link chains. Uh, and that's so true. If you, uh, there's one article within this, it's quite a lengthy PowerPoint, so I won't show you it all, but there's one piece, and I'll never forget the sentence, that actually says, we're not talking about Mr. T style <laughs> fashion here. Although, if you want to rock that, you absolutely can. Layering is all the rage. Layering is amazing, I love it. And you can look at countless different designers that will bring you a version of this link. Yeah. Take a look at these earrings. It's a version of this link. Have a little look at this. I love that. That's it's beautiful, isn't beautiful. it? Beautiful. I mean, it's 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 got diamonds in there, obviously, but it's a version of this of this chain. How about Thomas Sabo? How about Monica Veneda? A hundred pounds. How about Wolf and Badger? Two hundred and seven pounds. Here we go. I can't even remember what that designer was, but it's the long line chain with one single pearl. They're everywhere. They are absolutely everywhere, particularly Liberties of London. £275 for a sterling silver bracelet. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. We should expect, I, I, yeah, I could go on. I could go on and on and on. Tiffany's and Co. There are versions of chains and links. Your deal of the day, Pandora, is remarkably similar to this Pandora necklace. You can buy that necklace at £125. You can go to uh, uh, Misoma, £310. I love Misoma. So do I. <laughs> There's a slightly more affordable one, £155. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Or you can come to us. You can see from that distance, this is a big investment of your precious metal. And I'm going to say it, Mother Nature's precious metal. This is not something that has been man-created. All right, the design has, mm -hmm. obviously, and the craftsmanship has. But Mother Nature has created this beautiful, beautiful luster, this rare material that we use all the time to showcase our most treasured possessions that's the matching bracelet and if you've got your eye on that beautiful charm stroke pendant that is that's coming up um now i tell you what uh, and we've got a big quantity of those it's literally encased a pearl encased which is just beautiful now let's start making our way towards your misomas your your pandoras your ashley clarks your monica venadas which ab absolutely we've already gone past way past tiffany's and co yes, yes. way past that's 11 grams of sterling silver that's a considerable amount of silver a lot yeah you buy you buy silver mm -hmm. on a regular basis mm -hmm. if someone said to you uh, uh you debbie i want i want an 11 gram necklace well that's gonna cost more than the 129 pounds that's on screen yeah um because you have to put your time in and then i don't know what this is going to genuinely but there is a lot of work in this chain you have to make each link and then you have to solder them together some of these links 
have a pattern on so then you've got to pattern them so you've got to have tools um, it's an investment to buy the tools like maybe you don't have all the tools maybe you don't have the knowledge um, so you would spend this amount on making a chain like this because you've not only got your round links you've got oval links you've got long sort of paper clip links so these are skills that you need to make this chain and it's not going to take a small amount of time it doesn't matter how um, experienced you are that's still going to take a good afternoon in your workshop we're going to take it to a, um, a double figure price tag everything that you've just said time investment skills yeah precious metal yeah we're still taking this to a double figure price tag 11 grams this is actually one of the heaviest chains that we have ever brought you i'm not saying we've never done more but it is one of it's mm -hmm. right up there so you saw the difference between masoma um where there was one that was what 310 pounds was it there we go 310 pounds and then there was one that was 155 um what's the difference the gram weight you've got a massive massive gram weight of precious metal within uh today's deal of the day and there are tons of you wanting to get hold of it as well you don't need to put anything on this if you don't want to it's a beautiful statement necklace as is but at the same time very easy of course to attach your pendants and uh, yeah. uh, um, charms and things like that half the stock's already gone I want to get this it's beautiful it's so beautiful and you've got the matching bracelets coming up we've got those in different colors already we had a big quantity of these but you wow. love the design and I'm not surprised at 49.99. Now I'm going to ask Debbie Silversmith, amazing talent uh, 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 of jewelry making. Could you make this for 49.99? Uh, and the present price is no, not this length and not this intricacy. To be fair, I wouldn't bother if I could buy it for this because why would I bother? Yeah. Um, factoring in my time, factoring in what I pay for my time. I'm on a lot of uh, serious metal smith and professional professional jeweler forums and um, they often say this that why would I make so and so when I if I can buy it you can buy it at that price point yeah yeah especially if you're going to do a bespoke pendant or something to add on to it it's still handcrafted jewelry exactly but you know this chain uh, and this is a lot sturdier and a more grand weight of silver than I've seen um, really anywhere else for any like this price yeah totally I mean this is you look at 11 grams most of us straight away will go okay well that's gonna be three figures and that is uh, you know that is that's an accurate assumption that's an accurate price point for something like that there's that, no that way weight. there's no way this is a 50 quid call it all but a penny no chain or I where you could go and even get this for that no. I don't know where else you could no not on the high street anyway no. certainly not on the high no. street I mean Masoma uh, they're, they're in that kind of price point that's not it's in between it's it's still an investment don't get me wrong that's a huge amount of money but it's not like tiffany's and co prices is no which point. it, it would take up at, coin. yeah um but yeah 310 pounds is actually a very good price for yeah. that amount of sterling silver 49.99 is absolutely incredible i love it it's a big beautiful statement necklace you don't need the addition of any other gemstones but at the same time if you want to really indulge um then you definitely can my my goodness that quantity has dropped quickly um we have just 38 of these remains so don't leave them in your basket susan carol elaine bev lincolnshire surrey's got two marion linda eileen michelle yorkshire margaret jenny irene florence pat phyllis there's too many names for me to say hello to everybody you are going off the bottom of the screens right now so giftable as well really giftable and if you are making maybe a pearl collection maybe you're going to put a fireball pearl oh. on this and you're going to sell the whole necklace for 400 pounds Think of the profit, and how long is it going to take you to just put a fireball pearl on? Not long. Monica and Ada do that, don't they? And they do do that, and it's beautiful. And I just think that, you know, for the quality of something like this, I, I don't think I'm going to get one, but if... Well, I'm not now, but... No, I, we might miss out this on this. This is definitely something that I'd we'll buy wish for myself. List it. Oh, yeah, totally. Oh, yeah, we, yeah, we'll wish list it. We can add it to our wish list, because if any, if any do fall back into stock, then the, uh, our call centre will give you a ring. There are just five of these remaining. We've got the matching bracelet coming up um, straight after. We also have that beautiful bracelet, by the way, in the gold, which I just so happen to be wearing, and I, I've already said to Ross, I want to get one of these. Yeah, that's lovely. It's beautiful, and we have it in the rose gold as well. This is going to be an on-screen sellout. I'm not surprised prized in the slightest massive massive gram weight um, of precious metal amazing absolutely amazing who's gonna take that last one 56 of you with oh, it no. the last one 
Oh, we needed more of those, didn't we? Mm. Hopefully we can get some more. Well, I'll speak to Caroline. Because I think that lots of people will really benefit from those, especially people who make sell-off for gifts. That's amazing. Imagine they'll think that you've paid loads of money on Hundreds. the present. <laughs> they would. Well, yeah. uh, and, and again, if it was anywhere else other than jewellery maker, they would be hundreds oh, yeah. of pounds. Yeah, yeah. Hundreds for that gram weight. Again, these aren't hollow. That's not a hollow because it wouldn't be 11 grams. No, 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 no. And I've got my eyes on the bracelets as well. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> oh, they're so beautiful. Now, these haven't been on pre-order. You saw that big quantity of the necklace. You saw how, just how quickly that sold out. Oh, this is stunning. I'm going to pop this on. Uh, absolutely stunning. 5.8 grams of sterling silver. Now, I wear a, a bracelet very similar to this all the time. I don't take it off. Now, I've not got it on today, typically, because I was working with Delft clay and it went everywhere. Um, but mine isn't as nice as this. And I know what I paid for mine. So let's see what this goes to. Mine's oh. silver. It's not, as, it's not as big links as this. I prefer this one. It's got a really... I love them together. I, mean, I like that it's got that detail on some of the links, that texture. Beautiful. Gives so it a designer feel. Beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, very designer. Again, you know, uh, Miss Oma, Ashley Clark, Monica Veneda, they do a bracelet version of each of these, uh, these necklaces. Um, so, again, uh, they usually are obviously a little bit more affordable. That being said, did I just see Monica Veneda uh, bracelet at £295? Yeah, there we go. All right, granted, that's a very chunk. It's a very chunky bracelet. Very chunky. Let's round it up to 300 quid. You can get a version of that. Right now, we're talking about the silver colour. Uh, you saw how quickly the quantity on the necklace sold out. Slightly bigger quantity on the bracelet. Um, we're actually starting with this beautiful uh, silver colour. Here we go. So, um, whether it's gold, whether it's rose, whether it's silver, they tend to be generally around the same price point. Here we go. Monica Veneda, £95. There we go. That one looks quite fine. Yes, that it picture, does. Doesn't it? I don't know. Often... It looks finer than ours, I would have said. I can't know for sure because I haven't seen it in real life. But that photograph, it looks finer than ours. I one. agree. I do agree. You won't believe the price on this. They're beautiful, aren't they? They really are. I feel, I feel bad that I'm not wearing the rose now. Oh, go on. It's a Don't leave him out, Al. Look how beautiful these are. I know. I want one of these. I bet Me I'm too. not going to get one, am I? Um, you might in the bracelet because we have got a big quantity. Oh, good, good, good. I do have my phone with me, Debbie, so okay. in the break I can always add it to my order. Okay, cool. But we, uh, saying that, we added a big quantity of the necklace, which has actually sold out. <gasps> uh, do you know, this is one of those opportunities that I'll have good intentions. I'll have good intentions of buying this and giving it to someone, but it'll never happen. <laughs> oh, that's, <laughs> that's going straight on your wrist and my earring straight in my ears. Yes. <laughs> I'll have lovely intentions. I'll be like, oh, that'll be nice for such and such and such <laughs> and such. They'll never get it because it'll end up on my list. Yeah, absolutely. It's too it's so beautiful. We're at 99.99, but you know we're not going to stop there. If you were lucky enough to get hold of the necklace, which is already sold out, sold out really fast, that one. I think the bracelet will do exactly the same. Um, then be quick. We have got a bigger quantity, but like I said, we had a hot, uh, an amazing amazing quantity on the necklace as well so how about if we said you know you can get an entire suite heavy ground weight precious beautiful beautiful uh, sterling silver over 15 grams wow for under 100 pounds how about if we said that that would be amazing amazing that's not going to be it though is it i know it isn't no no we're not stopping there no because it's a smaller ground weight Still five point. It's, it's almost. It's, it's a, a lovely size. It's six grams. It's a size up from my one, which I wear every day, and typically I'm not wearing today. Um, mine's smaller than that. That is so. I don't know. I like the design of it. I know that you're like, oh, it's a link chain. It isn't. Like the way it's been put together is very clever with the smaller rounds, then yep. the ovals, and then your paperclip chain. It's, it's been quite similar out. to the Liberties one without the patterning. Yeah. Liberties, yeah. Uh, uh, Liberties bracelet. Um, is very similar to this, but theirs doesn't have the patterning. I like the patterning, and I like that it's not on every one. Yeah, me too, me too. 
You don't need, I love gemstones, you know this. We all love gemstones. We do, don't we? Yeah. But sometimes Mother Nature actually offers you the most beautiful, beautiful jewellery components without a single gemstone in sight. Roberto Coyne, a leading Italian jeweller, works really the majority of the time with precious metal over genuine gemstones. Yeah. One of their signa uh, sort of uh, signatures is basically a little, a little tiny ruby at the back, but it's all about the precious metal. 29. <laughs> oh, I'm going to be buying some of these. We can't not at that price point. That's madness. This is one of the biggest gram weights that we have offered you in our sterling silver collections. I know we've brought you, we've brought you, we bring you chains all the time. Of course we do. We bring you different designs of chains as well. Um, and it, the price point is always reflective on the gram weight, the investment of sterling silver. This is one of the heaviest chains that we have, full stop actually. Full stop in our entire vault. 5.8 grams. Here we go. Have a little look. Liberties. Oh, I always do that on mine. Put little little teeny gemstone. weeny gemstone on the end. Yeah, I always do that. 95 pounds. Which is good. Which is good. Really good. A really good price point. 29.99 with us today. I don't like that one as much. No, it's a bit plain. Controversial. Isn't it? No, it's a bit plain. Look at us turning our nose up at Tiffany's oh. Co. Jewelry. Do you want to know how many of these bracelets are left? 99. We had a big quantity of the previous, of the necklace that sold out. Do you want to know a secret? Do you want a secret? But we'll keep this between us, strictly speaking, though. It stays in, it stays in this circle. Because we're going to assume that, you know, the powers that be, they're not watching on a Sunday. They've got families. You know. They're having a roast dinner. They're oh, probably, no, not at half ten, they're not. They're probably preparing. They're peeling the spuds. Yeah, it feels like lunchtime to us. Get this, because I've just heard what it's going to. Sorry. <laughs> just, I know. Get to, get to. I know. I'm such an enabler. I'm like this to my friends <laughs> when I go shopping. They go, should I? I go, yeah, go on, you only live once. <laughs> it's true, though. I'm a terrible enabler. It's, eat the cake. For this price, buy the shoes. just said. Me, I want it. <laughs> We're going to take this today. This is amazing. 5.8 grams of sterling silver. This is silver. proper good. I went to London then. That's proper good, that is. <laughs> Under 20 pounds. So good. Under 20 pounds. That, um, by the way, if you were the first person or you're the very last person, you also get it under £20. The quality. Listen, you can pop along to Liberties. You can pop along to Thomas Sabo. You can go to Monica Veneda. You can buy any of those beautiful... Pre and they are beautiful. Please don't think I'm being derogatory. Mm -hmm. they, I often reference them because I admire <coughs> the styles that they bring you. Um, and, and I know Monica Veneda was recently awarded for, uh, for, for, for their designs. Um, listen, go there. Go there. I personally would prefer, prefer to save a bit of my money. <laughs> get that same beauty. Nobody knows that this, is Mon this isn't Monica Veneto. No. Once you're wearing it, it's a beautiful bracelet at the end of the day. Uh, and it really is. I mean, that is one of the nicest ones that I've seen, I have to say. Me too. The design. I know you might think, oh, it's just a chain. It isn't. Look at it closer. Have a good look at it. Look at the design. It's very clever. It's very understated. It's very elegant. Of course, you can add to it but you can have it just as it is. And I, I don't know if you could buy that off of the reel and buy the clasp and the jump rings for that. You couldn't. Not no. for what we're going to. No, I don't think so. Sorry, I'm getting too excited. No, 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 I'm with you on it. I am totally Do you think, though, with you, you on couldn't, that. could you? No, it's not worthwhile. Like you said, sometimes it's not even worthwhile making it yourself at that price. £19.99 pence only. That's so good. It's so, so good. good. So good. It's gone crazy oh, on the yeah. screens. And, the, and loads of you are saying, I'll have two or three or four of those. I don't blame you because, um, like I said, I'm going to call this the good intentions bracelet. <laughs> I will buy this bracelet with good intentions. You can get two, though, for this, to be fair. So True. you could get one for whoever, for Prezi draw, yeah. and then one for you. Yeah. Just to be safe because it won't leave your wrist, will it? No. And that's what happens to me. And I think I love that so much. I'll get another one. I know. <laughs> I know, yeah. I, I, I find, by the way, I, I have to take my jewel or some, some of my jewellery off anyway to when I'm on air. Yeah, of course. Um, but And if I leave it at home, little people. Oh, yeah. Little people will, like, Willow will love this. You're not having it, Willow. If you're watching right now, sorry, this is going to be mummies. Wait till they get older. Oh, my goodness me. Oh, 
It's gorgeous. 5.8 grams of sterling silver. We are down to the final 52. There are literally, look at the call screens, literally rows upon rows upon rows of you on the phone lines. Loads of you choosing to multi-buy. Yorkshire's just got four. Irene's got two. West Midland's got two. Uh, Cheshire's got two. Bernadette's got two. Patricia and Yorkshire's got four. I would as well. I'd be multi-buying because what? Birth birthday, perfect birthdays, perfect Christmas. At that price point, sorry, I was just looking just at because the, the people that are multi buying because I, th you know, you can't make these for this and factor in your time, and you make each individual link and texture it and solder it and la 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 for nineteen ninety nine. No. I just wouldn't. The la 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 la. You can't and if you love this piece that Alan Sue have made, we also have that I pearl. Love that. All things <gasps> celestial. Oh. We'll put it on pre order after this auction. That's very That's caged. Looking. It's literally caged. It's so pretty. Tactile. You, it makes you want to kind of like fidget jewelry. Like yes. You know, and so you can always lovely. swap out the pearl if you want to put something else in there. Oh, just open? Yeah. <gasps> yeah, you could put maybe uh, your birthstone in there if you wanted to. Oh, I love that idea. Yeah. You don't have to leave that pearl in there, although it does come with the pearl. Anyway, that's coming up. You can pre-order after this auction. Re th final three remaining within the vault. And, and there's... Yeah, way more of you with it in your baskets on the phone lines. Ruth, I can see you there. Elaine, Edith, Alison, Margaret, Jeanette, Surrey, Elizabeth, Barbara Jane. Um, we've just put that beautiful, beautiful pendant on pre-order. Pendant stroke charm. Shall we do the rose gold next? Oh, I've got to put it on, haven't I? <laughs> now, this absolutely shouldn't happen. So, again, most designers... If you go, Alex Munro, for example, mm. if you want one of uh, his necklaces or bracelets, so easy to put on these as well. I normally struggle with bracelets because these have got like, uh, wide links, literally just loops on. If you pop along to someone like Alex Munro, most designers, to be fair, you'll pay a premium for the plated version. Oh, yeah, so you should really, I think. Because it's precious metal on precious metal. And also, the plating process is an adding more time into creating it. Look at these three together. Do you know, you could t so wear those three together. I'm, I'm all about mixed metals at the minute. I really like putting metals together. It's very Cartier. It gives a very different feel. I'm going to make an announcement. Mm -hmm. I'm rubbish at maths, but I think we can all work this out. You should pay a premium for plated versions. Mm -hmm. You're not paying a premium today. Ooh. You're going to be able to buy... If you love this look, all three, am I right Am I right to say this, for £60. That's amazing. 5.8 grams of precious sterling silver with that beautiful blush rose gold over the top. You've got exactly the same texturing that you saw in the silver. We're going to be bringing you the yellow just afterwards. I'm desperate for these. And they're absolutely stunning. I, do, I'm, I like them so much that I, I'm happy to get whatever colours left. <laughs> yeah, me too. Me too. Silver's gone, hasn't it? I think so, or very close to anyway. Okay. £19.99 pence only. For precious metal on precious metal, for 5.8 grams of sterling silver, they, they're just beautiful. Again, just to sort of recap, this is a trend that is not going away. No. You know, we, Our love affair with gemstones will always be there. I think it will. Or whether it's sea beads or whether it's, um, I don't know, uh, shibori or, or macrame, they'll always be there. Um, but precious metal also comes from Mother Nature. And sometimes when they're crafted as exceptionally as these, they don't need an addition of a gemstone. No, they don't. And then if you are stacking, then you want the different shapes and the different textures. So if you're stacking essentially your stretchies, put one of these on with it and you're adding immediately a different dimension to your arm stack or your necklace stack. That, that bracelet that we had earlier on? Yeah. For like, what, five ninety nine? Exactly. So you add that stack and you want different shapes and different textures. And if you've, you're quite gem heavy, then having one without gems is yeah. the perfect addition. Yeah, totally. How many do we have of these? We only had a limited quantity of the rose gold. And actually, it's very close to selling out. It's such a popular colour of precious metal. And, and, and 
I, it really has, I personally noticed a rise in 2014. It's weird that I, I remember that year because it was all of a sudden rose gold was absolutely everywhere. Yeah, it was. Um, and um, it hasn't really dipped. No, it was a lovely alternative. It's something that we hadn't really Ooh. seen very much. And I think everybody went, wow, that complements every skin tone doesn't it yeah, yeah. absolutely and and um, back when i was in my early 20s i preferred the silver colors and the white so gold and I. things like that but now uh, uh, maybe it's good i don't know the older i get i'm warming towards the yellow gold but the, but the rose is that like you said that beautiful in between. in between and you can wear it with the other two oh totally so you can mix in metals which is really quite big at the minute so wait a minute if we go back to those bracelets if you um any one of those bracelets from whichever jewelry house if you were to get three of their bracelets you're talking probably best part of what 500 quid yeah 500 pounds oh no okay let's 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 go to monica veneda because they've got a got i know it's it's finer it is much finer monica veneda's but you're still talking 300 pounds near on for yeah. three oh, yeah. of those bracelets Definitely, and um, that is definitely fine. I could buy that. And you can tell, it's can't not you? as interesting. Like you know, I talk about the different shapes of the chain links makes this look really designer and really elegant. Oh, I love it. That's what I like about it. I like the design. I love it. Uh, no surprise, I'm a huge fan of the yellow gold. Look how beautiful that is. Let me just put this. I want it. Now that's coming up. <laughs> I don't need it. I want it. <laughs> Must have it. Also coming up, by the way, this beautiful pendant is available on pre-order in one auction's time. Um, it's a really lovely, almost like a locket design with that celestial, uh, celestial star in the centre. Um, there were 160 of them. A third of the stock has already gone. If you want to swap out the pearl, you absolutely can. And the mechanics that would go into making that. Yeah. I wouldn't even bother. I don't think that my skill would or patience would let me make that little hinge design. So I'll be interested to see how much that goes to. Oh, you won't believe the deal. I want this bracelet. It's so beautiful. It is. And it literally looks like 18 karat gold. It looks gorgeous there with your rings and it just, I don't know, you want it to complement what you already wear, don't yeah, you? What absolutely. you have on your wrist. And that is just elegant, just there on its own. Beautiful. I'm going to have to wish list this, aren't I? Mm. Over half the stock's gone already. You know it's going to. It's gorgeous, isn't it? It's absolutely... So, I, I am very envious. It's so pretty. If you were lucky to get lucky enough to get all three, they look amazing and look so expensive. Yeah. £60. That's three for less than the price of that one Monica Veneda one, which is less of a gram weight. And it's incredible. And it's still that same precious metal. And I prefer ours. Mm, me too. I love Monica Veneda. Me I'm too. Not, I'm not being negative about Monica no. Veneda because I like her stuff, but I really like the design of this one. I own Monica Veneda jewellery. So do I. I. You know, I, I, I love it. I absolutely yeah, love so it. Yeah, so do I. <laughs> but I'm not going to pay like 100 quid for something that so I can okay. get for 20. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, it's beautiful. Well done. Well done, everybody. Um, that, they are amazing. They are beautiful. Make sure you check out, because I think they're all going to be sellouts. Well done. Are we ready for the pendant? This is genius. Uh, you know, when we think about jewellery, it's beautiful, it's adornment, it's decorative, but it is also incredible craftsmanship. Mm. It's that word again, isn't it? Uh, it's artistry um, of your sterling silver to create this amazing, amazing, uh, um, almost locket, if you like. Yeah, uh, it's, it's like hinged. It must yes. be hinged if it opens. So, you know, it's fiddly to make hinges. I bet. I bet it is. Very fiddly. Well, it's a big star by it. It's been available on pre-order. Um, are we introducing the graphics? Sorry? Introducing the graphics, aha, yes, in one minute. Take a little look. I mean, you're, you're a silversmith, mm. Debbie. Something like this. I mean, wow. It, it's very, there might be a few bad words used in the studio if I was making that, because you've got to hold it together to solder it. And it's a three-dimensional, yeah, like fiddlesticks. Um, it's a three-dimensional shape. You've got to hinge it. And when you hinge it, you think, oh, I've done it. And then you've got to make sure it closes securely. That's yep. a whole nother skill. Um, Which, by the way, it closes within the bale. Oh, wow. It's genius. It's absolutely genious, it's this also, design. Has it got a little gemstone in the front yes, there? Yes, it it's, does. That's 
Yeah, it's beautiful. It's lovely on its own without even um, put anything in it. Do you know, you could put things like, uh, um, I don't know, like uh, people make memory beads, don't they? Things you like that. Yeah, you could put like um, a resin bead in there with ashes, a lock of hair, um, anything. People do it with breast milk now. Um, so you can actually, you know, put anything in there. How beautiful. So the sentiment behind this as well. It doesn't. You do, it does come with the pearl, but you don't have to use that pearl. Any eight mil stone, be it a birthstone, be it a loved one's birthstone, be it something that you create in memory jewellery. I really like that idea, especially if you've got like I got a lot of my nan's costume jewellery when she died, and um, I made sort of a memory necklace. And there might be something you don't like the necklace, but mm -hmm. you can take one gemstone or yep. even costume bead off of it and pop it in your little cage. Yeah, bring it up to date, but still have that uh, that kind of memory and have them with you. I love the idea of that. That's that's awesome. And and, and I've just come up with an idea because obviously when my dad passed away, um, I have I have a, a, one of his signet rings, mm. which um, is far too big for yeah, me. Yeah, me too. Far so far I. far too big for yeah. me. But um, if I could bring myself to it, but actually sort of melt it down into a perfect spherical bead, and actually put it in here. You could do that because then it's with you. It's with me. Um, which again, you're, you've still got it. You've just made it into something mm. different. And you could, yeah, you could defo do that. This is beautiful and it's amazing, amazing engineering. I'm just going to take it off the tweezers for a second and see if I can uh, see if I can show you how it actually opens. I have the worst nails for this. Oh, actually, it's really simple. Um, so basically, like, like I said, the bale, they interlock oh, yeah. with one another and it opens up like a really wonderful little cage. You pop your gemstone inside and then obviously it closes over and clicks into place. Everything within this hour has sold out. I don't think this is going to be any different. How many do we have of these, though, Ross? We have 150. So whether you choose to house the little uh, the little pill that does come alongside it, or whether you choose to put your own um, your own uh, uh, sort of gemstone inside there, or, or or bead, or whatever it is that you choose, um, it is it's described as like a little planet, and it does. It looks like Saturn, doesn't it? It does look like a little planet. It does. It's. Again, it's not something that I've seen anything similar anywhere else. So a lovely design. Beautiful. Yeah, love it. We're not stopping at thirty-four ninety-nine. Oh, we took these beautiful bracelets under twenty, didn't we? We're going to do exactly the same with this pendant. We're going to take it under twenty pounds. It's big enough to wear on a chain if yeah. you wanted to. If you can imagine it maybe, I don't know, even on a, a long line chain, that would be, nice. that would be lovely, That'd wouldn't be, it? Yeah. Something that you can hold and actually see. Um, but also not too large, uh, not too large to uh, to have on a bracelet. And that's what Anne and Sue have done. They've literally se uh, secured it on uh, your deal of the day. It's brand new. You can get this entire beautiful piece of jewellery for under £40 today. It's such a beautiful piece of jewellery. You know, like I think sometimes you look and think, I'm going to buy that because it's such a good price. But I'd look at that and think, I'm going to buy that because I absolutely love it. Because it's beautiful. <laughs> yeah, I really and love it. And that's what we should be drawn to. Yeah. You know, in jewellery design, the beauty should be the first thing that grabs your attention. We're not stopping there. In eight seconds, we've made the announcement. It's going under £20. It's just genius to actually create something which has got this much, uh, well, engineering precision, I suppose, to hold the gemstone um, or whatever it is of choice. You do get the pearl, of course, alongside it, um, secure in a, in a beautiful sort of modern locket twist. 19 .99. We had 150 of these available. They are absolutely flying out the door. You know, we could really get into the conversation of, you know, the, the, the galaxy, the stars, the mm -hmm. moons, that yeah. celestial inspiration, um, which... I think that sentiment is always there whenever yeah. we look at something like this. Mm. And I, but also, just on a functional um, note, because it's done up as it is, there's no little clasp that's going to come undone or get nope. caught because you've got your jump ring holding that clasp together. Am I right in yeah. saying that? Yeah, yeah. So that is adding you. to the security because what might stop me if that had like one of those little click clasps is if I put something precious in there, I think, Ooh. oh, what if that opens or I catch it and it falls out? Now, because you put your jump ring through the top and attach it... Or a it, chain. Or a chain chain even better actually 
even if it does come undone, it's not going to come apart. No, because that gemstone is not going to come out. It's holding it. It's not going to come out. So if you imagine my tweezers are the chain or the jump ring. It's holding it. It's not going Do you get anywhere. Me? Yeah, absolutely. And I think that's quite important with a piece like this. It's secure, especially with something which, you know, if you are talking about maybe your memory jewellery and things like yeah, that. Yeah, absolutely. You don't absolutely don't want to lose it. This is the quantity that we have left. Uh, this is the quantity that we have left from the 150 opportunities. <laughs> um, yeah, make sure. That is such a beautiful piece of jewellery. And again, I know I'm looking at from somebody who can, can could make that. Um, I haven't done a three-dimensional shape for quite a few years. And I wouldn't enjoy making it, I have to be honest, because it will be fiddly. Um, I would need to be able to see very well. I'd have to have, you know, my big Back to the Future glasses on. And for the time it would take me for 19.99, I, frankly, I wouldn't bother. No. No, absolutely. How much would that be? I mean, like you said, I've never seen anything like this anywhere else. I'm not saying there isn't anywhere, but I personally haven't seen it. I wouldn't expect to pay 20 quid for it. I would, I would expect to pay, I don't know, about 70 quid for that on its own at, so, at somewhere that was reasonable. There are 19 of them left. Yeah, I mean, 19, so you can get that entire bracelet for 40 pounds. And what a beautiful piece of jewelry. Well done oh, if you've got that, because I would so wear that all the time. It's so lovely. It's beautiful. And I do love my jewellery. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> I do love wearing it's it. It's beautiful on both sides as yeah. well, whether you're looking at your uh, your gem set side or whether it turns over and you have the... Um, oh, it's yeah. almost like the axes of the earth, isn't yeah. it, there on the reverse. So pretty. 11 of these are left. Absolutely gorgeous. Again, really secure, given the fact that your, your chain or um, the jump ring, as you said, Debbie, will go through the bale, which is basically... Well, it's like, it's like locking the door, isn't it's it? It's locking the door. Whereas, you know, I've got... A, my son's got one of my dad's bracelets. He's got a clip clasp. It was good, but then it fell off. And so now... I'm going to have to fix it because he's so scared to wear it. Yeah. Like, you're not going to have that with this because you've got that added security. So, again, a lot of thought has gone... I don't know who designed this, but a lot of thought's gone... I always look at the mechanics first because what's the good of a piece of jewellery if you're going to wear it once, it's going to fall off? Yeah, it, precisely, precisely. Seven left! <laughs> oh, no! Seven of these are left. They're absolutely beautiful. We knew you'd love them. And, again, if you don't want to use the pearl, substitute... You can have it as interchangeable. You know what? You can, you might be feeling a pearl one day. You might be feeling a ruby the next. You might be feeling a, I don't know. Match your outfit. Yes. Or match your other jewelry. An opal. Oh come on. A black jade. Ooh. Any eight mil round will fit in there. Awesome. 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 Oh, I love it. Well done, everybody. It's on the verge of selling out. Do I have? Oh. Oh. What's my tummy rumbling? Talking about the Sunday dinners. Did you hear that? <laughs> Did you hear my tummy rumble then? Oh. Oh. Are you ready for this? It's got... It's a bit of you, this. I absolutely love this. That is so beautiful. Again, this is so high-end. Would you like to swing on a star? Carry moonbeams home in a jar. We won't sing the next fix. It's rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is beautiful. Straight away, immediately, the design is done for you. You don't need. You can add to it, of course. You can. You can do things like your bubble styles, of course. One pearl. One pearl. One pearl hanging from. That it's spot. a shooting star in a necklace. The first price crash is not what you are paying. The idea of the lariat basically is that it can be worn at different lengths. Mm. You can literally push that star ever so close to the nape of the neckline if you wanted to, or you could have it at full extension. I should point out you still have the adjustability and also um, the bolt ring clasp at the reverse. Oh, that's good. So you can you can mix it up that way round. That's as really well. good. Yeah. So um, everything, like you said earlier on, so well thought after. I don't know about you. Look, look how different it looks as well. So here we go. Classic lariat style. But if I wanted to wear it, maybe something a little bit more uh, Nicole Kidman. Oh, I'm liking that a lot. Yes. That's and then, of course, it will kind of... Decolletite will go down. It'll kind of be... That's a bit more racy, isn't it? That's because it... 
Yeah. That's a, that's a, that's, that's a booby one. But it, you know often like what necklace you wear depends on your neckline of your dress or your top. Yeah. And you think, oh, I can't wear that because it gets lost on that top. But this is adjustable, so you can pretty much wear it with any neckline. Anything. Yeah. yeah absolutely. Obviously, when you push it right the way up, the chain will obviously uh, go longer. Mm. Um, but if you think, OK, so I'm wearing maybe, I don't know, a jumper of some description um, or a high neck dress, then literally, yeah, just adjust the lariat. You've got that beautiful level. Um, oh, sorry, I'm doing this from behind. And I can't. What's that price? That's silly. Oh. $9.99. That's Secret Santa, that is. Exactly. That's Get that for Secret Santa. That's a box of chocolates. That's, that is a box of posh chocolates, isn't it? Yes. Not even that posh. Or a decent, decent bottle of wine. I'd rather have this. I think I would as well. <laughs> well, in fact, I don't think I know. No, I, I like my I wine, don't get me wrong, yeah, but me $9.99, I'd sooner have this beautiful piece of jewelry that's <laughs> yeah. going to last me forever. How many do I have of these? Had 100, but guess what? Like shooting stars, <laughs> they're absolute. It is the, the Lariat, that's the, that's the, the, the star blaze. Oh, I love that. And also, I love the idea that you can adjust it at the back as well. I've never seen that before. Usually, Hilaria, you know, you goes over your head and then you adjust it. I really like the fact you can adjust it at the back. At the back that also. means you've got so many design options. And, and much more uh, um, safe, I yeah. suppose, to wear as well. And again, stars, think about the exams. We've had, what, the A-level students mm -hmm. have had their exams, so, um, whether they're going off to university or not. And if you're one of those people, don't worry. If you didn't get the results, don't worry. It's not the be-all and end-all. Listen... I didn't do outstanding in school. Didn't do outstanding. I didn't know what I wanted to do either. So don't worry about it. But again, GCSEs, perfect. Absolutely perfect. At a single figure price tag, they are literally flying out the door. Um, well done, everybody. £10. Don't think I'll ever so get that. So that's not plated. That's actually. No, it's 925. See, I wouldn't. I mean. Again, what's the point in making it? <laughs> it's just what I was thinking. I couldn't make it for £10 and factor in my time. I couldn't. Yeah. That's 20 inches, but it's not... I mean, a 20-inch necklace, a normal one, at that price would be mega. But basically, you could sell this any day of the week for £19.99. You've made 100% you've profit and you've paid for yours. <laughs> <laughs> I, like, I like your you, thinking. You've paid, never mind about profit, you've paid for your one. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, if you want a chain for that beautiful pendant that we mm -hmm. just saw... Oh, it's like silk. Don't, don't knot it, Elle. Don't knot it, Elle. Don't <laughs> knot it. There we go. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's shiny. It's glistening. You can see it from there, can't you? Mm. This is, I, if our graphics doesn't say diamond cut, I would probably guess it was. I bet it is. I love a classic curve. It just literally... Glistens. It just gently touches your decolletage. Very it's, comfortable, isn't yes. it? Yes. You have that amazing river of luster. 20 inch. For me, it's my favourite length. Yeah, it's a great length. 18 is just that little bit too short, I think. And if I'm wearing a sort of a really short necklace, I hate it when they sit together. I want, I want space. Yeah. It's got to be just the right well, amount Well, that's of space. the thing. Like, that one that we had as the deal of the day, I want that one to be shorter because it is chunkier. Exactly. But when it's a, long, when it's a pendant, I want it to be a little bit longer. If you want the perfect uh, uh, chain, and I'll hold it up next to it, to go alongside that absolutely gorgeous planet necklace, the one with your pearl, then look how perfectly these balance. Oh, yeah, that's beautiful. Isn't that lovely? Yeah, look at that. Oh. Not 9.99. I need to stock up on these. Because one thing I do know, jewelry maker always get, it brings you the best price points. How many have we got? I, please tell me that we've got hundreds. Have we? Is it mega auction quantity? And a mega auction price promises, Ross. 20 inches in an 18-inch curb, 925 sterling silver. I think that must be the biggest seller that we have in, uh, in all of our chain collection. They, they are, because 20 tends to be... 18 or 20 has got to be the most popular length and, 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 and skew, if you want, um, that we actually offer. Um, when you say we've got a big quantity, go on, how much? 400 it's not enough is but it but i think people are going to multi buy because this takes the pendants that you've made yep. into this is precious metal jewelry because you've Your added kit. it 
Yeah. Your kit that you had at nine o'clock. You've got to add the precious metal chain. Um, for that price, I'd buy 10 personally, because I know that on my, I've got a stall at Christmas. I've got things to put on these and it's a two minute job. Just put it on the sterling silver and it becomes precious metal. Totally. So make a star with the cutters. Um, have it on your stall and if you stamp have some stamps and then they come and tell you the initial or the letter or the number and you just stamp it there while they wait the master class oh my goodness it would be perfect with the master absolutely class absolutely perfect with the master class now 649 I, I, I guess i challenge anyone to be able to buy a sterling silver chain of this quality at six pound 49 we've actually we, we've shown you countless times before you know how much they are in samuels how much they are in argos um, we found one online trader which was a little bit close to this price tag, but not, not quite there. Um, most of us will have to buy, and you drew this uh, to my attention, um, you have to buy a certain quantity to get that price. Yeah, you have to like, so it'll have a price and then it'll say 10 or more, this much or blah, blah, blah. So you, to get the discounts, you have to buy more. You don't with us. No, so if you just want one, you can buy, you one. Can buy one. You'll yeah. still get the same price point. You can have as many or as few as you wish. I understand why they do that. Yeah. You know, I'm not saying that you shouldn't do that, but that's not the case with us. In 30 seconds, we're going even lower. We've got 400 mega auction quantity, mega auction price tag on something that is absolutely essential. Not just essential to us as jewellery makers and creators, but essential to, peop to us as jewellery wearers. Oh, yeah. You know, mm -hmm. um, you need a chain. I bet, I bet a, a high percentage of us, myself absolutely is within this, uh, this, uh, this discussion, have got pendants in our jewellery boxes or drawers that never see the light of day purely because you haven't got a chain on it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah? How many of us have, can, are probably going, oh, yeah, I've got that. Oh, it's not the right length. Yeah. The one that came with it. Or, the, yeah. or it's, it's rubbish. Yeah. That's, yeah. How about not 6.49? Mega auction quantity. £4.49. Okay, so that's a no-brainer. Like, for me, I've got loads of pendants that I'm going to be doing, like I said, and then I'm going to just stamp on sentiment while I'm there. And I'm just literally putting them on a, on a chain is going to take me, like, seconds. So I don't have to factor in my time to the price so they can be really affordable. Look how beautiful these chains are. I would are. immediately buy 10 of these for me. Straight personally. away? Straight, me too. I, I, if there are any of uh, 400, I wish I had 4,000. <laughs> I do. That's such a good price, it really is. That's on me, and it does depend on everyone's build, obviously. On me, that's where a 20 inch sits. Yeah. Kind of mid decolletage. It's kind of perfect, isn't it? I think it's not so. getting lost in the Grand Canyon, and it's all, <laughs> in, and it's not up, you know, by your throat making you feel uncomfortable. It's just like in that nice area, like. No man's land in between those no two. No man's <laughs> land. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. It does make a difference in terms of how your jewellery falls. Well, like this as well. is sitting there, and that's yep. like ideal for me. There it, it doesn't is. swing about. In no man's land. It's in no man's land, so it's not going to get lost, and it's not up here oh, uncomfortable. So it's just, it's nice. I love it. That's the best description <laughs> ever. Um, now we've got another mega auction quantity. Keep on dialing through for those, um, obviously. But um, now, pardon. Slightly smaller than the, the, the wire guardians that I brought you the other day. What, Friday was it? Friday morning? Um, I brought you an absolutely amazing mega auction of 700 of them. Wire guardians. Um, and we brought them at the most ridiculous deal. Um, and, and every single person that I've spoken to about wire guardians, I, I know you're going to agree with me, mm. um, will say that it's just that attention to detail yep. it physically let's talk about the aesthetics first it looks better it, than an exposed thread absolutely and if you've spent hours and hours and hours on a seed bead design yep. and then you've sewn it through a class or pearls pearls anything gemstones yeah. not only does it look good but you're securing you're adding to the security of your design by popping your thread through these totally because it, it, it prevents any friction on yeah. that threading material um so silk for example it's a natural fiber and it will wear that's the thing it, it will wear yeah. um any of your threading materials wildfire tiger tail yeah you would use as a preference 
personally, everyone I've spoken to will go with wire guardians. So basically, they go up through one earphone, if you like, mm -hmm. through round round the curve, down through the other yeah. earphone, and that's where you secure. And your you can parts. still squish the ends together, like you can see it on the right-hand photo there of the of the amber piece of jewellery that the bottom has been squished together so that it kind of adds to that line. But the great thing about that is if you want a larger bead, you can leave them open like that. Can I ask a question? Mm -hmm. You know, like the earphone part of your wire guardians, mm -hmm. the ear bit, mm -hmm. can you crimp them? You can do, I have done before. Um, sometimes that helps because it holds it in, in place. So you can squeeze them, yeah, definitely. Um, things like my daughter made me a seed bead bracelet and it's a seed bead bracelet, but I didn't want to take it off. And the reason that I knew that I could protect it for longer was to just make, I said, give it to me and I'll finish it off. And I put it through Wire Guardian, sterling yeah. silver ones, because I knew that that would be the weakest point. Yeah. And I didn't want it to, because so, no. she gosh, made it no. for me. So um, again, I've, I usually wear it every day. Um, and this, I knew that would just add to that longevity of that. It totally does. I mean, these are 925 sterling silver. I'm not leaving you, Debbie. Bear with me. I did, this, <laughs> I did this the other day. We had wire guardians. These are a slightly smaller size. Um, now, we closed a mega auction quantity. We had about uh, 700 of them, wasn't it, um, on Friday. We've got 600 of these. And it's just about that continuity. Obviously, if you're, as with clasps, as with anything, with beads, you know, you, you want to have that fluidity and that continuity of design. So yeah. if I was to be bringing maybe, you know, this size, which is about 7 millimeter pills, I don't want to then put a big whopping 10 mill wire guardian on so no on it, no I? no no now we're at 5.99 we're not paying that today how many do you get you get 20. oh okay that's good whether it's sea beads pearl knotting gemstone knotting 4.99 still not paying that price tag i'd pay that price Me too. i think that's really good sterling silver remember yeah just stop it. It prevents that friction. Spend all your time making these beautiful pieces of jewellery. Especially you've got these incredible pearls. And, you know, again, I keep going back to seed beads, but seed beads, we're often using our wildfire, our fire line, our yeah. mono, well, you know, whatever we're using. And that is your weakest point, the friction. And I always put these on. Mm. It just makes them, you know, especially you spend hours making something. Well, it makes sense. It's going to add peace of mind. It's yes. going to add longevity to your jewellery. It looks good. But also it looks better. Uh, that's my, that's only my opinion. No, it does. It looks more professional. We're not even stopping. Uh, Susie said as well, with French wire, nothing wrong with French wire, but it's actually harder to cut the same length. Yeah, it is. Yeah, because <laughs> sometimes you can get fun. And with her there. Yeah. And well, fiddly. Not, yeah. I always squash French wire. Yeah, I, I'm not. I think I'm a bit too heavy handed. Like people say to me, how can you say that you don't like fiddly or a jewellery designer? But there's fiddly for the sake of fiddly. If I can bypass fiddly, I will do it. And yeah. these are tiny and they're sterling silver and they're if under five pounds. If something's going to take me like naught to 60, it's something that's fiddly. Me too. Naught to 60, if you give me something fiddly, that's it. Elder. Or unnecessarily Ed. fiddly. <laughs> annoyingly fiddly like it's taking you too long and you've got yeah things to do. i can't cope with that i get stressed immediately if it's all fiddly 3.99 what 3.99 3.99 oh I, okay i want these <laughs> i need these how many did you get again uh you get 20, 20. so 20, so 60. i'd probably get 100 so that's there's me i can't count without moving my fingers that i'd need five <laughs> wouldn't yes, i <laughs> you'd need five and at 3.99 it's not it's not breaking the bank is it no they, would oh. you say these are essentials like your head pins your jump rings your clasps Absolutely, for me. I can't speak for everyone, but for me, yeah. Yeah, I would as well. I've got a drawer full of these in all different colours, all different metals. So we've had, every time I've brought these got wire guardians, whatever we do, they go. They literally land and then they sell yeah, out. Yeah. So we had them on Friday. Right. Did that quantity sell out at Roscoe? Yes. Then we had them on Saturday in rose gold, sold out. Oh. These are a smaller size. And again, it's about that continuity. Guess what? They are going to sell out. <laughs> they are going to sell out. Still so much to bring you. Keep on dialing through. We'll leave this auction. Like I said, it's a mega auction. So we'll keep that auction very much um, um, running, um, everyone. So make sure you secure yours. A necessity, I personally uh, personally believe. Now, in my time here at Jewelry Maker, almost 10 years, I've never seen a master carving of black jadeite. But I tell you what, it's worth the wait. This is so beautiful. Oh my goodness me. That landscape, that detail. 
It's coming up immediately after the break and that intricacy um, and story continues on the reverse. Make sure you check out On Your YN Tips. Debbie and I will be back after this. Did you know that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week? Happy shopping with Jewellery Maker. Stay interactive with Jewellery Maker by texting the studio during our live hours of 8 till 5. Start your message with JM Studio and send it to 78070. Jewellery Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Did you know that when you purchase with Jewellery Maker, you have a 30-day money-back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewellery Maker. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Jewelry Maker has its own dedicated call centre with highly trained staff waiting to help you with your orders or any queries. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got Split Pay, where you can spread the cost over two, three, or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with Split Pay. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. Jewelry Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. 
Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. I have to tell you, I am massively head over heels in love with this master carving. It is insanely it's beautiful. Yeah, it is. And as I often do, I tend to lose hours of my evening getting caught up in the words of articles that I, 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 I dig out. Mm. And this is one that, I, to my knowledge anyway, has never been on air. It's from Sotheby's themselves, who really, when you're talking carvings of jadeite, Sotheby's or Bonhams, they're the places that you should research, really. Okay. Because you've got to be really careful with jade, especially, and I've said this before, because a lot of the jade that's out there is not jade. Not, not jadeite, anyway. They'll put it under the jade umbrella, but it's not genuine jadeite. This is genuine certified jadeite hand-carved. And so immediately, I, when I'm re researching, firstly, it's master carvings, black jadeite, which very few came up, firstly. You know, Sotheby's have got loads of different carving. Well, not loads, but they've, they, they've they, you know, they've, they've spoken about carvings before in, say, your imperial green or in, um, in lavenders. I could find lavenders, I could find reds, but very little in the black. Mm -hmm. um, but I found this article, and I wanted to share it with you, uh, share it with you, because it really does epitomise what we're about to see, what we're about to witness. So you can see there, Sotheby's Jadeite Jewelry, a collector's guide. For hundreds of years, jadeite has been a symbol of supreme status and extreme wealth. Yet within this world of jewels and soup, I can never say that word, superlatives, uh, jadeite has a certain understated charisma. I don't you think that's so perfect when we describe the beauty of this gemstone. It is understated. It has got this charisma about it. When light passes through the stone, the effect is muted, enigmatic glow that is both indescribable and can fill volumes. This allure has inspired mythologies and cultural reverence, particularly in China, that stretches back centuries. By virtue of its unique features, jade has played a consequential role in history from serving as a mysterious object of ritual to adorning the leaders of powerful empires. While term jade is frequently used interchangeably to describe both nephrite and jadeite, both are highly prized for different traditions. A gemstone of unsurpassed beauty that at its finest may possess an imitable green color. Jade is by far the rarer of the two and, folk, uh, and the focus of this guide on jewelry. We asked, please excuse my pronunciation, Wen Hao Yu from Sotheby Hong Kong's Deputy Chairman of Jewelry Asia to share his expertise on understanding and collecting jadeite. And he said, approach jadeite jewelry not as a commodity. So firstly, that sentence, Diamonds are a commodity. Hmm. You know, they are an heirloom. There's no doubt about yeah. that. And of course, you get this sentiment and things behind it. But they're saying, jadeite, approach it not as a commodity, but rather as a work of art created by nature and shaped by human hands. That one sentence is so applicable to your master carving because this is a work of art. When experts look for an ideal stone, uh, for, uh, sorry, for in an ideal stone is a certain wow factor. Again, what experts look for in an ideal stone is a certain wow factor. Master carving, master carving, master carving, which may seem frustratingly imprecise or imprecise, sorry, for would-be collectors seeking more concrete guidance. However, all of this makes sense when we approach jadeite jewellery not as commodities, but rather as works of art, created by nature and shaped by human hands. Just as it's impossible to measure the, spe the splendour of impressionist, impressionist landscape by a, a canvas height and width or the ratio of its colours, the beauty of jadeite in all its varieties and complexity cannot be classified by a system of prescribed standards. 
Wow. It's so true though, mm. because, you know, we don't look at a work of art and say they've used that type of paint. No, no, because you would, you're so taken with how it makes you feel. Yes. Which is what art is, and it might be, you know, complete disgust in the case of some art, but it, that's what makes art. It evokes an emotion, it's evocative. That's what these are. Totally. Yeah. He goes on to say, Jadeite appears to contain water with just a single drop of milk or ink mixed within. The translucent stone diffuses light, which turns around in the jadeite so that the gemstone appears to be glowing from inside. It's so perfect. For ev firstly, every single master carving that we have brought you here at Jewelry Maker, but absolutely your master carving. The first time I've ever witnessed this, the black jadeite master carving. And I did, I, I, I literally searched for, 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 for type A black jadeite carvings and I literally stumbled across a couple. Mm. This was one and I also thought incredible price. It's a really good price point. It's still $830. Yeah, wow. Still 800 and I can't really make out what's in that carving. It's beautiful, don't get me wrong, but I can't actually make out what it is. Oh, it says a dragon, okay. Uh, do you know where the dragon is? I can't see it. No. It's still lovely, don't get me wrong, but $830 for that carving. That's one of the few that I found. The next, this was on first dibs. Again, I actually thought very affordably priced. <clears throat> Black jadeite, a dragon pendant, certified untreated, which is precisely what you are getting. £1,552. I found one other. Now, granted, this has got the history behind it. A small black jade carving of a mask from the Shang Dynasty, or later, 2,000 to 3,000. That's the estimate which they always undervalue mm. to gain interest. Uh, it, there was literally a few out there. There was hardly any. I can, I could, I can show you green jadeite carvings. We have done, but very few black. I just want to go back to the words that um, when how you said about this beautiful gemstone. <clears throat> we'll read both quotes if you don't mind. Approach jadeite jewelry not as a commodity, but rather as a work of art created by nature and shaped by human hands. And the next. Jadeite appears to contain water, which we know, we always talk about the water content, with just a single drop of milk or ink mixed within. The translucent stone <coughs> diffuses light, which turns around in jadeite, so the gemstone appears to be glowing from inside. I'm going to hold your amazing black jadeite carving. And I'm going to show you that glow that occurs within. Wow. <laughs> Magic. You see the light literally travel through your jadeite. Enigmatic charismatic it says you see all of that mystery in this one work of art so moving forward i'm going to use uh when how use words and actually say this gemstone is not a commodity this gemstone is a work of art a mother nature work of art that has been shaped by human hands I've never witnessed black jadeite in a master carving before. This is my personal first experience, and I am completely head over heels in love with it. Oh, it's amazing. We are about to make this auction available. It's super exclusive. We have got a quantity. It's not a massive quantity. The detailing, the craftsmanship, the artistry that goes within this beautiful type a, yeah, 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 absolutely. That drop of drop of milk and ink 
within the gemstone. He's literally used that as a description. You can see it, can't you? You can visualize yeah, it. You really can. Within this amazing pendant. The auction is opening in three, two, one. A work of art, a mother nature work of art, an enormous certified type A, genuine black jadeite in a staggering 50 millimeter size, all completely and utterly natural. Collectors, connoisseurs are already securing theirs. I wish I had more, I do, but that's never gonna be the case. Firstly, it's type A jadeite, let's not be complacent. Secondly, it's black. This is the first time I've ever witnessed black jadeite in my entire professional gemstone career. It is certified natural. It is absolutely enormous. And even more spectacular is that work of art continues on the reverse as well. You still see that beautiful water content, that lovely wet luster across the surface, which is what we should uh, be aspiring to own um, uh, within uh, within uh, any jade, whatever, regardless of the color, any jade. What, now, I did actually crop it out this uh, out of that PowerPoint, out of that message, but it also said that, that you know, um, once upon a time, black jadeite overtook imperial jadeite oh, really? in terms of its popularity and its collectability something that was not sustainable because of the rarity of black jadeite there is more imperial jadeite in the world than there is black jadeite wow. no doubt about it this is a far 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 rarer color than imperial green far rarer so that trend that desire to collect black jadeite their words, Sotheby's words, was not sustainable because there's not enough of it available. You are talking about one of the rarest colors here, that deep, beautiful, enigmatic black. We're gonna push this into the three figures. It is drilled, by the way. It's unbelievable. Hello, Zoe. Oh, you lucky thing. I have this piece um, of carved black jade. I, it's stunning. Do you know what, Zoe? I'm gonna go as far as saying this is probably my favorite. And I've bought a few of our master carvings. This is probably my favorite. And whilst prepping for today, knowing that we had how many, Ross? 60. I'd never own it. I'll never own it. I'll never own this piece. And I'm okay with that. I'm okay. I've made peace with it. I've had, I've had a few days to prepare to, to get used to that opportunity, uh, to, you know, that fact. You can own it. You can own this. 60 is not going to be enough today. No way near enough because I also know where it's closing. Even if we were to stop here, did you see a single one of those black jadeite pieces, which I don't think were as intricately carved as what you're about to source? Did you see any of them at £699? We saw one at 830 yeah. Okay, that with a conversion, that's not far off, I guess. Yeah. But I can't decipher what that is. <laughs> We're going to take this under five hundred pounds. It's one of the biggest carat weights. It's the only black jade I, I've seen. I'm not saying it's not been on air. It has once, but I've never never experienced it. Well done to the collectors that are already custodians of this work of art. It's not a commodity. This is a work of art. And you're about to get the opportunity to purchase it, Tay. Wow. For less than £100 on your split pay. £399. Certified natural black type A jade. I love the fact that you have those areas. You know, again, referencing some of the slides that I've shown you in the past, when I showed you that red jadeite bangle, there was about 30% of that bangle was red. The rest of it was white. That's true. You know? Black is the color to really highlight here. You've got that really beautiful, almost like a steel black, a midnight shade. It, you know why I think this works so well? And I think the person who, who carved this has used this to their advantage. You've got light and shade. So on the other ones, mm. we can't see what it is. But like when you do a painting, That's true. you put in your darkness to highlight the trees so the light would hit the trees. That has almost been painted on. Yeah because you can see it so clearly because you've got those tones of color 
And I just think that that's what makes it really special because you can see the carving. It's almost like it's been painted, gemstone's been painted. It's so beautiful. Unbelievable. Hello to you, Liz. I love the carvings on these beautiful pieces. And although I miss most of the deals, I'm inspired to make jewelry reflect in the beauty. Oh, wonderful. I mean, do you know what, Liz? What, I, we couldn't ask for any more than that, could we? Because no. at the end of the day, that's what gemstones should do. They should inspire us. Hello, Carol. I also have this, and I am blown away by the stunning carving. It, it, do you know, Carol, it has this one in particular, and I absolutely adore the master carvings that we bring, every single, and I own some of them. This one is really, really having an impact on me. Yeah. There were 60. Half the stock has already gone, 29 are left. 399 pounds is still no way near your closing price. What about, oh my <laughs> word, what if I was to tell you the color of jadeite that takes the longest to form through mother nature, takes three times as long to form nat a natural black jadeite as any other color out there. Something that has been carved by an artist. What about if I told you, double-sided, yeah, not just the one. What if I told you that this is going even lower, significantly lower in actual fat? How about if I told you that in a minute's time, look at the bridge. We are going to take a hundred pounds off that price tag. How about if I told you that we were going to half that price tag? I've, I've worked in jewellery since I was 19. I'm soon to turn 44. I've never seen black jade I carved. Never. In person. But you know what? It's worth the wait. In 30 seconds, we are going to do that price trash. Uh, price crash it is going under 200 pounds look at that like this that's the perfect description the fact that you have got the light that you've got the shading haven't you within this natural gemstone and i think that the carver has worked with that yeah um and even you know you, every single one's going to be unique because it's been done by hand by hand so nobody else has got the one that you've got no nope. and th that really appeals to me me too me too if you want to take any of, if you want any of the information that I share with you, you are always welcome to have it. Just drop me a message. I, th you know, those words from Sotheby's really resonated, especially when I was looking at this particular piece, this particular work of art, where he says it's not a commodity. This is a piece of art, beautifully crafted by Mother Nature, but then shaped by the human hands. You can get this home today for £49.75, over four monthly 0% uh, interest payments. How awesome is that? You know, you, if you went, if you went to first dibs and you wanted that black, black jadeite carving, you'd never be able to say to them, I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll, I'll give it to you, I'll pay for it eventually over the four months. <laughs> no. um, you, you know, they might do a, like an easy pay scheme, but very rarely do they actually send you the gemstone until it's completely paid off. We don't do that here at Jewelry Maker. I am absolutely blown away by this piece. I love the enigma. I love yeah. that, um, that, I don't know, charisma, all those words that go alongside this carving in particular. And it, and it is art. Yes. And I like how that quote honours Mother Nature and it honours the hands that brought the best out in Mother Nature. Totally. So it's kind of honouring the whole process. Totally. Which is just tells the story of, and then you will add your part to the story, even if you just add, you know, a chain, or if you're going to add, I don't know, a pearl on the bottom or something, you're going to add to that story by adding your own personal touch to oh, it. Oh, my word, yeah. I can't wait to see these uh, in, in finished pieces of jewellery. Hello, Caroline. Guys, I've collected jadeite since childhood. I've added from your stock and it's increased my stash tenfold. Wow. Stunning pieces. Thank you, Caroline. Absolutely. I know you've got, uh, well, an enviable collection, haven't you, my lovely? Um, but, uh, yeah. I, I mean, well, they are works of art, aren't they? I mean, how many people, unless you're like a millionaire, can say that they own multiple pieces of works of art? Well, yeah. <laughs> That's essentially what, what, what so many of you can say. That's the reality of the quantity I 
knew this was not going to hang around. We've only got 14 of them left. Well done to you all. Alan, Richard, Vivian, Alison, Herefordshire, Gloucestershire, Margaret, Jill, Virginia, Janice, Irene, Margaret, Linda, Debbie, London. You disappear off the bottom of the screens then. I have got people with it in their basket. There are only 12 of them left. Um, and, and, you know, and again, it happens quite a lot. You know, I'll come off air and someone will say, oh, do you have any more black carvings? Not to my knowledge, no. This is the only one I think that we've actually got in our entire vault. And actually that goes across the entire partnership. You know, our, our sister channel don't have the master carvings. No. They have, they, obviously they've, they've cottoned onto it mm. um, and sort of said, is there any opportunity of us getting them? You want to see the drill hole? Yes, no problem. So um, it's, it, it's genius. Now normally, sorry, it goes down at a 45 degree angle. And I should have pointed this out. So thank you for messaging. This one's different. Ooh, you could have a tassel on the bottom. You could have a tassel on the bottom. Oh, my word. So not only have we hand-carved front and reverse, not we personally, it wasn't us. <laughs> no, it was me. <laughs> the artist <laughs> has wasn't. literally carved a front and reverse of this natural type A black jadeite. They've also drilled through the center. Oh. <gasps> Oh, That's scary. and as jewellery makers, that makes a big difference. And how it? scary is the idea of drilling oh, through the centre of that? Can you imagine? Can you imagine? I, I mean, All I don't even you. begin to imagine um, how 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 many could potentially get lost during that process. Oh. There are just five of them left: Janet, Carol, Dorothy, Vivian. Well done. You've got um, you've got a lovely collection um, on their way to you. Betty, I can see you there. Kent, Nottinghamshire, Staffordshire, London, London, Surrey, Leicestershire, Hertfordshire, Alison and Kent. You've got yours. Well done Sharon Linda I can't they are they will sell out they they will sell out um if you are told that you have been unsuccessful there is one second chance and that's wish list Yorkshire if you press your one uh, key you can be successful Sharon in Wiltshire I can see you there on the phone lines our call center will get to you they will sell out there's no doubt about it there's no doubt about it well let's put it this way I want one <laughs> I want one. I don't get the chance until after the show. So if there's one left in stock, then I'm all over this. I've never seen anything more like it. Something that has had such an emotional reaction as yeah. well. Yeah, mm. that's what it is. And just, I just think the colour of this lends itself to the carving. It's beautiful, isn't it? It is like that a work light of and art. Shade. It's a, yeah, light and shade. It's, it's just beautiful. Oh. £49.75. You can get this home. Never seen anything like it. It's just stunningly beautiful. I'll leave the last one with you. Oh. Well done, Betty. I can see you there, Sharon, in Hampshire. I can see you there, Sharon, in Wiltshire on the phone. And there's a load of you with it in your basket still. OK, wait, wait, wait. Because I think, can I borrow your board for one second? Of course you can. Because I think I'm going to make that piece of jewellery even more beautiful. And this is exactly what I would do. So I'm going to take that incredible work of art. Pop it there. Pop it just there. I'll just touch it. <laughs> oh, uh, and by the way, Masterclass, brand new tool. Uh, Super excited. I sit on the cake. That match made in heaven right there. With a few pearls. Oh, come on. I'm just going to... I mean, seriously. This is the only strand of black jade that we have. The only strand. Look at that for a piece of jewellery. That is absolutely stunning. Oh. Can you not? If you can if you cannot gemstones, you can make this piece of jewellery. Absolutely. If you can't, then it's a skill set that we can teach you. Yeah, oh yeah, definitely. When I show you something like this. I feel compelled to remind you, and I found it again. It popped up, you know, when you're researching something, and some uh, and, and other retailers sort of get involved in that. Yeah, um, Big Brother, uh, basically. Bonhams are asking for your jewellery, and this is the kind of jewellery that they will be requesting. But instead of quoting the likes of Sotheby's and Bonhams. I'm just going to refer to my trusty old tatty book that, that literally follows me around everywhere I go. Uh, I must at some point be a bit more modern and turn it to something like a hard copy. But I like the fact that it's like Yeah, this. it's loved. It is very well loved. It's falling apart in actual fact. 
But I want to read you, and you can sh I'll show you. Here you go. Black jadeite. I don't get to go to this section of my book that often. But if you see, black jadeite, these are my words. Highly valued due to its extreme rarity and length of time it takes to form. Black jadeite requires hundreds of millions of years, three times longer than all other colours of jadeite. From dark green to a dark ink colour, but this is the most important. The highest quality is deep in colour and should feel like silk. Um, yeah. It is that deep in colour. I, I have, have no qualms comparing it to, on this very, very PowerPoint, Ross, you know the necklace that's teamed alongside Tahitian pearls? Mm -hmm. oh. Wow. Look at this. That's beautiful. There's diamonds, there's rubelites, there's Tahitian pearls in there. I'm not comparing the design. Um, our director who would clock something like this is also saying it's very much, very edited. I have no qualms in comparing our black jade to that black jade. Oh no, and especially that one. Cartier, one single, well it's actually half a round, isn't it? I don't know the size. I don't know the size. And yes, you've got 18 count golds, you've got diamonds, you have 35 grand. Oh, good grief. 35 <laughs> grand. This deal is insane. Oh, if you've got that master carving, I think it's a must. Eight millimeters, certified natural, deep in color, feeling like silk. That's where we're starting. Oh, okay. Uh-huh. Starting. Starting. Okay. How many do we have? Remind me, Ross. 80. Oh, I wanted some of these too. I'd put it alongside your white onyx. I'd put it alongside your red jade eye. I'd put it alongside your beautiful type A If you've got carving. that, I you've think... Got it. Yeah. I mean, I, I think if you've got that, the piece of jewellery that you could... Oh. oh. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Come on. Oh. We're not stopping here, though. We're not stopping at £199. Ross is asking <laughs> you a question. Would you like to see another price that you're not going to pay for natural type A, at the deepest, most beautiful black that you could possibly wish to own? The only black jade strand that we have in the entire business. Not even stopping at this ne next price crash. But there are 80. 80 sounds like loads, and actually it is. Compared to Sotheby's and Bonhams, they'll have one black jade yeah. in, say, one yeah. auction event. If they're lucky. You're not even paying 99.99. Perfection. That's a really good size strand as well. It's not a little strand, is it? No. Oh, look at it against the skin. Black jade is so comfortable to wear. I was so surprised that when I they gave me a ring to, to drill through and add a pearl to. Oh, it I was on a few, yeah. And do you know I don't take that ring off? Like I wear it all the time. It's something about how it feels against the skin is yeah. very, very comfortable. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, totally. It's like silky almost. Yeah. Well, they say that about jade, doesn't it? You should feel physically compelled to touch it. Oh, I didn't know that. Well, yeah. That is what I feel with yeah. it. And I never didn't think I'd feel that. You, 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 yeah, you're drawn to this gemstone. And it feels good on your skin. It does. Nobody today, Debbie, is paying 99 Good. Although that <laughs> is an unbelievable is price yeah, point. that's great. This is why I'm so proud to be part of the Jewelry Maker family. And this is why, uh, listen, fast forward, I don't know how long, six months, 12 months, two years, however it long it is, when we look back on the fact that we were offering type A jadeite, to our wonderful viewers at wow. 79 pounds and 99 pence it will be one of those moments where we think what happened what how did that even occur because moving forward we've also been completely transparent and honest and said look we're gonna have to bring you type b and c there's nothing wrong with that but that's much more accessible oh eight millimeter rounds takes three times longer a gemstone that already takes millions of years multiply those millions by three to get black we do not need to drop that price we didn't need to take this to double figure price our sister channel 
I've never done a full black type A jadeite necklace. Never. You are making jewelry with gemstones of the highest caliber. The highest caliber. But what's not reflective is the price point that you are investing. Please know that what you purchase these for today, whether it's 79, whether it's 99, whether it's 199, whether it's 699, they are not reflective of the true value. For those of you that got involved nice and early, sit back and enjoy. My goodness me, what an achievement this is. If you got that master carving, I think it's a must. Because that's madness. Uh, yesterday I said, I can buy a dress for that price where they'll make literally hundreds of thousands of that That's same true. dress. That's true. Mother Nature does not offer hundreds of thousands of black jadeites of this quality. But look how amazing that looks on you. Like, even though you've got a black on, yeah. so you've got black on and it's black, it looks amazing up at the neckline. What do you notice first? The neckline. Yeah, you do. <laughs> totally, you do. Yeah. 100%. In whatever outfit I was wearing, you would notice this beautiful, beautiful black jadeite. So elegant, isn't it? It's stunningly beautiful, and it is going to sell out. Unbelievable deal for you all. Loads of you choosing to multi-buy. Um, I, and again, you can put this, if you wanted to, lots of other gemstones. I'm thinking maybe your, um, your natural white onyx. I'm thinking alongside your beautiful natural type A jadeite. Um, but please only put it with the, the finest quality example of gemstones because that is what type A jadeite. I'm not telling you what to do. You do whatever you want to do, of course. But for me, the caliber of this gemstone deserves that level of luxury. Yeah. There are down, we're down to the final five. Pat, Christine, Patricia, Vivian, Margaret, Jills, multi bought Nottingham has got two. Janet, well done. West Midlands has got two. Carol, Meath, uh, Margaret, hello to you. Leonie, Jane, Maria, Eileen, Christine, I've got Jenny there. Uh, Sandy, you've just got yours. Eleanor, Cornwall, uh, there's literally two of them left. We had 80 of these available. I'm not surprised at all. You know, do you know, you, I've been with you, like I said, 10 years now, and you, I immediately, I know straight away when something's going to be a sellout. Mm. Because you know your gemstones. You know what's exceptional quality and what's an exceptional deal. And, and it was that, those. Oh, that's a necklace of dreams, that is. Uh, Shall I move that out of your way? Now, if you loved that work of art, but you were going, you know what, Al? No, I prefer the green. Oh, they are still hand carved by that same artist. Again, completely and utterly natural, through drilled. However, these are much more limited. Um, can we get all magical again? <laughs> oh, that is extremely beautiful. Oh, look at that. <gasps> I know. It's ethereal. It's magical, isn't it? It's insanely beautiful. That is incredible. Oh, that's so incredible. That's and like that... something in a dream. Isn't it? Mm. Look at the waters falling. Look at the bridge. Look at the, look at the, the detailing, the rolling. I can almost imagine... I can almost imagine sort of the, the, the fields before it, the detailing of the rooftops. How do you create depth and layers within a gemstone? No idea. It's such a skill, isn't it? Yeah. Place it into the hands of, of, of generations, an artist of generations. And that's the question that I get asked all the time when I wear mine. How have they done that? Did a machine do that? And that's the conversation. And you say no. This I say no, that. it was an artisan. I said, you know, usually these skills are passed down from generation to generation, aren't they? Mm -hmm. That's incredible, isn't it? Oh, it's so beautiful. But do you want me to make it even better? Yeah. Because it's not just that beautiful landscape. It's this one. I don't know the price on this. Look at the, look at the figure walking across the, across the bridge. Oh, look at how do you even start? I mean, I'd love to watch um, them doing it, you know, watch how they yeah. do it, because that boggles my mind thinking of how you would begin to carve anything like that. It's such a work of art. Certified natural type A. Ross has just said, you know where it's going. Do we? We're going to 
there are only 11. I tell you what we're going to do. We're going to match the price of the black landscape carving, meaning that you can get this wow. beautiful. You can get the green. Wait, you can get both. And I know that, look, there's no way less than 500 pounds. I know that's a considered amount of money. I know that. It is absolutely a considered amount of money to me as well. But these are literally works of art. Caroline, you messaged in earlier on, my darling, didn't you? Uh, sort of saying, you know, this is a collection that you never thought would be possible uh, had it been um, without Jewelry Maker. Likewise, so many of you understand and appreciate that. And we really do thank you um, for recognising that. I've never seen Jade out like the collection that we have right now. No, no. And I probably never will moving forward. No. Never will. 11 of these, Teresa, Virginia, Staffordshire, you've done it well done. Um, I've got Linda in Hertfordshire, Staffordshire, you're there as well. I've got Alison in Bristol, I've got Alan in Somerset, Pauline in Hampshire, Louise in Suffolk. People are multi buying on this as well, so that's absolutely amazing. Incredible. Again, let me just show you. It's not the usual 45 degree angle. This one, which I'm blown away by is literally through the center so if you wanted to put like a really beautiful tassel yeah you can underneath um then you could definitely do that wow 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 the final three within the vault oh you've just purchased yourself the most amazing work of art created by mother nature shaped by human hands i'll oh. never remember i'll never forget that well, it's so beautiful how that's put and so apt as well. It is. Seven of you have that final one in your basket. Seven of you. Irene, oh, nine of you now, I beg your pardon. Hertfordshire, Argyll and Butte, Berkshire, Hampshire, Suffolk, Herefordshire. Uh, it, you are sourced, you've just purchased one of the world's rarest gemstones out of 4,000 different minerals. This is one of the world's top 10, probably in the top five, actually. That has been placed into the highly skilled artist, just sold out, I think. I think, I think. Placed into the hands of, obviously, a very highly skilled artist. Oh, yeah. And you've got it home today for £199. Unbelievable. Oh. As with all jadeite, we don't cut it. We've got our own cutting house over in Jaipur. I've been fortunate enough to go there. We don't cut jadeite. Jadeite, we, we uh, of course, approach our amazing jadeite suppliers to cut because there is n only they really know how to do it. Yeah. Okay. This is artistry. Wow, look at that. This would look lovely with a black jadeite strand as well. Yeah, it would. The symbolism behind the phoenix and the dragon. Even, even outside of Chinese history, the phoenix and the dragon are symbolic in, in multiple cultures, aren't they? Absolutely, and how many of us feel like we've you know, risen from the ashes and, and reinvented ourselves or come out of the other side of a, a really awful situation. And I think having something in your jewellery that symbolises those things is really powerful. Absolutely. And if it's on something as beautiful as this, um, all the better. Would you like to see the translucency? Yes, please. It's also my excuse, by the way, to bring my phone into the studio. <laughs> yeah. <gasps> Look. Oh, my goodness. Oh. That is otherworldly. The tentacles of the dragon. The elegance of the phoenix. Mm. The fangs, yeah, absolutely, of the dragon. You can see all the details. That's absolutely incredible, isn't it? And I don't know what our certificate says, but that definitely looks like it's lavender to me. Incredibly rare. Remember, <clears throat> the first words, don't approach jadeite as a commodity. Approach it as a work of art, looking for that wow factor. Would we all agree? <clears throat> In fact, we did. We all said wow, didn't we? Straight yeah, we away. did, yeah. <laughs> um, that wasn't scripted. 
That was, a, uh, that was a genuine reaction. We've got the final few of these available. Again, drilled at the top so you could literally just, I mean, that, 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 that black jade I had was the same. It looked like I had French wire through the top of it, literally then a knotted necklace. That was what, $830. Um, we're not gonna be there. We're not gonna match that price point, although we absolutely could. The skill and the artistry, we're at 149 pounds for 100 carats of natural type A jade, two amazing symbols with both the dragon and the phoenix. And that's not just not just in Chinese culture. Like I said, I, when I did the Willow and Tick collection, mm. I included a phoenix because it's like you said, I, I, I recognize the symbol, uh, the phoenix is a symbol of being, of going through a journey and Absolutely. coming out the other yeah. side. And being re sort of reborn or starting again or just celebrating what you've been through and you're still standing there and I, I really like the idea of having jewelry that has this been meaning. stronger and it's not written on there there's nothing written on there you know what it means yeah so you do, it, you don't subtle. have to advertise it no you know what that means to you yeah whatever your story might be because at some point within our lives without getting too emotional we all go through something don't of course we? always and this might be that little bit of encouragement I suppose that we all need to go, yeah, I got through that. Sometimes you need that tangible reminder, something yeah. you can hold in your hand. Definitely. At £149, you can get that home today for £37.25. That's beautiful. Now, let's do um, the carving of good luck. These are all very, very, very limited now. Um, this one, I think, actually sold out. For whatever reason, a couple have literally fallen back into stock. This is absolutely amazing. And what, I, what, what, what I've seen this once before, um, it was only launched, I think, last week. I think it was so last week. So pretty. Gorgeous, isn't it? Yeah, literally, this is last remaining quantity. Um, I love this shape in the center, and I'm almost inclined to put a little gemstone in there, maybe a pearl or something mm. like that. Uh, just nestle it into, um, into sort of that convex shape. It's beautifully carved. You've got these wonderful rivers um, of imperial jade. Can you see? Beautiful rivers of imperial jade. Well, imperial and black, actually, within this carving. 135 carats. <coughs> Excuse me. Again, um, a symbol of good luck, and it, you might be familiar to it. Might be familiar to you. So there's the pie disc, which I've certainly shown you uh, that's bef that before. So it can be almost like a donut shape, or it can be quite decorated. Um, um, so it, it's a little bit of a nod towards the pie symbol, which symbolises heaven above. Um, but yeah, also you, which is that good luck. Really, really uh, it's symbolic of good luck and the older symbol within Chinese culture. Um, now, if we were offering this to you today at four hundred and ninety-nine pounds. Incredible. I can't remember where we went on this, no. Why, though? Okay. Did we really, though? Because I was there at that auction. I don't remember that. We have a single figure quantity. And we're about to take this good luck symbol. Someone might be going off to university. Mm. Someone might be starting a new job. What a, I mean, it's a generous gift, obviously. <laughs> yeah. Well, maybe you want to give yourself a bit of luck. We took this under a hundred pounds. That's very, very good, isn't it? No, I'm not surprised it sold, it sold out. For whatever yeah. reason, we've got a couple of these back into stock. Make the most of that opportunity. That is so beautiful. So, so, so beautiful. That water content, the beautiful luster that you have across the surface of this jade. I like the fact that you can put something in the center of this. You could definitely do that. Um, even if you wanted to personalize it further and make that something, um, a domed disc of precious metal with a message oh, or lovely. a letter or a date or a number. I like the simplicity of this carving. Mm. I think that it really speaks volumes. It's very different to the others. I like it as much, but in a different way. Yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah, I agree, because not, you know I mean? not everybody would want to have the sort of the ornate. Yeah, or... this is very clean lines, the circle, and of course the circle is a, a universal symbol. Um, I like the simplicity of it. Totally. I think something as well, but great for gents' jewellery as well. Yeah. A great, um, you know, master carving that might appeal um, to our, our gentlemen collectors. Well, and ladies, I would wear this also. Um, well done. We only have literally... a two of those remaining incredible now oh can i borrow your board again go for it 
You're going to love this. Oh, that is a little bit special. <gasps> wow. Oh, my goodness me. Again, like a more simplistic carving, like still very clever and very intricate, but a different feel to it. Yeah. I love that bezelled edge. On the outside. Yeah. It sort of frames it, doesn't it? Yeah, it's like framing the image. I mean, you look at something like the Mona Lisa, for example, it's in a frame, isn't it? Yeah, of course. This is framing that artistry. That gives a whole different aesthetic, doesn't it, as oh, a necklace? Look at this for a necklace. That is so beautiful. Oh, my goodness me. I so want this. I'd probably put a few very high quality pearls in there as well. Oh yeah. I try and get the, my best pearls and put them in there because that's unbelievable. This, I think the black jade sold out, has it? Yeah, if you were lucky enough to get hold of the black jade, again, this is another master carving that would look absolutely beautiful alongside. Pass you your board back because I'm very aware that uh, <clears throat> we are about to uh, step into the masterclass. Come on, let's do it. I can't show you black jade without making it even more magical. Are we able to dim those lights? Yes. <gasps> oh my goodness. So, uh, um, Ross, whilst we're just admiring this, would you mind awfully finding that paragraph within the PowerPoint that I showed you earlier on about having that wow factor? I think it was a couple of, a uh, couple of, one slide in or maybe two slides in. Is it that one? Is it the next one? No. After that. Yeah. What experts look for in an ideal stone is a certain wow factor. We've said that a lot. Yes. <laughs> Which may seem frustratingly imprecise for would-be collectors seeking more concrete guidance. However, all uh, of this makes sense when we approach jadeite jewellery, not as a commodity, but rather as a work of art created by nature and shaped by human hands. I'm going to ask you, does this have the wow factor? Yes, definitely. How many do we have of these, Ross? We've got 30, really? A few more. Again, the depths, the most symbolic uh, um, creature to, or animal to have within a jadeite carving. Again, I've learned that very much right. from, uh, from, from Susie and her family's sort of history and uh, um, legacy, really, of collecting this beautiful gemstone. <coughs> you heard that, didn't you? I did. My ears aren't deceiving me. <laughs> no. <laughs> Do you love it? Would you like to get hold of this beautiful dragon? I, it's the framing, I think. It is. It's, um, I don't know, there's something very powerful about this one. This has got to have a pop of red, I think. Oh, yes. A cyan red in there. Definitely. Right, I'm just going to say it. Who wants this under £100? Only because we have 30 of these available. What experts look for in an ideal stone is a certain wow factor. We are, this definitely, definitely created the wow factor. Nobody is purchasing this for £149 today. Purely because we have a slight... There's no sense to our logic. I know this. We, uh, we know this. We have got a slightly bigger, uh, bigger quantity. A slightly larger carrot weight, though, as well. £99.99 for beautiful type A jadeite in one of the most meaningful carvings, of course, the wonderful Chinese dragon, framed beautifully. I'm just gonna show you all the way around because, you know, if you think it's beautiful on the, uh, on the front, which it absolutely is, it's still beautiful on the reverse. And that will sit really nicely against the skin. Won't it? Amazing, amazing. You can get this home today for just 24 pounds and 99 pence. I mean, 
it really hit home with me yesterday when, uh, like I said, our colleagues over on our sister channel were like, oh my goodness me, those master carvings. They don't see anything like this. No. They don't see them. And that's why so many of our lovely Ju uh, Gemporia collectors will literally dial through for opportunities like this. I don't blame you. I do not blame you. If you press your option one, you'll be able to get hold of it. We had 30. That being said, Jan, Virginia, Justin, Debbie, J. Marie, Irene, Jacqueline, Susan, London, Christine, Marie Claire, uh, um, Yorkshire, you're there as well. Um, you can do it, you can do it, but uh, that's a massive price reduction. Uh, Margaret, you're there. Christine, you've got yours. Uh, Burnley, you've got yours. Well done. 30 is not a big quantity, not for, not for a work of art like this, not for something that we, we, we have the expectation and a very realistic expectation of it being literally high, high investment prices. Now, I've got one more carving to bring you. Um, and then in the next hour in your masterclass, we have the launch of a brand new tool. Um, OK, here it is. Beautiful carving, this one. Really intricate. Because um, actually, I think it's fairly logical. When you scale it down ever so slightly, this is not tiny, it's still 95 carats, but when you do scale it down, I guess it becomes harder for the artist. Yeah, I would think so, wouldn't you? I love that tree. It's beautiful, isn't it? It's all gnarly. And... Yeah, it's beautiful. And then can you see the, f the, the figure? Yep. Just walking across the bridge? The, the, the waves of, not waves, I don't know. Is it waves? The movement water, of the water? Yeah. Up here? The moon in the sky. We're going to do this for the lowest price point of all the carvings that you've seen. And bear in mind, we have also been to um, a double figure price tag. Look at that. Oh, I love that. I and really love that. Is this one really pulling on your heart? Uh, yeah, I think the tree, I absolutely love trees. And he's walking over the bridge. That's really symbolic. And then you've just got what I see in the background is mountains. It might not. It is. Yeah, is it? mountains in the, I can in the see, sun and the sky. And then you've got like a temple. It's just that to me, that's very peaceful. There's and three meditative. temples, though. You can even make and birds. Can you see the birds? Yeah. Oh, sorry. How stunning is that? It's incredible. How do you create that level of depth? You could almost imagine walking into that carving, can't you? That's what I mean. That draws me in, that one. Yeah. I want to be there. Yeah. It looks beautiful there. It looks peaceful there. It does. We're not stopping at 99.99. We've just made a price promise that this is going to be the most affordable of the entire master carvings that we have brought you today. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I hope you managed to get this one. So, master carvings choose you, don't they? Yeah, I think so. so I it's think like art. art. Art does that too. Like you just fall in love with something, don't you? And that's it. And you might not even be able to say why you do. You just do. You it just do. It speaks to your heart. It does. I want to go here. Me too. That's my meditation, like temple in there, like that that calm space behind I want to my sit eyes. Under that tree. It's there. Yes. Mm. I want to see that moon or sun up in the sky. Shall we go together? Yeah, let's. Mm. I'm 100% book it. Yeah, we'll do it. We'll get together, glass of wine, book the ticket. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm all for that. Let's do it. Oh, my word. You could almost imagine yourself walking into that scene, can't yeah, that's you? that's the thing about this one. And again, beautiful, beautiful wet luster. It's not literally wet, but top quality jade should look like it is like a, a piece of melting ice. Oh. Um, so that's why I kind of rock it backwards. You can see that sort of melting luster. Alison, Bev, Janet, Diane, James, hello to you, Margaret, Car uh, Carol, Michelle, Lorna, Sally. Clearly you're not alone in this then, Debbie. Yeah. Clearly a lot of people. And it is drilled again very uh, cleverly at the top on that 45 degree angle. So um, almost when you're looking at it from uh, from a bird's eye point of view um, the, the drill holes not interrupting the story behind this this book oh, about that's really clever yeah there's something um, that really draws me in about this one I really like the shape of it too it's beautiful well done well done everybody now we bought a selection of rings the other day and one size was missing These went nuts, by the way. They're called archer rings. Oh. So, 17 to 8 millimetres. On launch, over 200 of these flew. We didn't have this size. We've got... Oh, that's beautiful. Isn't it gorgeous? I like um, the smoothness of it. 
Yeah, I just like the simplicity, just letting the gemstone speak for itself. No facets, just powerful. The history of the archer ring, literally it was archers that wore them. They wore them on the thumb traditionally because right. it would just prevent any blistering. Oh. Prevent any blistering. So, of course, jadeite, incredibly strong. Now, of course, this is, make, this is more skillful than, an, uh, than a jadeite bangle because everything is scaled down. Oh, of course. And this centre part here, again, that's all lost because it's literally chiselled or carved out. So that can't be kept and used maybe for a cabochon oh. um, or a cut stone. It's all of that. You have to factor in the waste. Our, again, sorry to keep referencing it, and I do sound ever so smug, but our sister channel don't have these. <laughs> uh, Lindsay is um, a, a very good friend of mine who presents usually uh, at sort of the same time. We're, we're usually prepping together, if you like, in the morning. And uh, Lindsay was like, oh, she saw a, a repeat of the, us launching these, and she's like, we don't have those. Can we have those? <laughs> They're absolutely beautiful. Solid, natural, type A jadeite. I remember what we took these to, Ross, and it was, frankly, ridiculous. Uh, Danny. Danny, Dan, sorry. I don't know where Danny came from. Have you got the ring sizer? Uh, is it next to you? Is it next to me? Did I keep it here? No. Is it on the wall? How amazing would this be as a wedding band? Yeah, that would be gorgeous. Which do you think's rarer? <laughs> I, I'm not, no offence, and I, I will not take offence. The jade art is significantly rarer than mm, the diamonds. Mm. Significantly. So comfortable as well. Yes. And cooling, isn't it? Yeah. Cooling on the skin. I don't, think, I don't think you're expecting what we're about to do. I will give you the size, by the way, in a few moments' time, but as we always mention, you find a digit. You will find a digit to oh, fit yeah, the yeah, jade course, ring, yeah. not the other way around. <laughs> Um, these absolutely flew out the door. To carve a jadeite, thank you. Uh, to carve a jadeite bangle is one thing. To carve a jadeite um, archer ring is a whole other entity because it's everything scaled down. So it's that much more, uh, more delicate. It's that much more um, detailed. So in terms of the size, just so you know, this is, um, uh, do you say P to O or O to P? I'm out, I'm out of touch to now. P. O to P size. But if that's not the usual ring size that you get, swap a finger. OP's good because the average is NO, isn't it? Yeah. Um, so OP is slightly larger, which means that if you're not average size, you're going to get this on your finger. You might have to go down a size. And also, if you are average size, you can put this on your, your middle finger or another finger. Totally. It'll fit. So this is quite actually a pretty good size. Uh, yeah, and this is the one that we were missing the other day when we launched. $29.99. <laughs> Again, it's, it's, a, it's a solid piece of type A jade. When we're carving something like this, it's far more advanced. I've got, I haven't got it here. Yeah? I've got one more auction to bring you, I beg your pardon. One more auction to bring you, then the launch of the star cutter. Oh my word. Make sure you check out on the archer on the archer ring. Um, actually, one of the most historic pieces because, like I said, when the archers used to, I learned that from Susie when they used to draw it back. They used to get friction against. Makes sense. Makes sense. Uh, so they actually use the jadeite uh, to protect uh, their skin. Now there are s it's such a limited opportunity. Very seldom do we see. Oh, they are amazing. Lush. I've not seen that shape before. No, I, I mean I have, but not often. There are 40 of them. This, can you imagine these with your black jadeite? Ah, oh. oh, that continuity of colour. Again, completely and utterly natural. 40 exist. Lovely, beautiful, linear designs. We, we don't have the time to sort of dilly-dally along the way. And I think it is going to have that immediate reaction, like, like it did with you, Debbie. <laughs> well, you know, I don't, haven't seen the shape, and I just think... I don't know, it's something really wonderful about this shape. Maybe because I've seen rounds a lot in this gemstone. But yeah, maybe. There's something different about this that I really, really like. I don't know why, but I just do. I totally agree with you. Like with the carving, because... Which one? Um, one that's more a simpler one, maybe with the framed one or something. Yeah, like that. Like this? 
look at that because you've got the simplicity of the carving and then you've got a slightly different shape in the actual strand and I just think that works. Oh my, 39 pounds and 99 pence, Debbie, for that carrot weight and that quality and that shape. That's a strand I would definitely get. Me too. Me too. Like you said, we're here on a regular basis, Debbie, and we don't see rondelles, do we? No. Don't. And there's a simple answer to that. Why? You know, it is basically a rondelle. You're cutting that carrot weight away because you're taking the widest of part of a, 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 of a round. So you're losing the top and the bottom of that round. So they are, it is more expensive, effectively. £39.99 doesn't make any sense, rhyme or reason. Keep on dialing through. Oh, one auction. One auction to go. And then I promise you we will go into... Um, into oh, Ooh. it's worth it. I know, I know, I know what you're going to do with these. We're going to leave the... Yeah, I know what you're going to do with these because I actually first launched them alongside, alongside Wayne. We're going to run this auction throughout the break. Okay. The graphics are very much there. I'm going to show you. Yes, they're natural. Yes, they're type A Burmese jade. You're getting seven mil perfect rounds. Remember, the more intense the colour, the more silky, the finer the quality. You are getting... Oh, I mean, this is a no-brainer deal. An absolute no-brainer. Nineteen pounds and ninety-nine pence. Oh, that's really good. Yeah, that makes the most valuable, you know, the, one of the most valuable gemstones on the planet, affordable. Yeah, and you just have to put one above the master carving. Oh yeah. You know, just for that accent bead, um, would look really nice. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So one at the bottom of that, of that yeah, perfect. So just as an accent, uh, just to, it would make the carving really stand out. I think, especially if you've got the black. The black, um, the black carving. carving. Yeah, perfect. Um, we're going to leave this auction very much um, open throughout the course of the um, of the break. Now, just to give you a little bit of a heads up, coming up in your masterclass um, with lovely Debbie, we have a brand new tool. Now, if you go to Cooks and Gold, you can actually buy this very tool um, or a variety of it, I should say, um, for one hundred eighty one pounds and seventy nine pence, and that's a tool that you're never going to need to replace, obviously. No. Uh, once you've got it, you've got it. So yes, it's an investment. Um, remember that price point. Keep on dialing through on your black jade seven mil rounds. Absolutely incredible. Beautiful kits, beautiful technique. Brand new tool after this. Did you know that calls are free from a UK landline and our phone lines are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week? Happy shopping with Jewellery Maker. Stay interactive with Jewellery Maker by texting the studio during our live hours of 8 till 5. Start your message with JM Studio and send it to 78070. Jewellery Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Did you know that when you purchase with Jewellery Maker, you have a 30-day money-back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewellery Maker. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewellery Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewellery Maker. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website. Click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewellery Maker. Jewellery Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewellery Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Jewelry Maker has its own dedicated call center with highly trained staff waiting to help you with your orders or any queries. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got split pay, where you can spread the cost over two, three or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with split pay. 
Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website. Click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. Jewelry makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. Welcome back, lovely jewelry makers. My name is Eleanor, and I'm joined by the uber talent. That is Debbie Kershaw. Hello, I'm standing up now. That's why I look really short because I'm going to disappear. Yeah, you're only giddy, though, aren't you? But when I get at all, I've got to stand up for it. Yeah, why? Why just you know, get in there? Get in there. <laughs> get now, in there. This is all about this amazing tool now. It, um, yeah. So if if I'm say I've never ventured into metal work, well, is it scary? No, doing this isn't okay because if you're going to sometimes you might get one of these and you think well actually you know what do I need that shape for or maybe that's not first on my list but with this a star cutter is important for so many things and I had this conversation um, on social media with some of the people that follow me and some of the friends that I've known jewelry maker viewers for years um, the star is so important in charms in pendants in earrings um, Christmas decorations oh, I think yeah. it translates to um, so many things that and the heart so I'd say my favorites and things that I always go back to are hearts and stars yeah. so to be able to actually make all those things that you want to make in the sizes that you want because you've got five sizes of stars here and to have that forever where you just literally put the metal in hit it with a hammer is that simple it's quite an important piece of kit and you're never going to need to replace it are no. you? as long as you look after it you're never going to need to replace it we need to talk about quality here yeah um, and you might see these, because I made this mistake, I'll tell you. I bought, it wasn't one of these, it was a circle cutter. And I spent, it, I don't know what this is going to today, but mine was 39 99 um, And I used it for about a month and it just went blunt. And I did all the things it's supposed to do, which I'll show you. And I had to buy it again. <laughs> Okay, so really... So you can get ones that won't last because at the end of the day, with things like this, you get what you pay for. Mm. It needs to be machined properly. You need to get a really good cut, especially when you're dealing with points, you know, the points of the stars. Um, and I've used this quite a lot this week and I'm really impressed with, firstly, how it cuts, secondly, how precise it is, and thirdly, how it's been made and machined, which for me is everything. And it, it's not the same as those other, it, I mean, I've got better ones now, but in expensive tools that I made the mistake of purchasing and then had to purchase again. And I guess with a star, you really need that precision. Because yeah, you because can... you've got the points. Yeah, y yeah. So you, you have to get that, that precision um completely right now again 
Cooks and Gold, you know it, we know it here, of course, yeah. at Jewelry Maker. You can buy, um, there we go, Artisan, Star Shape, Disc Cutter, Set of Five, which is the same as us, isn't it? Yeah. It might be a slightly different model. £181.79. Um, Sometimes when I look at the comparisons and I look at the tool that I've got, I think, oh, that's different. I don't know because I haven't got that one, but I can't see much difference in these two on this particular one. Oh, there's a wooden box. That's different. Oh, yeah, yeah. You can see there's a wooden box. And we've got some... Have we got some sheet in with ours? You're going to get some copper sheet in with yours as well, which is a great practice if you want to be doing your um, stars in like maybe sterling silver or you can practice with your copper but yeah. also i love copper jewelry so yeah. i should also mention there's still the same price on your postage and packaging even though i've just oh, yeah, tried it's to heavy it's really <laughs> heavy i know i was like oh you know you know when something really surprises you i was like oh, okay. i probably need two hands to lift that one up <laughs> um but yeah i mean historically as well stars are have always been so popular haven't they? very popular and also you can put dates on these initials you can put um, symbols on these uh, metal stamping is, is a very easy way of personalizing your jewelry i think we looked earlier at the bracelet that just had one star and it had a heart and a letter on it and that takes minutes to do then all you have to do is make a hole and you don't even need to drill for that you can use one of our um there's lots of ways you can make holes but these little kind of mandrels that you make holes out of you can use you don't even have to have sort of your dremels or your ford and motors so this is a way of doing, sort of making your own bespoke charms, pendants, without having to have lots and lots of tools. And, and what about branding? You know, oh, if, yeah. you're, if you're maybe selling your jewellery and you're looking for, um, you know, like Tiffany's use the heart, don't they? Yeah. You could be the stars. Or if you want to, like if I just, I'm going to grab this necklace and bring it into shot. I mean, it's got loads of stars in the front because I was showcasing that. But I've popped a little star on the back. Yeah. So maybe you just want to put the initials or your logo on that yeah. and put it on every single piece of your jewellery around the back. You become the, uh, known as the star lady. The st <laughs> oh, I like that. I yeah. quite like to be the star lady. So I don't know. Yeah, maybe you just want to put your initials in there to start off with. Just to, to, just to identify your jewellery is great for that too. Yeah, perfect. Now, um, you said earlier on there's five different star sizes. Yeah. So I guess, you know, I mean, you mix your, uh, the masterclass alongside the earlier kits as well, which just works. And you're going to... To be honest, you could do you could have done that with pretty much any kit that we've brought. Yeah, definitely. Stars always work, don't they? Stars always work. And another lovely idea is the micro faceted gems that have become quite big oh, with all the nice. designers. You know, using that to make a bracelet or a necklace and then having a star motif on there as well. Yeah, it's like a shooting star. And you can graduate because you've got this larger star and it's not too large to think, well, when am I going to use that? It's a very usable size. All of these are. So you can graduate down. You can go large, you know, medium, small and have a graduation like I did on, on the star earrings, which again as a working metal smith i find that quite important yeah now firstly we've beat we've beat the competitors plus you can get oh. this on split pay i know you can there as well with paypal too not everyone's got paypal though do they? um you get the copper sheet with ours as well mm -hmm. 179 pounds and 99 pounds any questions that you have about this text in yeah we are not closing there we are not Stopping there. In-house designers. Laura's got it. Well done, Laura. Gillian, Debbie, Anne, Alison, Susan, Claire, Florida, Deborah, Bristol, Elaine, Helen, there's tons of you. At £149, we are incredibly competitive for something that you're not, you're unlikely to need to ever replace. Sorry, I was staring lovingly at my door. <laughs> uh, do you know what? It's so funny. It's, it's so funny. So many of our I was designers. like this. And then I thought, oh, what's she saying? I just went off into tall land. <laughs> I'm glad you're saying that. Yeah, I'm glad you're saying that. Not, 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 not anybody else in the studio right now, no. because that would have a whole, take I know. a whole new... You know yeah. what I mean. This yeah, yeah, particular yeah. But tool the, the reaction that our designers have with tools, you, get, you love them, don't you, tools? I especially love my tools. And, like, they make me laugh in there, which I love that they say this new to tool. me. But they'll go, we've got a new tool. Do you want to try it? And I'm like, yeah. Obviously. Because I, I love my tools. It's just... Um, well, they be, at the end of the day, a tool should make your job easier, which 
Can it, hands up if you can draw a star without doing the triangle on top of no, a triangle. Not, not evenly, no. No. No, I can't either. Can you imagine now cutting a piece of metal <sighs> in a star? <sighs> We're not stopping there, Debbie. Okay, oh, okay. We have got a hundred of these on split pay. Okay, it's quite exciting then. So you're going, okay. Oh, that is good. I mean, considering how much... And split pay, £25.80. pence. You don't pay interest on that. And you won't have to buy this again. You treat it properly, I'll tell you what to do. Yeah. Trust me. And any, <laughs> and any guidance that you might have about okay. this, if you've never done... You get the copper too. If you've never done metal work before, Debbie's going to show you how. Um, £129.99 That's pence so only. good. I really like the idea of actually using this maybe as your um, as your branding. Yeah, definitely. And you know, charms really. I yeah. mean, you know, stars. You could pop in Pandora. You'd pay more than you'd pay more than well, probably half that price tag for one of their charms. You can, and it's not something that is limited to a certain time of year. I mean, yeah, you can do your Christmas decorations in your. You know, I used to like to do um, Christmas decorations and then I'd put a little star on the bottom and then I'd, like, for Memorial, put Mum, Dad or whatever mm. and put them on Christmas tree. So I've got Mum, Dad and my Nana on the Christmas tree. Um, but the star motif is yeah. for everything. So you've passed your driving test. I'm thinking of you. I love you. A date, an initial. It just... Quite excited about this motif because with this and hearts was hands down the most popular yeah. motif that I sold when I was doing my stalls. And I used to go all over the country doing my stalls. Well, are you going again? Yeah. Ooh. Who would like this under £100? Remember, £181.79 on Cooks and Gold. And that's not bad. No, that, no, that's no, not no, bad. no, 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 not being, not being derogatory to theirs at all. You can get ours with five <sighs> ways split pay. Post and packaging is still the same. If you teach, if you've got your own teaching studio, get a couple of these from what this is going to. Like, you know, if you teach. I'm getting hoarse now with excitement. <laughs> <laughs> have a little, have a little <laughs> sip of your tea. Um, not <coughs> stopping there, and we are completely and utterly bombarded on uh, on the web and on the phone lines. Oh well done. You know where it's going to. Double figure price tag. Still got your 0% interest split pays over. Is it four or four months? Five, Five months <laughs> in stereo. That's very good, isn't it? And that's like not not even like you know some of these payment. Schemes, they do like okay. We'll do do one, you know, twenty quid this week, twenty quid the next week. No, that's monthly. Oh, that's so good. So, oh, that's so good. It's monthly, so it's twenty quid this month, twenty quid the next month, so on, so on, so on. That makes it easier. Yes, bite-sized chunks. Oh, and you're getting a tool that you're probably never going to need to replace if you follow Debbie's um, amazing guidance. Oh, I'm so impressed by that price. It's awesome, isn't it? Absolutely awesome. We had, though, FYI, 100. I thought it was going to be, like, 150, because that's still really, really good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's really competitive to mm. what they are everybody where else and i'm not and i don't mean look at the really inexpensive ones because they're inexpensive for a reason yeah 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 you know yeah, you want it to last you want to be able to use it more than once because you might as well just forget that money if you have basically pushed the um pushed the star through like five times and then it stops working or it gets stuck yeah not ideal not ideal. Again, any questions that you need message in, this is all about the lovely star cutter tool. We do have um, um, a square variety oh, of cutter one. as well, which will, there's only a handful though that we will squeeze in at some point. Don't forget you get the copper sheet as well, um, but take it away. Okay, so what you need, um, I've got my star cutter on a rubber block. Let me move that out of the way so you can see it's heavy. <laughs> um, a rubber block. And this is good because it prevents shock. It's not an essential. And also, if you want to be a bit quieter um, with your uh, jewellery making, I don't need, then that's, that's, that's really good. And then you do need a metal block as well. Okay. So you're going to need to put it on a metal block just because you will get the ultimate out of your tool by, by having it on a metal block. Now, you have got five of your different um, size stars. 
Could we have a look at the jewellery and then I can explain. Thank you. So if we look at the earrings, say, this is a really good indication of, of the sizes. So I've used three sizes here of the stars for the earrings. And I've just basically punched the holes in there and put jump rings. So you can see really well there that you've got, that's just three of the five um, that you can use to graduate, which I think makes a really effective kind of uh, earrings than or pendant that moves which is very very pretty but you can also see there a really good example of how different you can make your charms because sometimes depending on what gemstones you're using you might want your charm to be smaller or larger um, what mm. I really liked about this tool was that the largest one wasn't like well what am I going to use that for that would be a great pendant size so they're all very usable sizes now with the kit you're going to get your copper sheet now this is a really good malleable piece of sheet and a great one to practice with. I wouldn't go straight in there with a 0.5 sheet if you don't know what you're doing, just because you know you want to have a practice with it first. So you popped it on your metal block, you're going to take out your stars and the enemy of any tool, any professional tool, is rust. So you never want to get water or damp anywhere near this tool. And what I tend to do, you know the sil silica gel packets that you get in new handbags and things like that? Yeah. Save all those. Um, all my friends oh, give me those. They go, I've got five little of those silica things for you. And Ooh, what I... <laughs> I go, oh, thanks. What you need to do is, when you're storing this, don't store it anywhere near damp, and just pop one of those silica things on top, and it will just take any of the damp away. Now, these can be cleaned, um, and if you just regularly oil them, you will keep them, them working. And a little bit of rust comes on there, you can get it off, but you don't want it to go inside. Now, what I really liked about this as well, which I haven't found on some of, of the other ones that I've worked with, that there's not a definite side that you can use you can use both sides to stamp out so this has been machined really well so yeah, that you can see that precision you can see you. the precision yeah. so that you can use either side face down into your um mold essentially it's a mold now you have got some very sharp sides to be able to get that really precise cut and the way that i ensure the longevity of my tools is with one of two things and we sell this one it's the let me bring that into shot the cut loop which you use on your saw blades and on anything that you drill with or failing that the good old beeswax now either of these i would highly recommend that you use before you do anything and you use it every time okay and good, that good will habits. that will keep your tool sharp and it will keep it um, performing really well for a long time to come. Okay. So just for ease, so that you can see what I'm doing, I'm going to use uh, my beeswax. So have a look at the part that, that cuts. And you can see that it needs to... This part is going to be the bit that goes through the metal. And if you look at it sideways as well, this has to go through your tool, through your metal, and out the other side. So what I was doing every single time I punched out was... I was putting some of my lube, whether it be the beeswax or the other one, actually on these sides because it just helps it to slide through a little easier and just on the end that's cutting. Now, just let me say as well that if you are going to use this and you get it all over this flat side, when you cut through, you're going to see the impression of that on your star. So if you want your star to be a high shine polished finish with no dents and no blemishes, don't get any of your beeswax or any of your cut lube on the end here. So you always want to protect this end surface. Don't ever push anything into that that's going to dent it because anything that you get on here is going to transfer onto your final star image and whatever metal you're using. So I'm going to talk about using it with your thinner sheet. Um, what what is the dimension of this one you get with the kit? Is it 0 0.3, 0 0.4? The copper sheet. Um, Zero yeah, point I thought it yes. was. So this is a great one because it's it's malleable already. So you can bend that with your hands. So this is a great one to start with. So what size shall we use? Let's see. So you need to make sure that your little cutter fits in. And sometimes you'll put that in a larger one. I think, oh yeah, but you know it shouldn't be able to wiggle around. It's really finely machined, and that's what makes this a great tool. And it goes really precisely into that groove there. Now you can see that 
what I've got on here is actually just the remnants of the beeswax or the cut loop because I've already been using that. But I'm still going to do it again just to... I'm not going to lie, I thought that was a block of cheese when I saw it earlier on. I am considering. <laughs> <laughs> I keep thinking about roast dinner at this point no, in the day. that's my fault, isn't it? I think I was... Yeah. <laughs> so in this part, this little part here is where you pop your metal in. And if we go to the overhead, you can look in there and you can see that's filling the gap. Now, this isn't so important when it comes to a large sheet like this, but if you've just got like a small scrap of silver left that you want to see mm. if you've got enough room, make sure that you get right over the top of that and have a look and especially make sure that your metal covers at least a millimetre past each of these points or else when you cut through, you might think, oh, I've cut off my little end of my star. But with a sheet like this, it, it doesn't matter too much. So what I'm going to do is just pop in my star and I can feel that it's hitting my metal there and I'm just going to make sure I'm completely on my block. Now I'm using just a hammer, any old hammer. This is one that I've just, I've got a lot of hammers. I mean, it's a bit of a joke in my house how many hammers that I think I need. But this just happens to be one of my favourite hammers because it's got a shorter end on it. Um, I find it easier to hold on to and it's quite heavy. So your chasing hammers, your ball peen hammers, probably not heavy enough. You mm. want some kind of good, heavy... You need a bit of weight behind You need it. a little bit of tuck and you smack it. So then what I'm going to do, <laughs> do you know what they always taught me? And actually I was saying this on my social media the other day. One of my original metalsmith teachers is on all that glitters. Um, so I can't wait to watch that. I think it starts on Thursday. So yeah. we were all talking about that last time. So Emma, look out for Emma. She was one of my metalsmith teachers and she said to me, and she's right, and she's got a lovely sense of humour, that never saw when you're angry or stressed. You, you know, that's very zen. But when you're angry or stressed, hammer. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what we're going to do. Uh, now, when you're going to hammer, you don't want anything to be flying off into your eyes. So no. I wear glasses, so that's fine. Sometimes if I'm working with uh, material that might shut, or even put my safety goggles over that. Mm -hmm. But please make sure you've got something protecting your eyes when you do this. Probably, you know, it's never going to happen, but let's always be safe. And then what I'm going to do is make a great noise. So that's oh. gone through. That's it. Okay, so that's gone through, and then I'm just going to just lift it up and take it down. And there, if we go to overhead, <gasps> is my little star. Oh, and it's perfect. And it's perfect. You've got a perfect, shall I hold that up? A perfect little star. There is no there. way on earth I, any, oh well, I would be able to cut that. So that's, you know, you don't have to be clever. I'm not pretending that I'm clever in any way. Um, but what that will do by adding the beeswax, the cut lube, and making sure you're working on a block is make sure that you're utilising your tool to its full potential and so that it will last a long time. OK. So you've got this perfect little star now, and that's literally all that there is to it. Now, I just need to talk a bit about if you want to work with some thicker metal, because you're probably going to want to, especially if you know what you're doing with metal smithing. So if you want to work with um, thicker metal, say a 0.5 silver sheet, you're going to need to anneal. And I'm aware that we go on a lot about annealing here. Like we think everybody knows what annealing is. And then people are like, I'm too scared to do that. Shall I just show you what annealing is? Yeah. Super, That's super point, simple. Because I hear you say it and, I, I, and I, I'll be honest, I'm not completely... And there's like, I don't know what it annealing? is. Annealing? What's she on about? <laughs> so... Oh yeah, anneal. <laughs> um, by the way, if you want the copper sheet on its own, Oh, you want some in addition? Are we going to put that, bring that to air? Okay, watch the graphics. We're going to bring that to air as well because I reckon you're going to be making stars. Stars. Stars for, 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 for the foreseeable future anyway. Right, you don't want your hair down, but I haven't got a clip, so I'm just going to stick it into my microphone. Oh, I don't either. Sorry. I have just noticed I've still got these bracelets on there. No, that's fine. So what you need to anneal is a torch. OK, and we've got a great uh, butane one that you, that's absolutely perfect for annealing. You're going to need a fire brick. You're going to need um, a surface, like a baking tray is fine. I use this one. It's just an old microwave plate that I thought, I know, that will do. And it's easy to transport. Um, and your metal. So if you're going to me, I don't really understand about the thicknesses of metals. You saw that I could bend the other metal quite easily with my hands. And if you didn't see that, it was just... Now, this is a 0.5 bit of metal. 
level and I can't bend that with my hands. So if I put that straight in to make a star, this is going to make my tool do a lot of work. So annealing is basically heating up my metal so that it becomes soft and malleable and then put it into my tool. So you're probably not going to be able to see in too much detail because we've got lots of lights in the studio, but I'm going to just talk you through this process. Now you will always, when using your torch, want to work in a well-ventilated area. If you're using anything that's going to let off fumes like, um, say like solder paste or anything like that, have your mask on. And then I'm just going to light up my torch and I'm going to start heating my <laughs> hell lent to the other side, <laughs> just like, oh. And then what it I'm going to do... It's only the sound of your The torch. sound of it. I'm heating up this metal, and there's a couple of, of ways that you can know that your metal is annealed. One of them I've seen people do is they put a permanent marker on there, and then when it burns off, that's pretty much annealed. Okay. Another one... Now, you're probably not going to be able to see this, but can you see that my flame there is sort of turned orange? Yeah. That's another way. And then another way, which is the main way, is to actually look at my metal. And when it goes sort of a red colour all over, mm. that's annealed. OK. That's Don't it. touch that now. Do not touch that. It's incredibly hot. Now, if you want to keep that soft, then you're going to have to quench it. Okay, and that means that you've got water in here. I haven't got any in, but we'll imagine. And you're going to pick this up with your tweezers and it will quench in there. But it's a very satisfying sound. Very satisfying sound. So, just a little tip. If you want your metal to stay as soft as it can be, quench it straight away. The cold water, it, that capillary action, it will keep soft. If you've got something like stones or something in your metal, or you've needed to heat it, but you want it to stay as strong as possible, let it air dry. That's okay. quite an important tip. So I just wanted to show you annealing because we talk about it and we, we think that everybody knows what we're talking about and it's not a difficult process. If you want to work with 0.5 metal or above, maybe up to 0.8, anneal your metal first and then go through the process that I just showed you of punching it through. Okay. Okay. Now you're not going to need, I'm just going to move this out of the way. You're not going to need to do that process with the sheet that you get in with the kit. No. Because the sheet that you get in with the kit is 0.3 and it's perfect on its own. And you can even keep making your stars and it's not going to work harden your metal too much. Now, there's just one more thing that I wanted to tell you about getting the stars out. So you can just tap that. Actually, it was that way, wasn't it? Tap that until you, it gets sort of in, inside, but you need to get it out. So never, never put something on there to get it out that's going to mark it. Oh, see, I would have done that. I'm glad you're saying this. So I've got just, that's just what I had to hand. It's okay. one of my dapping punches, but at the bottom of my dapping, it's just flat. So what I can do is lean it off my block, pop it on the top, hammer it down. Oh no, I'm leaning on it. There we go. Hammer it down and it'll come out the other end, and I haven't damaged it. Now, when you come to the bigger stars, so say we're going to use any star that's bigger than the smaller one. So let's go for this one. Let's see, I think that one goes in there. So when you're using any of the other stars, you can use one of the smaller stars to just pop on the top, and for that final push through, you can hit that, because... It has to have a flat surface. So you might be tempted to sort of get a, um, I don't know, a burnisher or a mandrel or anything you've got on your desk to just help that push through. But if you dent this, then you're going to have the result of that in your finished star. Yeah. So if you want a high, I don't do a lot of high shine, I have to be honest. I tend to like to do a bit of texturing. But that's a nice high shine because mm. I've kept my tools as flat and I've kept it as um, as perfect as I as, as I can, can as I possibly can now we've just put the square um, there are only 12 of these can I can I pass that to you to show us a square absolutely um, um, it's the same concept right it's exactly the same concept what's really great about these is that they're great for you know if you're doing 
personalization discs so if you are a metal stamper you obviously <coughs> this has got a great surface area to put love from so and so oh, or nice, a day yeah. or a, you know whatever so these are perfect for that and these work in exactly the same way now with these ones there is you can see which end needs to go in oh so yeah the sharper can you see the sharper yeah. end and then the one at the top has got sort of a little lip yeah um if you're worried at all just put a permanent mark and mark on the top so that you don't forget so you, right so you see that lip yeah it's like a it's like a, a, a bezeled edge now you see that's sharp yeah. and true so, so that's so that what you goes cut in. into the metal wood. the great thing about the stars is you don't have to do that you can mm. use both sides which even ah. adds to the longevity of the tool even more Not so that. then what we do actually i'm going to oh look at that little one Oh, oh he's bless him. He's going to have to have a name, isn't he? This is me and Tools. Very, very strange when it comes to Tools. So, pop that in. <laughs> what, what did you say? It's a bit little squarey. That's a good name. I like that. So, exactly the same. Um, Tiggy square. Popping that in, but I need to remember to put on a bit of cut lube or oh, a bit yeah. of beeswax. Now, this tool is quite oily, and when your tool comes, it'll be oily. Don't use any detergent to get the oil off. This is how they're shipped and this is what stops them from getting very rusty. So you need to um, make sure that you still have a little bit of lubrication on there. So just take a piece of kitchen towel or something and, uh, and wipe it off there. So again, that goes in. Straight Ooh, down. Yeah. It's there. So I'm just gonna give it a little bash. That's a nice sound. <laughs> They'll come running in and go, who's making all that noise? And there's your little... Oh, look! Your little disc. So there again, once you get sort of this far, sometimes you can push it right the way through and pull it out the other side. But if you can't, just get a smaller one in there and give it a pop. And then they'll just come out the other side. We've got a couple of questions for you, Debbie, okay, which are, are, I'll bring to air. So this is from Debbie in Middlesex saying, Hi, Debbie. What is the thickest the tool will cut through, assuming well annealed? Well, again, I, don't, I can't definitively answer that because I haven't gone up in size. I would say comfortably 0.8, mm -hmm. um, probably 1 mil, but I can't say because I haven't done it. Um, yeah, I would say not, not probably one mil, but well annealed. And just also, when you anneal it once, especially with the thicker metal, and then put it through, just even though you're not on a certain part of the metal, so I'm not explaining this very well. So say I've taken out this little, this little shape here. Mm -hmm. Even though it's nowhere near this part, on a thicker bit of metal, just the manoeuvring of this shape will work hard on the whole thing. Oh, okay. So you don't have to do it on the thing, because look, I can still move that with my hand. But if you are going to use 0.8 or one mil, and I would say safely 0.8, because I don't know any better, um, make sure you anneal it again and pickle it to get rid of any fire scale. Great, great question. Thank you for that, Debbie. Another question from Fran. Any tips to make hanging holes in the cutout? Yeah. So, obviously, if you work with metal regularly, you're going to have your Dremel or you're going to have your Fordham, if you're lucky, um, handpiece, and that is a way of doing it. Obviously, that's time-consuming to set up. Maybe you don't have a dedicated space and, and you don't want to get it out every time you need to make a hole. Now, we have sold these in the past, and these are my go-to oh, little... cool, yeah. These are so cool. They've got, like, two mandrels on them. And all you do is pop your metal in. Shall I show you? Shall I just do yeah. a little demo with it? Um, I don't know if we've got these in stock, but they are actually... Uh, um, this is a Beadsmith product, isn't it? This is Beadsmith. We've got, we used to have our own jewellery maker branded ones Oh, as oh well. yes, I remember those. Um, hole punch? Yeah, hole, hole punch. Hole punch, yeah. So you just pop that into the mandrel. This is a Beadsmith one. And you just take that mandrel down until you fill the purchase. If you need to know exactly where the hole's gonna be, I would put a permanent marker dot and then just sort of eyeball it. And then what I love about this, it just goes through it like butter. So if you've got any dexterity issues and you just take that mandrel down and then you bring that mandrel back up again. So you can either use this or you can use something like a Dremel. A Dremel, I yeah, I use, but you know, this is a very simple way of doing it. The thing about drilling, and I probably worth mentioning this, that people are like, my drill slips, and it, and it will, especially on shiny metal. Do a little um, 
a little hole punch first. So you know you actually get dedicated punches. If you don't have one and you have a little dapping punch, if I make a little indentation there, when I put my drill on it, it's much less likely to start slipping all over the place. Yeah. Start with a, a, a lowish um, revolution rate. So don't put your, your Dremel on the highest one and gently push down. So don't um, sort of like be pushing with your hand when you're using a rotary tool. Just let it gently go through. It might take a little longer than you think. I always put this onto a piece of wood. I mask and tape it down and then I make the hole. So they're the main ways that I make holes. Oh, perfect. Thank you so much. You're um, welcome. I've just got visions of me the first time I ever tried to use a, a, a drill <laughs> in the wall. Literally, it was like that. <laughs> It's a bit scary, Is like the thought of the drill. You just need to put a couple of safety measures in place yes. and you're good to go. I've you're never braved fine. it again since. <laughs> or rather, Tom hasn't allowed me to do it. Um, OK, we've got a little bundle that will go perfectly alongside your star cutter or your square cutter. Also, yeah. if you don't have that and you still want to get involved in the celestial theme, then here's this little bundle. Now, we've actually discontinued these earring filings, which I'm really, <gasps> really, so nice. really gutted about. They're really good. They are, um, oh, 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 are they? I might be wrong. I thought they were. Don't, don't quote me on that. So you're actually getting uh, three pairs. Big investment of sterling silver in these. They do have the little loop at the back there as well, which you can see um, for you to suspend. I mean, how perfect would these be with both of your kits today? Um, I have used those. They're somewhere on a pair of earrings there. Um, the solderable accents have actually been soldered on to... At the other end. Other end. Uh, there they are. You see the little moons? They're on there. So what I've done with those little moons is I've just textured them. I've taken my little dapping punch and I've just oh. made some. So they look like craters of the moon and added pearls from the 9am kit. You can also solder the little moons on top of your stars. Just oh, do a nice. bit of sweat soldering. So if you look at this necklace, because we were talking about this, weren't we? And they were asking me how I'd done it. Was it embossed? And if you go closely into maybe the big star, you'll be able to see that... Oh, that, the big one. The big one that... Yeah, perfect. Thank you. That moon has been soldered on. How did you do it? Did you say sweat solder? So all you do is pop on a little bit of solder on the star, make sure both surfaces are clean, pop your star on top and heat both metals. Um, bear in mind oh. that the star's a lot bigger than the moon, so you need more to put more heat on the star and they will adhere together. How good? That's simple. Simple. £34.99 pence gets you um, three pairs of the beautiful sterling silver and the, the three, <coughs> sorry, the two pre cut moon crescents and also that lovely star, which are all 925 sterling silver as they well. They are, they're really lovely components. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And again, it goes back to what we were saying earlier on in the show. All of a sudden, you know, it's like it's like with your wire guardians, with the chains. It's precious metal. It is precious metal. And I think, you know, some people don't want all the tools for metal smithing. Some people, you know, they don't have the room for it. But anyone can cut out star shapes and use them in their jewellery making. It's going to be yeah. something that you're going to use time and time again. And if you have to buy a, a star charm every time you want one, it's going to rack up the price, isn't Yeah, of it? course, of course. Um, another question for you. Hi, Debbie. Another cue. Um, can you cut a star within a star yeah. to make a frame or would that would it warp? A great question. No, it wouldn't warp. Um, probably what I... No, it wouldn't. So, you're obviously, positioning, and I'd probably pop it, if it's a thin piece of metal, on top of another piece of metal, just so that it supports underneath. So I would maybe pop my star back on top of this. So I've got a 0 0.3 and 0 0.3 on the top, which only makes 0.6, um, and then stamp through those just so that you've got that support but have done it before you can absolutely do that yeah that's amazing so you can create like a star frame but if you think you've already got a frame there with what you've done so if you saw around that so saw around that shape so i could do a square or i could follow the lines i've already got a star indentation pendant there haven't i yeah. so use your negative space as well as the shapes that you've cut out but I can actually put a bigger star over the top so I've got a frame. Yeah, absolutely. A star frame. Yeah, of course you can, yeah. Oh, imagine that then. That's a great idea, Debbie. So you've got your star frame and then the, a smaller star still in the middle. Which is really pretty. And you Ooh. can do that. Just be <laughs> careful with your positioning. <laughs> and start off with some softer metal and just experiment um, and you'll find your way of doing it. <laughs> I'm glad you missed that. <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> it's me trying to demonstrate that, what Debbie was just saying in the, the gestures. That was... Oh, I want to see that. Uh, I'll show you after the show. <laughs> um, should we do a close-out deal? Oh, 
got a magnetic clasp. Oh my goodness. We've had a lot of sterling silver today, which I've absolutely loved. Now I'm going to show you the should be closing price on this. Um, and then obviously we're going to not, we're not going to listen to it, of course. <laughs> What an amazing show it's been today. It's been such fun, such fun. Fabulous deals throughout. Really amazing. Um, wow, this is one of the bigger of your magnetic class. 925, you can see the actual stamp there. You've got that beautiful rose gold blush. Um, now, should be £10.99. Again, we've referenced Cooks and Gold. I'm fairly sure they've got 12 mils over 20 quid, I think. That sounds about right. Yeah, yeah they're yeah. about £20 on Cooks and Gold. So That's already we're size. massively beating that price point. But we're going to do a closeout deal. There is, I don't know if we can even buy them for what you're about to see. Roscoe, how many have we got? 200. Ooh. That'll do. That'll do, pig. <laughs> <laughs> that'll do, pig. That'll do. <laughs> That's a really good size. <laughs> That's all I need to say about that. <laughs> that'll do, pig. That'll do. Uh, yeah, it's one of the bigger of your magnetic class. Massive closeout deal. Revolutionary. We, we say it every single time. Every single time. I adore magnetic class. So do I. So easy to get on and off. On and off. They look really nice as well. I love that. It's just simple clasp. Do you remember that? <laughs> just easily on and offable. <laughs> yeah. Remember yeah, yeah. It's not as good as that old do pig. That old I mean, the pig. pig had gone to all that trouble, and that's all he could say. I know. Give the, give the pig a cuddle, for goodness a sake. A little kiss. And a little kiss. I've loved today. I've loved today. Thank you so much for, <laughs> for tuning in. Debbie, as always, such a pleasure. Oh, we love you. Thanks for having me. Mwah, drive safe. I will. Um, now, when are you back with us? September. The something. I'm back for a couple of shows and hopefully we've got a big launch coming soon. Ooh. Oh, it's exciting. That is exciting. <laughs> Have a lovely afternoon, everybody. We'll see. I'll be back with you now on Wednesday morning, but enjoy the rest of your Sunday. <laughs>